Oh, and then these ports, honey. That's like the one place. Okay! Look at your cup, Daniel. You're going to have to put it behind you on the window. Dang so it, Daniel. Do I mute the mic? <laughs> yeah, their mic's on. The mic is unmuted. Cool. Dang it, Daniel. Okay. So I don't know if there's a... Is there a D&D category on Twitch? Probably. Do y'all try the punch? It's like so did. I haven't tried it yet. Oh. I have one to try. <laughs> Ducks in this. Quack. Have you not heard Will look that? He goes, Ducks and War? Ducks and War? Ducks and War? But anyway, during the Wizards so, Presents on Wednesday, they announced... So it's only, like, you can it. only see Daniel and Kristen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, if we scoot your chairs this way, you can, but it's fine. I mean, we could always, like, mount mount one of these over there and then mount You can't, because I have it where it's going to be on the map when we're in a fight. Uh, I think mm. I'm going to end back here. Am I taking up too much room? I literally no. have the minimum amount. I guess I can just... Right? Daniel, like, I can move <laughs> over here. Yeah. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Very awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're allowed to snuggle up. Mm -hmm. Snuggle up close. So, if we do two medium, three topping pizzas, and a 16 piece we Parmesan bread so bites, does that sound good? Oh, there's literally a Dungeons and Dragons category. Yeah, I'm sure there is. And then we should put it in there. Okay. So, did you you did download that app that I told you to download, right? Yeah. Um, all right, do you have a character sheet on there? So, everyone, we're, instead of using the character sheets on the, um, no, wait. Will has a new love, dipping a Lee's biscuit in gravy. Wow. What a novel combination. <laughs> um, but yeah, not child, you are clearly being yeah. raised in the South. We're proud to sign in with. That's my boy. You sign in with <laughs> So, hold on, he's got to sign in. I really wish you wouldn't walk down these courts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go, go be in the floor. Oh, I need to turn off. <laughs> um, go be over somewhere. Turn That's off That's exactly what you want. Karen, turn. We'll take sure. away our maps. Campaign. So here are the options <laughs> that I think we'll actually be able to eat. There's oh, and I need special to get pizza book. with any bread twists or the two medium with Parmesan bread bites. Able to eat. I'm able to eat anything. Here? I mean, like... Here I am. You got leftover? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's me. <laughs> and we'll, I think we'll a large two-time so like pizza and eight bread twists. Yeah, this might... If you all okay. explore when you get to the, the city, it, this, is, this can never end. <laughs> okay. This is the song that never... Try the punch. Yes. So, we're gonna... Ex he doesn't know what we're doing. So, this is gonna that be That punch fun. is pretty awesome. It's pretty good punch. Okay. So, Daniel... This is the D20. This is going to be your best friend. You're going to roll your a enemy. lot. Yeah, so no, so we can just walk through the dice. So each of the sides has, you know, obviously so the dice, but the they'll tell you, they'll say the D20, D20 right? Yeah. And so then you'll pick up one with 20 sides. And they'll say it's a D10. Then you'll pick up one with 10 sides. There's a D12. Mm -hmm. There's and a D8. You're a, and you're a rogue. So when you, when you do damage with your daggers, you're going to roll a D4. And if you need Let's more Let's back D4, up before that. Do you know what Dungeons and Dragons is? Okay, so basically, you know how you play a video game and it's like you are a person in a world, right? Yeah. You're doing that right now, except it's inside all of our heads, and we're going to do fights on the table. It's inside your That's head. That's the gist of what we're doing. Okay. Vandy is the DM, so she, she I'm the DM, so I'm not playing, but I'm like the referee. Mm -hmm. dungeon she had to sand it down. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. it all the way down. Uh -huh. Just to raise your remember, female, like, um, your surroundings and, and stuff like that. And I picked it because it had a crossbow. So, like, it's so if, saying, if you're classic, if Blobbert looks especially thick, it's because it used to be a female with a dress. Anyway, and a hidden grave. Like you can write that down. It's important to remember stuff where this stuff's at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not even on. There it is. Okay. Where is energy saver in this? Look, look, look. He's got a he's got a loot and a dagger. <laughs> it's a vaxy rug. I guess. Can't focus. I was too close. <laughs> I was moving around too much. I don't remember yeah. how, like, okay, I'm not going to fool The Goliath Bard. I do need to go get, because once you all get to the city, I'm going to need this book. Oh. Yeah, so you're going to roll this probably the most of anything. In the big 20. Yeah. So, Greg, did you want, like, a fun pizza? Like, honey like barbecue sauce? Um, or did you want, like, a regular just pepperoni pizza? I don't care. I'll do whatever. Whatever you want. Whatever you're hankering for. So that, that was the D12 that you have there. 
You, I don't so think you. I don't think you'll likely roll anything that needs a d12 for so the road. Just like a video game, though, like you can go anywhere, do anything. So um, what decides? I guess you'd say it doesn't matter which dice you roll. So just, yes, I'll. So Ma- you. Mandy, Mandy will tell you usually. <laughs> like, like I said, for the most part, you'll roll a d20 for most things. Um, when if you're like in battle and you, and you you like hit with like your dagger, your dagger does a d4, I think. Okay. And then if you're swinging like with a short sword, that does a d6. And then for since you're a rogue, you're, you'll do sneak attack damage occasionally, and that'll be a d6 as well. So probably for you, the only ones that you would really need are your d20, the d6, and the d4. Okay. Yeah. So just like video games, though, like you have different attacks on that character that you so can use more to fight. These two and the one that you got in your hand. Now here's the thing. Like you know, in a game, like where you're walking around, you can go anywhere. Yeah. So basically, it's like that. And yeah, you could literally spend an entire game farming potatoes. You, you could. could. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I don't but recommend you could. You won't play. get anywhere. But then role playing it out. Literally, you just basically talk as a group, and it's just like a video game, but it's on a board. And I'm not playing. It's, I'm it's, it's, You'll get used to it, yeah. It's a lot It's a lot of theater of the mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I'm very much all chaos with the reason is accepted, so it can get kind of weird. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to experiment with this pizza. We're going to okay. do honey barbecue sauce with banana peppers and pineapple. Okay. Because for whatever reason, I think that sounds good. That does sound good. It right? Sounds like a, it sounds like what a, was the first topping? It's going to be banana peppers and pineapple. Right? With the honey barbecue sauce? I think that will actually be really good. Okay. So, does everyone have dice? Does everyone have... Also, it's good to train your dice to make sure that they roll well. So, so you want it resting set, on the dish. The... It's absolutely bullshit, but that's what a lot of people do. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got to train your dice, dice if they roll. Your dice. Yeah. If a dice misbehaves, we can put it into dice, dice jail. Yeah. So, dice jail. Yep, we have a dice jail. If they roll bad, I mean, the higher you roll, the better you generally. You punish them. Now, there are also, so on your character sheet, there's different... Yeah, unless you're, like, trying to travel to another dimension, in which case mm-hmm. rolling low is usually better. So, on your character sheet, I know, there are different... DM Mandy on her throne. Look at that. I am. <laughs> this, I'm so happy this came in on time. I, I can put up what I want. So, I've got, like, I have a DM version. And this cheat sheet is super helpful to you all. It can tell you everything you can do as a player. Mm-hmm. Front and back, that's it. But you see, like, strength plus one, dexterity plus one. Yeah. So typically what I'll do is I'll set, like, a difficulty. I don't have to tell you what it is. But Apparently it's she does. 15. It's standard difficulty. So what you'll do is if you want to do something, I might... Like, let's say you are going to... Um, I don't know. You're going to try to convince a wolf not to eat you like they did in our other campaign. Okay? Like, it's probably going to fail because you're not a ranger or, you know, druid. But I might ask you to check wisdom for animal handling. Okay? So you would roll and then, like, wisdom. Your wisdom's plus two. So you add two. If it exceeds 15, you do it. Now, hey, can there's... You give me your credit card. There's, like, a very... Sure. We don't order Domino's ever, so our card is not on our account. We should have watched you order No, you're fine. Before. Literally, you're going to be fine. Now, there's a, an unofficial so rule that almost everyone uses <laughs> just, just, is a here, my card, my failure. So whatever you do, like you're trying to shoot an arrow, you accidentally shoot off your arm. That's a one. It's a critical <laughs> failure. It's not an official rule, but almost everyone uses it. And then 20 is a critical like hit, critical success. So critical do, you, do, you, do you tend to try to do fumbles, or do you just do, it's a, it's a fail? It's just a fail. Okay. You F up, you F up. Because f- fumbles can be fun, but they can be extremely Okay, okay, okay. So does everyone have beverage? Does everyone pee? Does everyone good? I need extra beverage. Can you already drink? drink it? You know it has du- probably more like two I and a half. I can taste the rum. Well, yes. <laughs> most of the rum, but most of the rum is coconut, so but it's why is actually the rum masked. Going? You can't tell how alcoholic it is. Okay. I'm 360 pounds. This is <laughs> yeah. But you don't handle liquor well. I handle this punch. has a lot. It has frozen. I handle punch well. It has frozen fruit punch, frozen lemonade, rum. Your vodka, grandma could be watching. And um, <laughs> club soda. I was about to say fizzy water. Okay. So. Fizzy water. So you all played D&D before you played once. I've DM'd once. What could go wrong? You have no clue what it is. Does anyone know what spell jammer is? Let's start with that before I no. actually start doing this. Okay. So Spelljammer, it was back during like the 3E days. So this is like a revived universe 
that was from 30 years ago, basically. Um, so it's very much like a space opera, okay? So Firefly, there's space pirates, you're out in space, you're soaring through the stars, it's wacky, it's weird. So it's not like your typical Skyrim, there's dragons and lords. There's literally space clowns. It is that goofy and weird. Are they um, killer clowns? Yes. They actually, um, they feed off of souls. Mm. Yeah. So. Space clowns that feed off of souls. It's Got very it. goofy, it's very weird, and it's meant to be that way. Um, oh my god, who's under this table? Harry, come on. There's so many cords in here, honey. She doesn't know what cords are. Well, I know, but... <laughs> I just... <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> they didn't take out all of his dice. They just shifted. <laughs> We're all good. Know, they're still, like the they're still in training. Right, come on, come on, go lay down. Come on, Gary. Get out here. Get out from the courts. Get out here. Trip all the all the courts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trip all the courts. And back um, in. <laughs> but yeah, so it's meant to be really weird, very space opera. It's weird. It's really the only way I can describe it. Okay. So is it, does anyone? I know you have questions. Do you have any oh, questions? Or are you just going to free ball it? I mean, you just going to go free ball Okay, I mean, you can do that. I can't even see over. It's kind of like such a short tear. I know, I'm fine. I mean, I still didn't understand. I'm going to stand up yeah, anyway. Yeah, here's the stool. I can go get a stool. Good. Should I go get the stool from the building? If you can get to it, yeah. Well, I'm literally like... Yeah, it would probably be easier if you were up a little higher. Yeah, okay. Hold on, time out. So, ask your questions while I'm going. <laughs> Yeah, we can answer your questions. Yeah, what questions you got? I, I can tell you incorrect. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Except for Spelljammer specific questions. So is it is it's more of imaginary stuff, stuff or yes. is it just... Yeah, yeah you're doing yeah. like everything so is combat in your head. And stuff, so Mandy's actually done maps and stuff. Like, combat will happen where you can actually, like, move your character around the map. But if you're, like, walking around town or trying to talk to, like, innkeepers or in a bar, normally that's all, like, in your head. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, I was, yeah. like, no, 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 no. there for a second. I was yeah. like, how are y'all talking about, like, these caves and stuff? Yeah. So, like, when we go into combat, she'll show the specific, like, combat map. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, the D20 is great. So then what you'll have on your character sheet is you'll have individual, like, strength scores, or individual scores. So, like, if she were to say roll a strength check, you roll a D20, and then you add that modifier to your score. So then when you're doing attacking, because that's the other thing that's really important, you'll be able to scroll down to your... Wow, now I'm like an overlord. <laughs> overlord, overlord. You can at least be camera? seen out there too. Yeah, you're still on camera. Okay, okay. I'm sure that helps too, because you can probably see now. I can actually see the table. Well, most of it. Yeah. So what, where okay, the... so I wrote 11 pages. You're looking for the skills? <laughs> no. Huh? So up? actions. Oh no. So if you go up to the top of the... We don't use the app very often. We normally use computers. So if you go to this little thing here, the grid, yeah, you click on it, and then you'll go to actions. So this is the stuff you can do in combat, and you'll add the the hit DC mm -hmm. to a to a roll. Right. So we'll walk this through the first combat too. Um, it but this be. is where you'll find the things that your character can do in combat. And then if you have spells, which you're a rogue. Right? I don't Dude. think he has the room spell. I don't think you do the room spells, which is He good. doesn't... I think he has, like, one spell, but he doesn't even have... It's, I picked a class without a lot of spells on purpose. The, the, tabaxi, the Tabaxi has, like, a, a race spell, doesn't they? Don't they? Doesn't they? Yeah, I think that's... Do the not they? Do, do they not? Okay, good. Perfect. So you don't have to worry about that. The actions is probably one that's helpful. And then the skills is going to be another one. It's so like if, for example, you decided you want to sneak into, you want to sneak it, you want to do something to sneak. You're very sneaky. And you want to be stealth. And you'll you're... roll what they call a stealth check. And so then you'll roll a d20 and then you'll add your stealth modifier to it, which should be done in the Dexterity. last. So then you'll add your, or it'll be a plus seven. Because you probably have bonuses. You roll for dex, but you probably dex. have proficiency for so stealth. Like, so like yes. a rogue. My, my special skill is charisma. And I get like plus nine for that. Holy sh! Do you really? Yeah. Nine? Plus nine. He's a super stealth. Oh my god! But he has like charisma. No, so the yeah, only other thing that's kind of important is yeah. we go back to the yeah, main sheet. Yeah. Is what we're gonna go back to the oh. big one. So is what we're gonna call saving throws. And so if, for example, we encounter a spellcaster that has some magical effect, right? It's like you, you put Pokemon on the ground. You pick Pokemon, right? 
Yeah. Okay, oh. so in Pokemon, if you cast Confusion, right, that normally does something status-wise to the Pokemon. Yeah. In D&D, you have the ability to save against it, and so then you'll roll, like, for Confusion, you'd probably roll a Wisdom check, right, a Wisdom saving throw, and so then you'll roll your D20 and add that to it, and then there's a DC for the spell that you have to beat to not be confused. Device. Right, and sometimes you can do them for, for attacks, where you can save for half damage or something like that. So that's the only other thing that you'll probably want to just like. Wait, what did Peter say? Keep in the back of your mind. Look at Mandy on her throne. Mm hmm. Love the goofiness. This will make a great one. Yeah, yeah. It's very goofy. Like, a lot of people hate it because it's it's not like I'm in a cave fighting a goblin. You're in space. A lot of spell versions of D&D, or a lot of space mm -hmm. versions of D&D &D don't mm -hmm. tend to go over well. Yeah. But, uh, for one shot, it'll be great. Because then everyone thinks it's Star Wars, and no one, it's a different fandom. Star Wars! Not that they're not the same. No? You've only played once? Yeah, but I get I I've get never it. played enough DMs once. Oh, you've so watched it. Wrong. God, it's <laughs> gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's so much fun. is... And you got your HP counter right there. I like half of this and I just the food here. Oh, that. the other thing is, is you have health. And so when you get hit, you're going to have to subtract whatever damage that's done to you to keep track of your health. Okay. If you that's drop to zero... The map. Yes, and if so you drop to zero hit, hit points, points... And it'll, like, sometimes enemies might do different kinds of damage. Mm -hmm. So they might do, like, necrotic or, you know. But yeah, it's so oh, much okay, easier. Because so. normally you'd keep up with all that on paper. And you'd have to, like, Literally. cost it out late. It's so much easier. It's why, like, a lot of campaigns before D&D Beyond would, like, be on, like, just giant whiteboards. You'd lay down a mat. Mm -hmm. They'd literally be just, DM yeah. mats. And that way you could, like, write on them with whiteboard markers or expo markers. Yeah. All of your stats that were changing. Mm -hmm. And, like, we have pieces of paper from campaigns before. Like, D&D Beyond really is a game changer it's for a, what? Mm -hmm. I think I told you. They're, like, building. We're not sponsored, by the way, by D&D Beyond. <laughs> no, this is not a sponsor. I wish I had sponsor. a little iPad. <laughs> yeah. No, um, I'm like, oh, that's better. But they're actually making, um, it's called, like, D and D online, where you can build virtual like dungeons. Yeah, they do so, that yeah. with um, what's the one you use? Roll roll twenty. Roll twenty. But yeah, it'll all be under like the D and D Beyond. Yeah, so, that'll be nice. Yeah. Also, if if anyone's character dies, don't worry about it. I made a reserve character called Sir Backup the Vengeful. I saw that last night. I was like, he's literally made one. So oh, yeah, we've had Vengeful. a lot of one-off campaigns where, like, the character, because, like, I tend to care less about one-off characters. Sir, back character up the will die right away. <laughs> it probably so. won't happen here, but I will tell you... So if it does, I'll just play Greg's backup character. I'll say the encounter <laughs> list. Not <laughs> what we encounter, but the encounter list. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. The last one... The room. Oh, I know. I, dr I, I drank half of going? this, and I literally... Huh? I'm just but like, why is the room going? I don't know. It's because it's coconut rum, so you can't really taste it with all the fruit. It's like, oh, this has no alcohol, but it has a double the amount. Okay. Who's ready to do stuff? Me. Yeah, let's go. Now, since you're next to the computer, you have to kind of glance back every once in a while because you're blocking the chat. Okay, sounds good. So uh, the only reason I saw Peanut is because I you moved back and I was like, what? Sounds great. Okay. So, are we ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm excited. My body is ready. Your body is My ready? My body is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so our adventure, it starts with us standing on the deck of a spell jam, spell jamming ship, and its name is the Millennium Peregrine. Not the Millennium Falcon, just the Millennium Peregrine. So you're glancing out at a pot of Kandori wells and space seals weaving around a small white dwarf. So despite the numerous days and nights you've spent gliding through the astral sea, the colors and wonder of wild space and its inhabitants Never fail to make you smile. So above you on the mast of the ship, you hear the molly mocks gleefully cooing along, and they are suddenly frightened away by a scuffle near the helm of the ship. Okay, now y'all are going to have to give me a second. This is the only thing about digital maps, is I have to actually move them. Molly mocks. Molly mocks. So they're like seagulls, but they're called molly mocks. Do you want to put the camera on the actual... Um, you can, you know, well, it depends on what you do. Okay, so you all are on the ship. All right, we're all on the ship. So yeah. you hear a scuffle behind you. So, so the, the the map is kind of covered by the, What's the, the little, like, icon. Oh, well, whenever we, if we have a fight, there's a separate screen for that. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so it'll shoot down. I don't know, I play where there not being any fights. Oh, no, no fights. that's not going to happen. So put yourself on <laughs> the ship. Yeah, put yourself on the it. ship. Go ahead and put yourself where you'd be standing roughly on the I'm ship. I'm going to be up here. I, I am at the front, barding. 
Away. Playing on your loop. Play Learning. Away. Fiddling away. What song are you playing for us? Where would the Tabaxi Rogue like Free Freebird, you? of course. Daniel, you can place yourself where, where you, you want to be. I am doing a stray, a great rendition of Freebird. A great rendition of Freebird. Okay, so you hear a scuffle from behind you on the ship, so you're just like, whoa, what? And then you hear him say, split the rations again, you say. The rations remaining in the hull of the ship have already had from what we should be eaten. If we split them again, you might as well sentence your crew to death from starvation. So as you all glance back over your shoulder, your eyes land on the first mate of the Moon Raider. His name is Agruk. So that's our little guy there with the spear, okay? So he's a middle-aged Hadozi with silvery brown fur and a large scar that starts at the top of his forehead and goes down to the top of his lip. You said he was the first captain? He's the first mate, yes. First mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Agruk, he's no stranger to space combat, but lately most of his efforts have been focused at the captain of the ship, Kalashtar, so that's our big bugbear friend there, who continually fails to keep up his promises for not only looting and payment, but even regular meals. So this ship, it's been out in the astral sea for months even, and honestly the captain, he just kind of sucks, right? They're all hungry, they never get the payment they want. Their crew is in shambles, everyone's a little on edge. Oh, you stop being so there. dramatic, Agruk. Our crew is made up of the finest warriors across the Astral Sea, Kalashtar says with a toothy half-grin. They could go days without food and still be fit for combat. With a quarter ration, they might as well be ready to overthrow the entire empire. So he's a hulk, and he's a seven-foot-four bugbear. And he was once a force to reckon with, but he's kind of showing his age, right? Um, so he's a little slower. He's definitely, he's got some patches of fur missing. Uh, but anyway, you all, you smile and you look down at the splintering deck of the ship. So long gone are the days when the ship would be repaired after an encounter. So not only are you all in shambles, this ship, it looks like it has literally drove through an asteroid field. Okay, so back in the day, um, Kalashtar, he used to repair the ship, but now it's quite literally falling apart. Um, and despite what Kalashtar might think, our group isn't the only person on the ship that's dissatisfied with its current state. So you glance around to your other crewmates, and I don't know, what do you all interpret from this disagreement? So I interpret there's a lot of alcohol in that fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've drank half of this. I literally, I'm like, like, I've drank half of this. Your face is red, too. So this, like this is the first me. And what was his name again? Uh, I'm Groot. The first me was our group. So I think that uh, I want to inspect the ration count myself and see if we can find a way to make it work without causing a kerfuffle. Mm, so you're going to head down into the hole and mm. inspect the rations? Yeah, you probably need an investigation check. Yeah, so that's intelligence. I don't have a map for the hole. Oh, well, well, I'm not very smart. So <laughs> We're rooting around in the in the hole. So. Yeah, the lair. Like, thing. I eat two pineapples and I drink half of this and I'm looking at it again. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, well, um, nah, 17, because I rolled an 18 minus 1. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you go down to the hull of the ship, and what you see is just quite literally, like, imagine, I don't know, some kind of kitchen that you might find in a Fallout game, okay? Like, there's some old tin cans laying around, some of them are open, it's kind of messy, right? But really, there's just not enough food. Like, Kalashtar, he was not kidding when he was saying that we needed to quarter the rations. Honestly, they probably should have quartered them a month ago. <laughs> So either you're going to have to quarter them, starve, or make your way into a city to buy stuff soon. Do we know how close we are to the next, uh... I'd say you're about a half day's journey away from um, the Rock of Thrall, which is the next nearest city. So, so are, are we passengers on the ship, or are we, like, crew You are crewmates on crewmates. the ship. Okay, so, so I'm going to go back up to the... I do have a lot of charisma. I did do that. I got a whole bunch of eight ones when I rolled. It was great. Ooh, you got good oh, dice. Oh, yeah. Except for the one I put in intelligence, because I figured I'm a fighter. Why am I the face of the party? Because <laughs> you have wings. Like, you don't blend right. in. Look I at don't. you. You're I clearly like... do not. Oh, yeah. I've got a, Okay. we got a 17 at Christmas. So I'm going to go back up to the top of the deck. I'm not very intelligent, but apparently I'm really charismatic. So I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm going to go over. Like I'm going to go. stereotypical blonde. You're like, right? so. So, why don't we just stop, and that's going to totally be the voice that I use now, so why don't we just stop at the next city? Alright, who are you saying that to? Both of them? Both or? of them. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Does anyone else want to, like, join her up there? I'll join her okay. as well, and try to convince her, I'm trying to convince her to stop at the next city. Yeah. Is there someone in our front yard? 
Yes. Neighborhood and we'll arrive. Fire. 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 I should have told them not to ring Time the door. Out. I should have told them not to ring the door. That was my bad. What happened? Oh. Ooh, you must have tapped the wire. Door dash is probably going to ring the door as well. I didn't tell him. You didn't tell him. That's door dash. Oh, that oh. was yours. Wow. Wow! It was expedient. What? I didn't even pay for the yeah. option. <laughs> so you didn't need it. Okay, so Agru, Keith, going to. Did you say anything when you walked up there, or what? Did, what did you do? I'm going to join in, like to convince the. Are convers- you going to sing it? Yes, I am going <laughs> to sing the conversation. Please. I give you plus two in your rolls if you actually sing when you're supposed to be singing. <laughs> You need to write that down, and you should so sing. Then <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna sing, talk. Okay, come on. Ooh, goose. Come on, Jeez. everyone out. Doggies out. Yeah, let's get go, the doggies go. out. Let's get the. Go, 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 go. Let's get the gate up. Doggies out. Come on. Go, yeah. go, 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 go. We got fire going. We got. Yeah, Kyrie's very drunk. Really though. This dog is on fire. Okay, I'm going to go up to on group in Cal Esther, and I'm going to sing When we get to the next city, we need to stop and finish our rations. <laughs> and maybe fix the ship. Can you remember? Maybe fix Christmas the ship. Hey, <laughs> for persuasion. <laughs> Christmas. 18? Plus two. Uh, plus three. Plus five. Right, because you, you get an extra it. plus two because you said yeah. it. You're not going to need it on 18. No, you're not. But that's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we're 23. <laughs> so with that, Kalashar, oh wait, you're up there. Move your little, move up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I am singing away. I got my loot. Kalashar I'm ready. and all group, they're both just going to like stop what they're doing. I'm going to look at you like, like, the words I won't say is coming off. But they're just going to both look at you and be like, so Kalashar is going to say, well, I know that we need to stop at the city. Okay? Because I sang it to you. You did. But <laughs> we have a job jerk. to do. And without a job, we have no money. And in the back there, you're just going to see Augur, like his little eyes are just going to roll in the back of his head. Like, because, I mean, deep down, right? Like, if you have no food, if your ship's falling apart, how are you supposed to do a job? Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Why are you so... Okay. Do you want Domino's to... probably. You can talk no, to I... them. Probably is Domino's. Domino's is probably coming. <laughs> you do, is there food wrong? <laughs> medicine? Medicine check? Huh? I'm gonna, I guess, help with the rations when we get to the next city. So, okay, so you're just gonna kind of take a seat in the back and you're like, okay, well, if we're going to the out. next city, yeah. you know, whatever. You successfully have hung up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Blobbert? Are you gonna do anything here? Um, Blobbert is working on trying to mend the the ship okay, where okay. he can with with his mending cantrip yeah yeah so he's, which he's, is like it's a very slow process he's got like his little um i almost said squid but it's not quite a squid he's got his little yeah. like flubber looking hands so he's trying to mend it and while he's mending it his hands are actually going down through the cracks of the ship to get the splintering parts that are underneath the deck he's basically like yeah. sand man he yeah yeah he literally is it. yeah so so he's so Blob- blobber's using mending to like try to repair bits of the hole it's it's a very slow process. It's it's a it's a cantrip, so Blobbert can do this multiple times. However, the spell only repairs a single break or tear in an object at a time. So it's yeah, like, yeah. So that he's it's like, like he's one going one splinter at a time. Board. It's like it's like trying to count sand more or less. Give me one. Give me one. Give me you one. You want one? Yeah. yeah. It's down. Holy cow! Please. Okay. Blobbert so, anyway, is going to do that. I didn't think <laughs> that we would need to have a. Like chips and stuff to munch on because I didn't realize you were gonna have extra alcohol. It is, time. yeah. Well, we ate an early lunch too, so I'm just like, oh god. Mother, we should have ordered you food. It's okay. No, I'll survive. They'll just make this more fun. Okay, so with that, so Aubrey, he's just so freaking annoyed with Kalashtar, right? So he's just, he's back here. He won't take the ship into Brawl even though we need to. So he's gonna turn to Kalashtar and he's gonna say, I'm not under- sure you understand what exactly we're saying here, Kalashtar. So there's been rumblings of a mutiny for a few weeks now, and I think cutting our rations again might just be the final straw. We don't need crew. to cut our rations. We just need to make it to the next place, and then everything will be fine. But then you have no money, because you're not doing a job if you're part or dog not part. But I part. believe we can find work. <laughs> we can find work in the new place. Mm-hmm. So 
So Kyle Star, he just, he turns, because this is the first he's heard of a mutiny, right? You know, he's just off in his own world. He only cares about getting gold and then saying they got less for the job, but really, he's, okay. he's very, you need like a whole other table here. I mean, <laughs> he's got all these cords. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You okay. have successful, successfully gone and got yourself in that one. <laughs> what, hey, what is it? You have game, that's what <laughs> so Cash Star, his eyes, they just open wide, right? And he turns back to Augur and says, Say it's not so. You've been with me since this helm was first installed here on the Millennium Peregrine. That is such a hard name to say. Millennium Peregrine, yeah. <laughs> Despite sounding Good upset, name. you can actually see Kalashtar, his hand starts to reach down and it grabs the tip of his axe, right? So, like, he's acting sad about this, but he kind of gets a little toothy grin, like, you know, he's been waiting for this to happen. Do I notice this? You do. It's okay. very, I mean, it's a huge axe, right? Like, how oh, you yeah, it is. see it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I slowly start uh, I, I playing a little less. You can't just play a song. <laughs> I guess you can. You're just constantly singing. Well, I'm sitting playing this. I'm playing Freebird. Just going up. And, and constantly just stopping. Free! <laughs> I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no need for violence. That was free falling, not free. That's my fault. That's my fault. We fine. just need to come up with a plan to hear out the crew. So Augur, he's going to turn to you and he's going to say, see, that's exactly what I'm saying. We need to hear out the crew. So I may have helped install the helm of this ship all these years ago. But I've never once betrayed it, but I feel like you have. At this time, I truly think I'm a better fit to steer through the wild plains. I have to not only defend... Okay, I'm going to stop saying this. So, Millennium Peregrine. Just call it MP. MP, MP, the MP, the MP. The MP. I get tongue tied. When you were saying Millennium Peregrine, I was already like, we're going to call this thing the MP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's so hard to say. But the crew that serves her. So he feels like he has to save both of you. And you can really tell tensions are high here. Like something is about to go down. So like noticing the commotion, I'm, I'm going to walk over to the tabaxi sitting next to me. I'm going to go, hey, what's up? Do you uh, know what's going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> You're the tabaxi. Yeah, yeah, that's you. He's talking to you. <laughs> so, no, the tabaxi's just back here. <laughs> so you guys see if you can do what was going on. No. <laughs> Okay, well, there's, there's, maybe I should go check it out. It looks like tensions are kind of high. <laughs> so are you literally just going to stay back here and eat your, your food? Like, there's no food on the ship. How are you eating food? Yeah. Well, I got to get rid of the portions. Oh, oh so wait, maybe the rations are down because he's actually yeah. been eating them the whole time. <laughs> Crewmate Clover, reporting in. <laughs> Me? Me, Loki, sensing. Me senses. <laughs> me, Loki, sensing the uh, the discourse on the ship. I start to play Wonderwall. <laughs> Wonderwall. Uh, to to try to ease the tension. Okay, so you're you're playing Wonderwall. Yeah, I play Wonderwall to ease the tension. <laughs> but after all, okay. And I so, say maybe. You can tell we've been drinking the punch. <laughs> We're just both giggling like that. Stop trying to go outside. I said maybe. You'd be the one that saves me. Coming. Doggies! <laughs> on the ship. Um, no, you actually, <laughs> I mean, so with that, they're both just going to pause again for a second and they're going to look over you like, what is up with this guy? I'm a bard. I'm not even letting you roll. <laughs> captain, is there something I can help with? <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking to the captain? Yes, sir. So Kyle Shar, he's still got his hand down there on his axe and he looks at you and he's like, Blobbert, you've been loyal the entire time we've been out on our, what do you call a seafaring request? Plates? Paper plates. Are those? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Will you help me defend oh, the ship? Defend the ship from what? From the mutiny. Mutiny? Who's mutinizing? <laughs> I don't know. I just played the drum. <laughs> 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 All right. I just played the loop. So with that, so, um, 
<laughs> Kellen. That's probably a look the same. That is a big wrap. So yeah, that's the biggest um, wrap I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so Agruk, he's just gonna narrow his eyes, right? Um, and he's gonna be like, so this is how it's gonna go down, right? Right. So he's looking at it, and with that, um, we roll initiative. Pretty much. So Kalistar, he's gonna raise his axe up, and he's actually just he's gonna like kind of clap his hands, but he's gonna smack the side of the wood. And with that, two of his most loyal goblin minions, so go ahead and put those over there, are going to roll behind him, kind of. Behind him? They're are they part out. of the crew? Yeah. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Oh, okay. Part of the yeah. ship, part of the crew. Part of the <laughs> ship, part of the crew. <laughs> so, bugbears, they usually, like, imprison goblins. Like, they kind of, they're almost like slaves, right? Mm -hmm. So, it, it was easier for him to recruit them for the ship. So, there's actually quite a few goblins on the ship. Okay. And with that, roll more initiative. You want to do 20? Ah oh, damn, I'm going first. Yeah, I'm, I'm going second. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I actually have... What'd you roll? Oh, I rolled a 16 and I add whatever my initiative is. Ooh, 10! Which I can't find. Oh, plus <laughs> 2, so I got an 18. Oh my god, okay. I'm telling you, I said I was you going You want to roll a d20? That's the roll most... Roll a d20! With the most sides. I got a 1. <laughs> Jail. That's our that's our first <laughs> one of the night, ladies and gentlemen. First ever roll. They know what you get. Dice jail. Switch them out. It needs a new D twenty. You can have. You can I have rolled an eighteen. An eighteen. Okay. That goes back to dice jail. You, you can you can use my purple dice. If you need to oh my god. I've okay. only got a pound of dice. Okay. So with that, so um. <laughs> Um, Agru, he's gonna kind of step back away from Kalashar, so you are fighting with him to like def pretty much overthrow your, your shady cat. Okay, that's what we're going for. All right, now Daniel, are you you're in this fight, right? So we should probably move you. Where do you want to oh. stand at? Yeah, you you traversed across the ship. Are you just hanging <laughs> yeah, out? Yeah, he's just in the back. He's, <laughs> I'm eating the rations. I'm eating the rations. He's down there with the can, like the crumbs of bread, just gnawing away. Okay. So, I have never used this encounter thing on here, so this is going to be fun. Mm. Alright, so up first, we I have... Good. How do we tell the goblins apart? So, Goblin A is going to be the one with the shield. Okay, okay. just for... So, okay. Goblin A is actually up... Oh, God, y'all are really bad. Compared to them. So, Goblin A is up first. So you won't kill us. Uh, probably not. We, we weren't prepped for a fight. Okay, so who's the <laughs> closest to you here? So, yeah, I was trying to just with that, that, he is going to make a charge hmm. at, oh god, Ooh. so he's going to make, oh, each square is five feet. Yeah. Okay. And your movement speed is. Yeah. You don't have to use all your movement, but like, why wouldn't you? But if you move past an enemy, they can get like, they basically get a free attack on you, so you need to watch where you're moving, right? Okay. So he's going to run up to you because you have food and everyone in this crew is starving. And he is going to try to attack you with his, uh, his additional sword. information. Okay. So what is your armor class? So that's on your app. I can also look this up for you. Um so your AC should be at the very top, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, armor class. It's this number right here. You're a 14. Oh sorry. Whoa. Okay, so he pulls his sword out of his sheaves there, right? And he takes a swing at it, but he's running so fast that he actually trips a little bit and stumbles, and he swings and he misses past your shoulder. So he doesn't hit you. Good job! You rolled a one, but you still didn't get hit. <laughs> okay, so next up here, we have... I keep forgetting who's who. So the captain is Kalashar. Okay. Yeah, captain's so Kalashar. Next up, we have Kalashar, okay? So he is standing closest to Loki. So he's gonna, he's already got his axe so out there. Baby, <laughs> so he's gonna try to get saves me. With his axe, what is your AC? Armor class. 12. Okay, so he takes that axe out and he definitely hits you. So that axe is so big, it's really hard. And he's also just pissed off that you keep singing. So, <laughs> so he swings straight for your head, okay? Um, so, <laughs> um, okay, so when do you say plus two? You should type in the chat. We're trying to be Snorlax. Snorlax? Well, no, he, oh, you wake Snorlax up oh, with the flute. So, ooh, math. I should have got a. Okay, hold That's on. true. I don't like math, so three plus. 
<laughs> Thank God oh, it was fun. This axe really hurts. Stop it! <laughs> you take 18 damage from this axe just oh, well. crushing your skull. I forgot like, level two. Like it's a Shine. just a pumpkin. Huh? I forgot level two. Don't put that on the camera. Huh? I thought that ordered chips and salsa, but they only gave me the chips. Uh, I have salsa if you want salsa. We have salsa, yeah. It's in the cabinet to the right. That's better than beat up salsa. I'll tell you that much. It's not sponsored. sucks now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did you record your 18 damage? Yes, I did. That's probably a lot to you. How much <laughs> HP do you have as a bard? I have 38. Oh, okay, okay. Why do you have more than me? Okay, so next up we have Gwen. So Gwen. Oh, that's why. Oh, I guess we should turn the bugbear to face Loki. Yeah, there we go, there he's beating the shit out Whatever, of me. Whatever, he's close enough, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Is my water bottle over there, Brad? I have yeah. more water back here. Yes. Okay, okay. I need it. I have more. Okay. okay. I think I still have some in there. But... Just the way punch. Are you drinking punch now? Oh, yeah, I'm drinking Don't, punch. Don't, dude. I drink half of that really quick. That like, punch I feel is good. better now, but it hit. Do I'm not... Like, he yeah. waited for that, the that, that, uh, like, smart. That pineapple that's in there, do not yes. eat that. Don't, don't eat the pineapple? Don't eat the pineapple. So eat the pineapple, you're saying? Yeah, eat the pineapple, Just and then you'll find out why I said don't eat do the pineapple. Do what we did, drink it really <laughs> <laughs> I got a piece of pineapple. Bro. Yeah, eat the pineapple, so find out why you don't eat the pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't eat the worm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next up we have Rin. Yeah. Rin yeah. Rin Pizza! This online like encounter tracker is so much better than pen and paper. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. So I am gonna take a five foot step. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't have flank that way, do I? You don't have what? Flank. Mm, not really. You have to be a little you could probably get around there. There's I a can gap. take another yeah. five foot step and mm-hmm. then I have flank on that with that guy. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Calish stuff. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. Go for um, it. Um so since I'm flanking, I don't know how to add that onto here. I don't know what flanking does in 5e. Uh, advantage usually. It's an advantage. Yeah. Okay. So I get to roll again. Uh, we'll take the 13 plus 6. And you're doing that on... Okay. 13 plus 6. So 19. Mm-hmm. 19 hits. Okay. So then I do 2d6. Six plus three damage. So nine. Uh huh. This has this work. Nine. This is so nice. <laughs> I, mean, I just you don't understand. Like compared to having a paper and scratching out and like adding yeah. HP, yeah. this is nuts. Because I have like a lot to keep track of. Anyway, okay. Next up here is that the end of your turn. Do you have a bonus action or anything? Um, not right now. I don't think. Okay. okay. So next up we have Brother Blabbert. So, I Bl- Blobbert, Blobbert is very oh, confused. No. <laughs> you what? You yeah, rolled he, 23. He, he, he rolled, no, did you roll 23 for your... No, I rolled 18 for my deck. Your initiative is negative 9. What'd you roll? 18? His initiative should not be negative 9. Why did it show up negative 9? Why is there something weird on your character sheet? I don't know. It auto did that. What? Let me get one of your character sheet. I can add you in here. Where is it? Where is I'll just it? make your initiative like... Where's it show my initiative? It should be right it's up top here. You have a plus, plus three. I'm plus three initiative. That's weird. I'm just gonna make it nine. So you'll go after Greg. I don't know why. I rolled eighteen. I don't know why it's too late. You've already got. I mean, you do just, you wanna... just insert him in front of me. That yeah. works. Okay, that works too. So technically, if you rolled an eighteen, you you two would have tied. So you didn't remove not... the dice from the from the thing. It's we need we need to, to go through the camera. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah go to the back of the camera. Yeah, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. There it is. Yay. Oh. We're all clustered at the top yeah. of the ship. Yeah. Woo. Okay. So, so <laughs> I don't know why it did that. Okay, anyway, if you had 18, you and Kristen would have tied. So actually, you're... Where but you then what it? do you use as the tiebreaker? So breaker? we're good. Um, well, you've already won it, so that's well, the tiebreaker. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you I swear I'm going to say negative one. <laughs> okay. Fall off. You are last. In case you haven't figured that out. You're on a one. Okay, I think he got that one. Okay. Roll the line and we put his dice and dice down. Ones aren't good, by the way. Yeah. So, like, it's like you were eating so much food, you choked and passed out for like a <laughs> second, and then you woke up and got to the fight. <laughs> okay, so, oh, you can actually see that pretty good. 
Yeah. I mean, you can't, like, make out the characters perfectly. It's cool. You, you can actually see me. Peanut says thank you. <laughs> Peanut, we're not... We don't stream tabletop. We don't yeah. know what we're doing. We're just winging it. Okay, so, um, Loki, you are up next. Okay, so... So, am I within five feet of him? Yes. Oh, okay. definitely. One square is five feet. So okay, yeah. so, well, actually, I want to go to Oh, the, man, I can attack twice. I want to go to the goblin. Oh, the goblin? Yes. Okay, so that's, yeah. Okay, goblin B. I'm going to yeah, use... So, you want an action. And I'm going to use my unarmed strike. Ooh. Do you not have a weapon? I thought I did. Apparently not. You can use. Your I mean, you can use it without. You don't have to draw your weapon, but drawing your weapon also doesn't. I thought I had. Oh, you just don't have your. your I don't have it equipped. It okay. You have. Yeah. No, I do. We're also getting used to D and D Beyond. We apologize. Some of us are like <laughs> actual D and D players that are very used to playing with like paper. I've never there you go. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right. This is weird for us. Yeah. I'm just telling a story. I'm going to use my dagger and attack that goblin. Okay. Wait. 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 Sorry. I would like to use my dagger. <laughs> I would like to use my dagger to attack that goblin. You really are going to sing the whole time. That He's like to. You. you know? <laughs> House rule. <laughs> DM's allowed to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know the, the critical fail, critical like roll? That's actually a house rule, too. That's not official. Rule. 11? Plus. Everyone uses it though. Oh yeah. Well, everyone has used it for a long time. Yeah, it's so that dumb. was a thing from that was actually a rule in first and second gen D. Oh, oh really? D&D. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah, that. the critical fail was a. So is it? That's an eleven. Eleven. Five E really cleaned it up though. It's a fourteen. Yeah, is it a fourteen? Well, they're, they're, not right, 60. Yeah. they're not calling it sixty though. They're calling it. It's fourteen. Like, it looks like eleven from. 14 well, plus, what's your, what's your so attack is 5? He rolled a 19, man. I rolled a 19. I rolled a 19. Roll a 19. Cool. 19 to stab. You rolled a 19. Plus 2 for singing it. So, <laughs> so 20, 21. 21 to stab. Okay, um, that does hit. So roll your, um, whatever your attack dice for that attack. Okay. Yeah, the damage die, it's a D4. D4. <laughs> so I got 2 plus 4. 4. Is four it a plus four? I thought it was a plus two. No, it's plus two. That's four. And that was an yeah, unarmed okay. strike, right? Four. Four damage. All right, so with that, you take your loot, you kind of tuck it back behind your back because you're just like, okay, they don't like my music, I'm going to show them what I'm made of, right? Well, so I said swing. maybe. <laughs> well, I said maybe. So you swing your fist, pull, and you're just like, you can see like the only tooth this goblin had left. It goes flying across the deck and just kind of skitters around. So with that, he looks kind of dazed. Like, he really looks a little beat up. Mm-hmm. All right, and... That's what I mean. Yep. So it's actually his turn... No, it's your turn next. Brother Blobbert. So, Blobbert was, like, kind of surprised that this <laughs> aggression broke out suddenly. <laughs> You're back there playing with the splinters on the boat. Right, I was, I was, I was, he was mending, he was mending the, he was mending the boat. He came up to see what was going on. So he, 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 he noticed the tension, and then the tension mm-hmm. suddenly explodes into violence. Um, Blobbert would like to roll an insight mm-hmm. to kind of see... Because you, you said the captain was smiling, so he, he I, mm-hmm. Blobbert wants to know: is the is the captain really in the wrong here? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. It's a ten. Okay, so with that, he just kind of looks at you like you're looking at him weird, and he's just like, "What the hell is up with this guy?" And he just keeps on fighting. Okay. <laughs> so. Because you're just back there, like just staring at him, like your little blob. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, well, you got yeah, one eye. You got one eye. It's on a different <laughs> level than the other. It's still trying to form. So, so Blobbert <laughs> saw that that Loki took some damage. So he's gonna he's gonna walk over mm-hmm. and he's gonna touch Loki and say, "I hope you feel better, friend," <laughs> and give him a cure wounds. Ooh. Oh, and that should be like a thirteen Wait, to heal. Sir. It updates your all's HP. I can see it too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. That's helpful. That's so huh. cool. I just noticed. It's it's four, fourteen healing. Oh, what, do I go above my hit points? Can I go above? Did you them? mark that we're playing though? Because I think some things like it automatically change the features for so us to see. You can't. I don't think you can healing. see the combat track. Fourteen. No, but you, should, should, you be should be able to turn it to a game session. <laughs> well, okay. Thank you. Uh, you it, you're the one that you saved me. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and after all, you're my brother, Blobbert. <laughs> and and then. Uh, Blobber's going to cast Sanctuary as a bonus action upon himself. 
I think I can only see the game. Yeah. Okay. Number so like, if you so roll, we'll I can see what you rolled. But let's more not real dice that. is more fun. Let's, mm -hmm. let's be real. It, it clicks. It clacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that is so cool. I can see your health. I didn't realize that. That's helpful. It's so cool. Okay. Next up, we have. Did, did you get bonus action? I'm gonna cast sanctuary upon myself. Okay. So. Okay. okay. What's sanctuary? <laughs> We've never played with you, a cleric. You, you ward a creature within range against attack until the spell ends. Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw on a failed throw. Why does that affect me? I might have a thingy for that. Probably not. Sanctuary. Sanctuary? Yeah. Probably don't. I've never actually even looked at these. It's know, it's basically why. it's basically they have to make a saving throw to attack me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Goblin B, he looks back at you. He's still got a little bit of blood there on his gum, right? Where he just knocked his tooth out. Mm -hmm. So, he is going to... He's going to pull out his sword. Okay, he does have a sword. And he's going to swing at you. Goblin B's okay. are kind of simple. Wow. Okay. Um, what's your AC? <laughs> I can see your AC, actually, but I don't you can't. tell me. My AC is... Yeah, I don't think there's... 13. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, so, I guess he's still right? kind of just dazed, you right? You so probably use Hunter's mark. You have leather armor on, don't you? I don't think we have what a Hunter. What is that a huge thing? Oh, do I? Do I have? If it's something you want to remember. Yeah, I think it's just for this turn, though. Is it just this turn, Greg? Yeah. Uh, sanctuary? Mm -hmm. Until your next turn. I'll check the duration. Of I have leather armor on. What does that mean? It means it increases your AC bonus. It doesn't make a difference. It's already calculated. It's already It's duration it one minute, so ten rounds. Well, wow. so you're probably gonna want to use the hunters. It, it goes away if I if I do yeah, anything ahead, aggressive ahead, towards someone. Because we don't have another one, and we don't have a hunter, so you might as well use yeah, the hunter's mark. If, if, it's if on I, him. It's on me. Yeah, it's protecting him. If if I do something okay. aggressive, like if I make an attack or a spell oh, against yeah, somebody, yeah, we'll he, heals well, aren't an aggressive action. Effect, mm -hmm. But that might work. Let's use that one instead. Yeah. That's a magical effect. So now you get a magical effect. The first time we've used these. I like them a lot. They are definitely nice. investing in the rings. They're like twenty bucks. That's it. That's, that's not much for it's, to be able to remember. D &D like, I forget, twenty bucks is nothing. I forget all the time. <laughs> yeah, but all anyway, the time. he pulls the sword out. He swings. He's still dizzy. He misses. Okay, cool. Your, your rendition of Wonder Wall just has him in a. I know. World. I tell you what. <laughs> He's, he hit a Wonder Wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is you. Come on! What's your name? Okay, so basically you look at where you are, right? And anything... So, okay, on your sheet, you have um, walking... Where's the walking? 30 feet. So each block is 5 feet. So you could technically move way over here if you want to, right? Or you could move to the That's different enemy. Okay. Or you can attack. So there's a goblin standing right next to you. Help. I set it up to be easy for you. How do you, you don't know? You don't, don't know the You help. just gotta keep hitting him until she says what I you want to do. Help, but you don't. Oh, okay. How so, do you want to do this? So you have, um, how do you equip the art or the weapons? Uh, go, go to your inventory. Right here, hit the, yeah. go back. Okay. Hit the, 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 red, the, the red thing. I somehow got like inventory. a normal looking, um. And you equipped your, equipped. Yeah, you just click the Do you like your little animated thing? Clip the squares. I do. It's so 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 just dagger, dagger. So, so you have a short those. sword, you, you have. So you just click one of the short swords, click your leather armor so that you're yeah. wearing your leather, yeah. and then. <laughs> click the box beside him. Yeah, the one. What's yeah. your What's your dexterity, Daniel? Is it sixteen? Dexterity, or is it like twelve? Dexterity is fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. Short sword. Okay, so leather so armor is like eleven, maybe. No. Yeah, um. Okay. So is that all you want to equip right now? Okay. Yep. Uh. Well, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and throw your leather on your turn. I'm gonna help you out. So, basically, what you can do now is you can attack, right? So you have um. Uh, go to actions. Okay. It's like I have to actually yeah. use this app myself. Actions. So actions. Yeah. So you can attack with your sword. You can do an unarmed strike, or you can do cat's claws. Ooh. Uh, attack. Okay. So you are going to attack with your sword. So you so roll, roll a d twenty. So that's the one with the twenty sides. That's mm -hmm. how they're named, right? So d twenty is twenty sides. So you're gonna roll that. Mm -hmm. Now the thing about each of these creatures is they have an imaginary Three, number called an armor seven. class. See, the purple die is nice. So 14 that's plus a good die. Seven. 7, so 21. That's, that's why you got to train your dice. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so you rolled a 21. So you definitely hit that goblin. So yeah. if you got, you don't know what the armor class of him is, mm -hmm. his defense or whatever. Um, but you if you get below that, yeah, you kind of figure it out the more you hit and miss. 
But um, so you passed it, yeah. right? So, so you now get to attack. You so take one d six. So the d six. So, so that's just regular dice. Yeah. So and you're gonna roll one d six and then add four to other dice. Can you hand me my so three so get out another plus dice. four? So you did seven damage to that goblin. See, it's not hard. That's pretty much it. Mystic. Mystic uh, cart cart sip. Have you ever seen? What? Mystic cart says everyone make sure you train your dice in the game before a game. Yeah. Oh, we, we've yeah, been training them all. We've we've go. worked hard on. We, I've got I got all we'll of them up, all ready to go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, the, the so train. my thirty five dice laid out. You pull go. out your sword, right? And you swing it, and you're just so rejuvenated from the snacks that you had while like everyone wasn't looking sword? that you actually swing <laughs> and you chop the goblin's head off, and it rolls across. <laughs> So he was like, ah! the you goblin goblin. Goblin's Bam. Dead. Yeah, look at that, Daniel. You look so ecstatic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> goblins, are, goblins are super weird. Hit, hit like, him with a one liner. You gotta hit him with a one liner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now is a terrible time to lose one's head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that now sometimes you can do bonus action. So in your move you can um, you can move if you want to, right? So you can actually still move if you want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want to get closer to the next thing that you're doing. Yeah, the only attack. thing I'll say is you gotta watch what enemies you're walking by because they'll get an attack opportunity on you. Yeah. Okay. So, like, for example, you wouldn't want. Well, I'll, this dude here, he's I can move technically up to 30 feet. Huh? Move up to 30 feet, you mm-hmm. said? I mean, square is uh, five. Yeah, you can. So yeah, so, like, when, when I moved up to here, Ungrook could have made an attack opportunity against me. If yeah, you but he, I was nice. <laughs> you don't want him to get it. He's uh, the one they need these dice. Ungrook is fighting with you. Yeah. I haven't technically chosen a side yet. I'll move. <laughs> you're just there. So, you're trying to keep everyone alive. I'm flopping around. This block is five feet. Okay. So, okay. so you're kind of in this square. So six uh, feet. I will move. Feet. I'll move. I'll move 20 feet backwards. Away from everything? <laughs> <laughs> Retreating. I killed you. I'm Retreating. <laughs> I've got my fill. <laughs> oh, that's great. Time to get the portion. <laughs> May the dice ever be in our favor. Indeed. 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 Okay. So with that, we have um, our group's turn. So I'm going to, since he's an NPC, I, I kind of do it for him, right? So he's super mad at Cal Star. So he's going to walk around behind him and also, is there room to flank him from back there? Kind of next to you, Ren? Um, if the decal was no, 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 you're sorry. You want to move? You want to move here? That's Kyle. Oh, right there, right there. There you go. Without the decal, there'd have been room. Okay, so um, he is going to. I love this virtual thing. He's going to pull. Uh, what do you have, Albert? Multi attack. So he's going to make a multi attack with his short sword. Wow. So I'm grids on our the side. The are cool. He is on your side. Oh he's my mad. gosh. Okay. Multi attack is usually for natural. Does someone weapons. want to roll for it? I mean, I'll, I'll take this. Roll already rolled. Multi attack is usually for natural. Yeah. Weapons, okay. So he you can use it with a. a <laughs> he's not gonna hit. He he's just so excited this is finally happening that he just he trips while he walks over. Okay. <laughs> like yeah, he's on. He, he yeah. There's nothing there. Wow. They have no. HP too. Hadozis are kind of beefy, you all. Should have played a Hadozi. You know they have like arm flaps, kind of like flying squirrels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now yeah, she she hangs out for her elbows over the. She's like she's like here I'm I'm here to order a drink. Okay. I'll eat it all. So since that goblin is dead, next up we have Kalishtar. So where's Kalishtar at? In the, um, in the middle. He of is one. surrounded. So he's gonna take a step back, kind of to the. Coming to the right of Ren. So that oh, I to get the an right. attack. Straight back towards you. Towards this me. Way. Yeah, yeah, right there. So I get an attack of up. No. No. <laughs> Only if he leaves your threatened space. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so he is going to, since he's the closest to you, I'm going to attack at you. Nope. All right, so he is going to. Did I not take this? <laughs> he no, rolled a 15. I have a 16. Well, Oh, so he misses! <laughs> yes! Uh, you're good. He hits like a freight train. Okay, so... <laughs> I know, I was scared. <laughs> so he actually, he takes that step backward and he kind of trips on the dead goblin's head and stumbles a bit, right? And he just 
really doesn't get that axe around and misses. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> what? Let's see what? The punch? No, I ate the punch. Oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> I ate the Dude, fruit. I, I ate like two pineapples and drank half of it really quick, and I was sitting here like, whoa. Did you look at that? <laughs> it was like punch in a different back in the world. fridge? Or? Um, I won't a minute. Okay. I'm about to get more after I this fight. I want more after this fight. Just beware. Okay. Beware so, the punch. <laughs> who's up next? Um, up next we have you, Rin. Yes. So I'm going to, I just realized that I can make two attacks a turn. So. How do you know? Um, because my, that's a specific it's thing a, with It's fighters. a fighter oh, thing. Okay. So first attack is, a. Uh, Full martial characters tend to get multiple attacks they can hit per oh, round. Is a 14? Mm-mm. Okay. Second attack is going to hit because that's a 20. It does hit. Okay. So... Oh, man! Ooh. 11 damage plus 3. So, 14 damage. Is that total or is that... That was total. total. Okay, okay. I almost hit you all. Whoops. Alright, so you... What did you attack with? My greatsword. Okay, so you pull your greatsword out, right, with a big, long lunging throw. You just smash it right into his shoulder, right? Mm-hmm. And he kind of lets out like a howl. Um, so it dug in there pretty deep because it's a pretty big sword. Alright, next up we have Loki. Alright, God, Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'd like to order some punch. <laughs> and I'm going to continue attacking this goblin right here. Okay. But, sorry. I am going <laughs> to continue attacking a goblin. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my dagger. <laughs> I'm going to use my dagger. <laughs> and then I'm going to attack. I can see. You're like slightly insane. That's what you say all the time because you've forgotten how to talk. I can't see everyone's help. 13 plus He's 5. Like, and I <laughs> will always stab you. 18 plus 2 is 20. So it, it will hits. hit. Yeah. It hits. You don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, yeah, I got 3 plus 2. So 5. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, it's right. only... Yeah, true. That is true. All right. Blobbert. Um, the Blobbert's is still confused. Idiot? He's going to roll another insight oh, check. Oh, wait. Wait, did you attack... I attacked it. You attacked the Goblin or Cattle Star? The, the Goblin. goblin. Oh, wait. Rewind. <laughs> I was going to say, he can't reach Cattle Star. Okay. Mamaw Clark donated $50. Oh, Mamaw! Oh, Mamaw! Oh, five packs open. Mamaw Clark. You're Woo! Okay, fine packs. What was Bill saying? Wow! Wow! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, so you. Oh, what did you attack with? What did you attack with? A uh, goblin. But what did you attack with? The dagger. Okay. So I you, suck it! You pull out your dagger and you're swinging because you're just half sane, right? You come up, you jab him right underneath the chin, and he falls over dead. So someone hand me that goblin because I'm lazy. Thank you! Okay. Uh-huh. Brother Blobbert. So, um, Blobbert is still confused and wants to see if he understands the situation at this point. <laughs> Insight. Blobbert's just always confused. <laughs> that's better. That's a 20. Oh, well, what, are you, what are you asking? I'm, just... I'm, I'm trying to, like, I'm still trying to understand if, like, if the captain was, like, intending for this to happen is really against the crew. Yeah, so the captain, he's tired of our Or if the mutiny's, like, right. in the wrong. Yeah, no, no, so, um, Kalistar, he's tired of our group, right? Like, he's been get, getting kind of cranky that he's, he's not the captain, and honestly, he kind of knew this was going to happen. He sharpened his axe a little bit this morning, you know? Okay. Um, yeah, so he was ready. That's why I jumped in the action so quick. Gotcha. So, so, Captain seemed bad. Um. <laughs> seem bad. Okay. No, you gotta use your voice. <laughs> Come on, Blobbert. Um, this is... This is in his head. His, oh, his, his, his head, his he head talks, is like he talks differently in his head. So, yeah, his, yeah, his head sounds different. Because when so when when the plasmoids speak, they don't really have vocal cords. It's, oh, okay. it's a uh, wind passing through okay, like, yeah, yeah. air tunnels and holes and stuff within sense. their yeah. blob body. He's literally a blob. He can like he can fit into a space like one inch wide if he takes nothing with him. He's just liquid. So like in in his head, it's it's really like it's actually like a Morgan Freeman narration inside of his yeah. head. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Blobbert Please is confused. <laughs> Today, Blobbert woke up. He was confused um, about the happenings. So, much as he always is. So, Blobbert's like, Well, Reap, I think we're mutinies. 
And he's going <laughs> to use his action to um, bless Ren. Ooh, I do have a thing for bless. You do have a thing Is that a cantrip or do you have to like roll for it? It's a, it's a level one spell. Yeah. We should just keep these here. Yeah, it's I'll a concentration up to one minute. Okay. If they were in like, you know, some sort of alphabetical order or something. It, I know. That's I may just put like them in box. alphabetical order. Bless. Bless. And you, uh... You can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to your attack roll or saving throw. There's definitely one for blessed. I remember seeing it. I just got off my chest. Probably not. I'm trying to read it. It's I know not it's alphabetical. Sorry, it's, not it's not alphabetical. It's the one right down there. That's yeah, right. It is blue. So I am. Well, we're going to have to be creative about how to Just hang it on the way. Yeah, just yeah. I am blessed. I love it so much. These are helpful. So what does blessed give me? Miss Luna, go with the and what happens? What do I feel? What What is the bonus? You, you get a d4 three. to an attacker. <laughs> you feel tingly. <laughs> Alright, next up is Lil C. It's you. So where do you be with your walls? <laughs> so I'm going to dash. Ooh. Ooh, you're going to dash. You're going to, wait, what's that? Where's that at? No, no, so you'll, oh, okay. that's like your movement, that's a so you can move. dash some, yeah, you can dash, move, so you can dash you back up the stairs, well, that's what I was about so like you oh, went down there and you finished the last few bars, <laughs> you were sneaking and now you're going to dash back, so we're yeah, going to dash you, I'm going Good. back up to the, you going back up here, yeah, I'm going back up, no, yeah. so you're actually flanking, him. and he's going to get sneak attack, Yeah. so you're going to get advantage, so what that means is you're going to roll your d20 twice, and you get to take the best number, or you can roll two d20s, but, yeah, yeah, we other we put the other one in. Jail. The other that's not a D twenty. The other one's in jail. So yeah, there you go. Oh. Your jail one if you want it. No. Get out of jail. Oh well, he rolled oh, a yeah, twenty. Can you really? Can you need to roll again? Okay. Yeah. So he's rolled a one and a twenty already. He's, he's well, like, he's he's okay. Okay. <laughs> you got both. <laughs> you you have fully. So what do you want to what do you want to talk about here? You have gone full D and B. The short sword. Okay, so what you see how it says what was the D6. what was the comment? Mm -hmm. Yes, plus yes, four, you're so still. This is D6, you're <laughs> he didn't even stop. That's the funny part. So five plus four, he does nine damage. Woo! <laughs> well, it's it's doubled though. It should be double. It is crit. double yeah. because it's so a eighteen. Crit. Yeah. Uh, 18. So when anytime you roll a twenty, and he also should get sneak attack, right? Y'all gonna save oh. me from the crunch. It's a critical. You should also get another D6 because the sneak attack, right? The name of the show, critical. Twice. So you get two more D6. Ooh. You effed him up. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> I get two more of these. Yeah. yeah. Two more. Or just roll once and double. Just roll once. Roll, roll once and double. Yeah. So four. Another, four. Just another four. Calm down, Goose. Another so four damage. That's so yeah. Twenty-two damage. Is that whatever? Yeah. Eighteen yeah. plus that's four. That's pretty good. All right. That's really so good for a rogue. That's well, the, really the, good. the the four doesn't get but the modifier doesn't get doubled. It's just. I didn't know it. You're good. We got it. Twenty-two. Come on, Technology. <laughs> the punch is abusive. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, you rush up there, right, and you, you pull out your sword, and you you just jab it right into his kidney, right? So right in the lower part of his back. He welts out in pain, right? And with that, he's definitely looking a little more tattered than normal, but he's still standing. What? I'm trying to give you some clues. <laughs> <laughs> trying to mess. Okay. Typically, that means he's either like below half or below ten. Mm -hmm. So he's like close to death. Yeah, because you don't know how much HP. So he he's has. like one hit maybe from death. So like, depends on, mm -hmm. so like, depends on the hit. So, yeah. the, so the characters, the characters would see like they would have if a visual indication of, bloody, of how bloody, how weak someone bloody. looks. Yeah, he's, he's but for like for us, he's the DM's giving us the description of they look pretty rough or like. They're like on death's door. I try to give you a clue. That makes it close. It's kind of like a clue. So that we know, like, oh, okay, this guy's, you know. Yeah, especially. They said, oh no, did someone say critical role? I've been binging their campaign recently. Oh, yes! Of course. Campaign three? Campaign three? Yeah, question is are you watching campaign three or are you watching Vox Machina or Mighty Nines? I saw a clip. We have to wait for them to respond. I know. I know. But watching their camp okay, here. You have successfully asked them the question. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> okay. Um, that was a 19, up. by the way. Wow, you should have saved that one. <laughs> okay, we have um, a group. So let's see. A group. Well, I mean, there's really only one person left for him to go at, and he's standing right next to him. They're watching Money Night. 
Oh yeah, of course, because it's the best one. Is that the second one? This is the second one. Yeah. We, I'm we gonna just, watch it after I catch up. Chris and I just finished season three or, or episode three of Mighty Nine. So yeah, it was, we're, we're just starting it as well. Yeah. We almost watched them get party wiped at level two. Spoilers. The entire party gets. Damn. Well, they are really yeah. effed up. <laughs> I really hope like, Matt I Mercer is not nice. I literally which is funny because he's I don't actually want really to nice kill people. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I'm like I want you to play. I don't I, think he I was will trying kill to you. Kill I will kill you. Like Daniel died when he was fighting a bug and I was like, but I didn't want you to die. <laughs> I was like, I don't want you to die. It's okay. I did fighting a snake once on my own. Oh wow. Yeah. Kristen decided she wanted to take on a giant snake by herself. Did you, like, one. Did you get knocked unconscious, or was that like was saving throws? Like, no, you she got. No, she like, was I dead, dead. Up, like, oh, like so much damage, damage, like you died, died. Yes, Ooh. the snake critted on me in the yeah, middle it, of the night. Yeah, it, it, it crit. So, if it, crit it attacks, down. okay, and it like, if you die and it exceeds <laughs> the HP you have, you don't even get the charge Matt to save yourself. Matt wakes up and chooses yeah. violence. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. not always. So we did start the the live stream That's earlier with a, how many people have uh, man or woman crushes on Matt Mercer, and it was pretty <laughs> unanimous, except for Daniel. Daniel's the only one who doesn't. Hmm? Well, Daniel doesn't know. And you don't know, so you the don't Daniels either. don't know. The Daniels don't know. Daniels don't know. I'm trying to you can learn this. today. <laughs> Why is this? Thing I thought for a second we really did have the third Daniel. It's because the here. screen's like, curved. <laughs> <another one. laughs> This is Daniel, and this is Daniel, and this is Danielle, and this is Danielle, and this is Sheila, but we also call them Daniel. As long as Beauregard lives, I'm fine. say about Beauregard? As long as Beauregard lives, I'm fine. Beauregard? Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, so Agaruk, he misses again because, wow, he just really sucks in this D20's curse, which could be good for you all. Okay, so next up we have... Mandy, you need more dice? I got more dice for you. I have a ton of dice. Well, not a ton. I've got, like... Ten sets, mm. enough. Um, <laughs> I would take a piece of these. I would take it all. Okay, so next up we have Kalish Star here. Now he's pretty ticked off that our group keeps swinging at him, so he's gonna swing at our group this time. So he, come on, dude, do something for me. Okay, so that definitely hits. So he is going to pull out that awesome axe of his. And where's that? What dice is this? D6. God, it's so brutal. It's six D6s plus three. Oh, wait. Who is everyone's favorite in Campaign 3? We haven't started Campaign 3 yet. I haven't seen yet. Campaign 3 yet. So, oh, I have. Man, I, have, been I, have watching it, I am really partial to <laughs> Liam as, like, a human being. Which one's Liam? Is he the Liam is the... No, that's Traps. Traps is the one with a really deep voice. Only because he is plays... Liam the tiny guy? Yes. Ooh, yeah. He plays Gara he's, he's glasses, yeah. in Naruto, and I am in love with Gara from Naruto. I really like so. Wadna. That's the the woman. Dark hair. Not Laura. Yeah. The one that's married to Travis. Wait, no, 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 the other one. Marisha? Yes. The one that's married to Matt Mercer? Yeah, she plays Wadna. <laughs> <laughs> She's married to Matt Mercer. Yeah, you did I didn't know that. Yeah, Marisha Which one? and Batman. Which one is the one? <laughs> Plays, uh, plays really? what's her name in Last of Us? I think that's mm -hmm. that's the blonde. That was a good game. Did you play the Last of Us? Yeah. I know that. Blonde. Ashley? Yes. The like, one that comes and goes from the camp. Ashley. Yeah, because she's always like, doing voice routes for video games. And yeah. yeah. So, is, so is Matt Mercer. Like, they Ashley doing... Johnson, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. He makes the best voices. Like, Oh my gosh. I like, could never. Level, Mandy. you got to <laughs> strive. <laughs> Listen, I was already victimized by this punch. <laughs> like, I, we, ate, we ate at like 10 o'clock. So yeah, like, you, I ate two of these pineapples and drank half of this, and I was like, You done goofed. Call me. Should have stirred the round in more. It's only two for the two. We're literally. Sorry, my mom. Um, well, okay, so. Uh, she would have donated 100. Callus. <laughs> 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 It was really bad until I drank drugs in this water. All you have to do is sing. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> That's really what it was for. <laughs> he, he, he swings his axe at our group and he does um, 22 damage. Okay. Which is, no one cares because he's an NPC. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he takes 22 damage. So, our group, he's, he's a little hurt, but right, like, he's doing fine. He's still ready to, to fight for ownership of the ship. Thanks, our group. Yeah, good job, our group. Okay, so next up we have... Rin! Yep, my turn. Okay. Roll this one. You know, part of that. That's a wrong. miss. It was, uh, uh, not a hit. It was a 12. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, that's a 17 plus 6, so that hits. You also Ooh. got a d4 if you wanted to add it to it. No, you I probably don't. need it on the 17. I do not. 
Pineapple. Yeah, I told you. And that's a nine plus three, so he takes nine points of damage. Math is really hard, guys. Twelve points of damage. Twelve. Twelve points of damage. That is your purple ice. So, hmm? I put way too much out on this. Okay. There's like two and a half. Nine. Twelve. Twelve damage. <laughs> I'm getting to it. You gotta let the mind theater come back alive from the pineapple. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, He's done. He's no. gotta be done. I know. So she pulls out her great sword. She swings at the other shoulder because why not? We just want his arms to kind of dangle there like wet noodles, right? And they literally do look like wet noodles. Like, it's a, it's a miracle this man is still standing. Alright, now with his arms on his legs. Aren't all noodles for it? So what she's gonna say there like this, he's dropped his axe, he's like, oh god. So Loki, you're up next. Is that dead? No, apparently not. So you see how big that thing so, is? So Loki walks up and he goes, murder, murder, murder. <laughs> murder, murder, murder. I feel like you're so offended, you're like, you're murder, 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 murder. Murder, 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 murder. I'm going to Ooh. go up to Chalister, Callister. I keep forgetting who's He doing. wants to stab him right I'm in going to stab face. him with the dagger. <laughs> I will stab <laughs> you in the stupid face. <laughs> Shite. You get plus two because you said... That's yeah. that's a three, everybody. A... <laughs> oh, he does not. So that is not a hit. You're over here singing your rendition of whatever that was, and you just you your well, voice breaks. You sound like you're going through puberty. Wait. And everyone laughs. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I get plus five, plus two, so plus seven. That's ten. It's seven hits. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother Robert. Brother. Um. So. So, Kalashtar did damage to our group before. Mm, our group Basically, I'm Loki, the noble right. trickster. Hold on, our group took the sense. damage. Kalashtar is the captain. <laughs> right. Casey. So Cal- Kalashtar yeah. hit our yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, he did. So I'm going to knock everyone out of the way as I uh, touch our group. So the There's also a Goliath bard. Brother has taken our group's side because until then you were kind of neutral. Yeah. You were just healing everybody. Well, right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cure wounds on him. Ooh, okay. On who? A group. The first mate. The first mate. Oh, okay. The who who we were thing, fighting with. I wish I could nickname the characters. Because they just... Can. Ah. No, like for the NPCs. Gar. Why not? Just make the names less complicated. Yeah. No, I mean... We're, we're on here. the Millennium Plus of I can remember that. <laughs> it's not going to matter if it's because one of them's going to be gone. <laughs> but <laughs> the Millennium Platypus. <laughs> the Millennium Peregrine. I was like, what? Well, it's not where I wrote that. So that'll be 12 healing for a group. So you kind of, you put your little jelly arms out, and he just kind of starts to blow, blow, glow with little blue Whoa. sparkles. And he starts to First sure. mate, I really hope you're a better captain <laughs> than the last one. And he looks at you, and he looks kind of happy. He's like, thank you. All right. Mm-hmm. Live we'll long see. and prosper. Got an attack? Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm guessing you're what, going to attack. The short sword, cat claws, which one was? Short sword. And I'm going to strike. Alright, so, go ahead and roll a d20. Roll a d20. Y'all are actually rolling pretty good against Kalistar. What'd you get? Seven. Seven plus... Plus... Seven, fourteen. Does not hit, unfortunately. So his his arms are kind of like wet noodles, right? And you attempt to knock it off, but it just kind of accidentally dangles out of the way at the last second you miss. (laughs) Oh, you know. Oh, you know what those jelly arms do. Anything you want. Um, so Agruk is going to look at Kalshar and he's going to be like, it's time to finish this. And he is going to pull out his... I keep using swords. I must like swords. We're going to use a sword, because why not? God dang, Agruk! This is a cursed d20. It's ro- It hasn't rolled above. Put it in it hasn't rolled above a 10. Well, you have the dice jail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the same dice one I would use? No one. Anyway, I'll do one. Misses. Uh-huh. I'm going to go. I'm going to go get it. Like, a new set of dice. He misses. <laughs> like, he, this is just. It's game over. He misses. Always train your dice. Terrible. Chill arms they fell home. Chill So, with that, um, since you wet noodled Cash Star's you know. arms. Wet noodle. Aren't all noodles wet? <laughs> he wet noodled you. He wet noodled them. So, he's going to pull that. Um, 
Mm. Let's use something that's not as. He's gonna like his axe is down. Let's see. He's gonna use his morning star. Should use that. So kind of right on his other hip. Star. I don't know. Well, he's gonna use that. No, he's gonna use that. Dude, those will cut you. Yeah, they're really sharp. Good. I don't no, I mean, like, use it. I know, but like, so she he's going to pull out his hurt. morning star. Are you? Kidding? I'm cursed. It rolled a two. Dice <laughs> jail. We've talked about okay, this. Why are you still trying? I don't know. Why would you train these it, dice? It missed. It missed. Those are untrained dice. I think I have that same d20 right here. And it doesn't get rolled very often for a reason. <laughs> I like my steel dice. I'm doing all right. Except for a few. A few misplays. A few misplays. That's cute. See, try those ones. Are those happy little dinosaurs? Yes. These are Will's dice. See, he likes to drop them in this tower I have. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she didn't train her dice. Oh, I am now. It literally hasn't rolled above a 10. Like, where's the 20? <laughs> she didn't train her dice. SMH. Really? True. True. Truly. So true. There it is. Oh god, that took way too long to find. That's true. Are you sure that's already? It's Rin's yeah. turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, my turn. Okay. So I'm gonna take my two shots. Don't forget oh, you have a D4 one is, a, it. is Am I a fighter? So do my my 19's crit? Uh does champion have improved critical already at level five? Let me check. I know that's the thing a champion gets eventually. I don't know if they get it at level five. Where, where would that be? Proficiencies? Uh, it would be in like features, probably. I don't know, where is that dungeon master? <laughs> Listen, I'm I found this app last week. <laughs> no, I don't think I have it. I'll, I'll look it up for you. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, improved critical. Your weapon attacks, so that's a crit um, on one yeah. of them. Mm. And then the other one is a... You have a d4 if you need. 13 plus 4. Oh, I've got to roll the d4. Yeah. It's really plus, so it's 14 plus 3 is 17. Ooh, okay. I really want to kill this thing. Oh, no. you... Okay. I know. I wanted to roll. Let me roll, Mandy. Hey, we're killing it. So, so I need to roll an extra... You're using team. a great sword, so it's yes. like 66 plus... Why is it fire? six? Because you, you're rolling great. a great sword, so it's 2d6 for sure a great sword. It's great, so it's another two, so then you hit oh, twice. Oh, two more, yeah. That's yeah, six yeah, yeah. total. I know, I gotta find two more d6s. Sorry, I didn't think I'd mass many d6s out. Is it a plus three? Plus three to hit? Yeah, because so I have So your damage will be like a plus three or something? Huh? Mm -hmm. Fighters are good what? Fighters are good with a hit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Fighters are great. <laughs> Normally I play a paladin, so this is very different for me. Oh. My character I never play um, is a druid. I want to count it up because... <laughs> oh, I get to re-roll these two. Stop. Yeah, you get to re-roll those. Oh, well, I got a second. six on one of them, but that's fine. He so we've got 18. Oh. oh, honey, no. There's more. Oh. So we got an 18... <laughs> Plus nine. nine, plus three. Okay. Plus, or no, plus, plus six. six. So with that, so um, so you take him out of your great sword. Twenty-three, I think. Okay. And you just with one right. upward motion you chop off one no. arm, and then with one downward motion the other falls off. And with that, Calistar is staying there, just kind of bleeding out from his shoulders, right? And he collapses. He's dead. Yeah. yeah. Three, Woo, 33 three damage complete. is the top uh, single turn damage so far. Yeah, so I'm, I'm keeping track of how much top damage we have. So 33 is currently the one to beat. That is probably smart because the I just boss, realized I used a 7 and my dice was not a 7. It doesn't matter. He was going anywhere. I'm aware, but that's <laughs> my dice was higher and so I... Yeah, it, it, it wasn't good. You could have blew on him when he was going to fall over. <laughs> okay. Where is the one shot mouse? Where's my mouse? There you are. We can okay. make the statuses back now. Uh, and Blobbert looks at Ungrook and he says, Oh, yeah, give me that dude. Look at me. Look at you. I am the I, now. So the minute we get out of combat, so the minute we get out of combat, I immediately take my sword and I go up to the cat, the, well, the first mate and I go, and you think you're going to be in charge? <laughs> Rin's taking over the boat. Okay. Oh, Rin took over the boat. I'm going to cast, I'm actually going to... Reopen battle to counter one. <laughs> so, so did, did we get out of initiative, or are we... Yeah, we're going to have to re-roll initiative. Roll initiative. Yeah. yeah, we have to re-roll initiative. I, 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 would like, I would like to, on my next turn, cast Spare the Dying on the captain to, like, stabilize him. 
Just so he's not like dead, dead. Are you chaotic. <laughs> no, I'm I'm good. I'm a healer. <laughs> so I think that is he obliterated? Like I'm not though? trying to just like straight up. He doesn't up even have him. arms, Greg. <laughs> was thirty three? But was thirty three enough to just like? Here. Yeah, like, like he's he's got to pay for his, his crime. He <laughs> doesn't got to be with death. Because you may not be able to stabilize him. If thirty three was enough him, to not that's, him, that's true. It's, so you have to make that call if he was even able to be revived. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Because I don't want to bring him back. <laughs> Right. It just stabilizes the group. Reroll initiative since we hate our group, which honestly, he's a slimy character anyway. Yeah, so I ask him, and you think you're gonna take <laughs> over the ship, yep. and I get ready to go, which he's not expecting it, so I should get advantage. You, well, I mean, <laughs> you will. Go ahead and roll, go ahead and okay. roll, go ahead and roll. Okay. Do you want me to roll initiative and then roll? Yeah, go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. Let me, like, I'm gonna oh, put the dead shit. people oh. down to 12. zero so that they're at the bottom of my sheet. So you rolled a 12? I did roll a 12. Okay. 12 aren't good. Not all healers are good. No, I, but I am good. Though. Like, is is a thing. Like, I'm I'm they trying to be good. What? What? He needs to. We're re-roll initiative. rerolling initiative. Yeah. That's a natural twenty, guys. Three. Better. <laughs> so what was that? You get a what to your initiative? A plus five. So you perks get, uh, of training your dice. They roll natural twenties so occasionally. Alright, okay. Why'd you get Daniel? Other. I'm, I'm no Talos and Jaffe's though. Nine. Plus. I got a 22. 12. Okay. I got a 12. You guys well. Okay. So, Brother Blobbert, you killed it. You are up first. Well, no, no, wait, wait, wait. You attacked. I attack, so I should get that. Because, like, I initiate, right? Sure. So do I get to attack? I'll allow it. Go for it. Okay. It's at the end of discretion. Do I get advantage for the surprise? Yeah. That's what happens when you train your dice, yeah. Oh, well, well, okay. It didn't go well, but that's an 18. Mmm. Okay. So he's really so kind of that hit. Oh yeah. Oh, that was, so no, that wasn't your damage. Okay. No, no, oh, that's definitely hit. hits. It definitely okay. hits. This is no, a monkey I'm, man. I'm, I'm screwing <laughs> this dude up. Okay, messing him up. Uh, that's a nine plus three, so twelve damage. Ooh, okay. And I say, as I go to hit him, well, you think you're taking over the ship? You've got another thing coming. I think I'm chaotic, so this should be okay. You've yeah. got another thing coming. <laughs> I'm not very good at playing chaotic characters, guys. No, so this yeah, is I remember she's, she's she's playing that like stereotypical like sorority girl blonde character. Right? She's, she's like right? she's like Just um. You think you're taking over the ship? <laughs> yeah. You got another thing yeah. coming, right? Like so I'm, flips her this is how, this is our <laughs> ship. <laughs> how many followers do you have on Instagram? Oh my god. God. Okay. Well, with that, he is very surprised, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he thought you all were on his side. I was, just not his. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> next, he looks to Brother Blobbert because not only did you roll a twenty, but he thought you were his friend. What are you gonna do, Brother? Uh, brother Blobbert is not on board with murdering the first mate. I wasn't gonna murder him. Um, <laughs> your <laughs> actions <laughs> indicate. <laughs> 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 And so, Brother Blobbert is going to cast a third level spell called Aura of Vitality. <laughs> and he's going to uh, give 2d6 plus 5 to uh, Ungrook. <laughs> you never going to brawl. <laughs> so, he, he gets, so Ungrook gets 7 health back. And he steps between the two of them. Woo, 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 Ren! I think this is over the line here. I think we should talk out our feelings. How much healing did you get? Seven. Okay. I rolled, I rolled ah. snake eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, next up we have a group. He's pretty pissed off at Ren. So, like, I'm, I'm sure I'm he like, is. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Like, he can't man, like, even get to me. I'm, like, try, I'm blob man like, trying to like oh, put myself can't. in, in go around the middle. You, or around like, I'm, I'm trying to like... Okay, so he's gonna walk. He's gonna shove right past Brother Blobber. He's gonna walk straight up to your face and pull out his two short swords. Uh He's going to make a multi-attack on you. It's fine. And hopefully these dice. Nope. What'd you get? Miss. Three. I had a (laughs) sixteen. Definitely didn't hit. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) Oh my god. So as he's trying to short, as he's trying to pull out his arms are too short, he kind of fumbles with it for a bit, then he looks like a. Like he's just embarrassed almost. Okay, well, Loki. <laughs> nice try. It was a disaster. Okay. Loki, I'm going to move in between. I'm going to move in between the, the fight here. 
<laughs> We're never going to make it off this ship. We're just going to heal and damage. And I'm going to... I only we'll, have so much healing. So and I'm going to sing a rendition of Why Can't We Be Friends? 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 And in hopes that it will cease to squabble and we can all go on to the next... <laughs> We can go to the next place. <laughs> you haven't even got to the multi-page city. And the next yet. place, no. and please, you uh, the so we can please. It's been an hour. Let us replenish our rations. That this is the whole, the whole start of the whole journey. So, so I just, I just want there to be peace. So after he sings his thing and does his Let spiel, there be peace on earth. Okay, I don't want to kill you. I just don't think you're fit to lead. Mm, okay. I'm annoyed. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna be. Chaotic. She interrupted my song. I'm gonna be chaotic back. Okay. Okay. So, um, Loki, is that your turn? I guess I should technically give Lil C a chance to do something before I do this. Lil C, would you like to do anything? I would like to hide. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? He's hiding behind. He's hiding behind. He's, the stairs. he's, he's, hiding behind the he's like an actual cat. You know how they like they come out, they flick their camera, kind of like, and then they like, run back. And that's him right now. <laughs> yes. All right. So with that, Augur's he's gonna look at you. He's gonna look at you, and Augur. Oh, what you don't know so about him better. is he has a gambling addiction. Um, and across the Astral Sea, they like to play a game called Rollies. Okay, so you're gonna play a game of Rollies to see who controls the ship and gets to be the captain. Well, I helped Deal. a little. So everyone, <laughs> everyone roll okay. a d20. I have a curse. All my dice are cursed. Ooh. Don't fail me now, Green. What'd we get? <laughs> What'd we get? Fourteen. <laughs> No. I rolled three. Two, two, well, I got a no, 17. That's, that's a one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I got a 17. Bl- Brother Blobber really didn't want to be captain. <laughs> <of the crew. laughs> Apparently, I didn't either. Oh. So, I also so with that, that one. he looks at you and he, that re- one twins. he reaches his hand out. Okay. And he shakes your hand and he says, I like your initiative. You can be the first mate. So you were the oh. first mate and he is the captain. Deal. Even though you just tried to kill him. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> he also <laughs> just killed his captain, so I feel like it's fair. You don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh. so now that does anyone need a break? We probably need a little dog speed. Yeah. Okay. Break, we have three dogs. We gotta let them do their thing outside so they don't We are going outside. on mute real quick. Go on mute, go on starting soon. Give us ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes break. What is it? I don't trust them. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna do it to you. I know, Pia. <laughs> we'll be back in a sec. So I am not- The energy cards on top. There you go. Okay, let's turn it back on. Mic on. Yep. We right. are back. And opening five packs of Pokemon cards to account for the five. $50, the $50 donation. Thank you, Mamaw. Thank you, Mamaw. Thank you, Mamaw. <laughs> Thank you, Mamaw. All right. All right. So I, I did it correctly this time, chat. I did the, you flip, you take the four cards, you move them to the bottom, and then you flip it over. So every flip, ha ha. Ha ha. You have an energy card. You have Vibrava. Here, I'll remember where we all are. I, I, I don't think we need a map at this point. We got a Corvus yeah, Squire. We got a Trainer Rose. We have a Mr. Mime. Fletchling. Electrike. Pan Sage. Skarmory. Tapu Coco. Hmm? And Melodic. Is that like two yeah. like legendary things? Uh, I guess that's a. Yeah, that's, like a that's crazy. So you got a reverse hollow and a hollow. The cards cool huh? are what you're doing. Are those two get cooled to go in the special pile? Okay. No. <laughs> no. Alright. Maybe you can show up mine if you want. Because I'm way back here. Okay. I have no clue what that is. V-Star? 
Oh. B star. That's a that's an anime. No, it's B star. Oh, B is in volt, <laughs> not B is in volt. Energy. <laughs> volt volt. Drizzle. Stunflisk. His Pokemon. Drizzle Pokemon Drizzle. Center Lady. It's Joy, you idiots. Grookey. <laughs> Sobble. Nurse Joy. Rhyhorn. Roslea. Forest Seed. Saxicroak. And Santa Scorch. We have not. This has been horrible. I know, we have Mine was pretty good, I thought. It's alright. <laughs> You're looking for those hollows. Let's see, you do first get five minutes, they don't move. Yeah, because they're the completely water. <laughs> Dude, yes. Oh my god. I pulled like the best card in. That was okay. Hey. We got. Oh, she got full art! Right here, V! Yay! That's the best card we've got so far. That's nice. pretty cool. That is cool. I have all the luck. So that one I'm assuming goes in the special pile. Yeah. As long as I'm not rolling. I rolled 18 that time. It's because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. True. Don't either green, really I, I said yeah, green, green don't let me down, and I rolled a one. Switch card. <laughs> green truly really did sure. let me down. I'm so far back here, I'm like, I know. Routes. Sneasel. Routes. Distribuous. Arbok. Gradient. Hitron. Radiant? Is this, oh, so does this one need to be. And is this one already this been done? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. is this a dough pack? Then no. Oh, that's what you just did. Huh? Yeah, that's the one was I just Was this did. a dough pack? Okay. Astral Radiance. Oh. Oh. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's cool. Radiant. I don't know what those Radiant cards do. They're the special box. I don't know what this card does. Special. It's it's <laughs> I gotta do mine. The There's three fish. piles. What's the What's the middle pile? I don't know. Never seen that. <laughs> Random oh, crap. You might just have to go through these all again just to find which oh, ones are. Oh, they don't have to. Time. We sort them by set and card number. The burden not there. It's like his job. Okay, here we go. Should I like mix them up then? We'll shuffle them. Okay. Hanging bear, so. Oh, Major Pikachu! One pod. Pido. Obasaur. Squirtle. Oh. Squirtle, Squirtle. Dragonite V! That's pretty cool. That's what made it. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, you like me. Do it now! A little too close. It's a good, nice. good thing no one's watching in 3D goggles, because that would be. <laughs> I got like a. would be blind now. It'd be like just getting punched in the face. <laughs> Daniel, punch you in the face with Dragonite. Alright. Okay. Fun, fun. Back to the game. Uh, I can't do a drum roll sound. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so with that, you just killed Kostar, really right? Bad. We agreed that Rin is the first mate and Agruk is the captain. So he looks down after this and he just kind of looks at his bloodstained daggers and he, he just kind of lets out a really breathy sigh. So it's really kind of hard to tell if his sigh is a relief, a sigh of sadness, or both, or who really knows. And he kind of just mutters to himself, at long last, the MP will finally get what she truly deserves. Ahoy, crew, let's make headway to the Rock of Brawl. And with that, the ship is going to make a very sharp starboard turn. It's actually going to be such a sharp turn that some of the crewmates that we're watching are going to actually fall down. Most of the members, they're going to scatter off to kind of clean up for the fight. I mean, we have a goblin head rolling around on the ship here, you know. A couple of wet noodle arms. Like, it's pretty gross. So oh, it's wet. Yeah, that... <laughs> That battle did really come to our head, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, Blobber, he's here. We just like, a, like the fun. To the arms. There's just nothing to do. You're just like, can I fix these? <laughs> I mean, for me, it's just that story back on. Right? Story. I don't know. Humans are weird. All right, so from the, lights, I mean. the current estimate from kind of where you are, so the ship's been gliding as you were fighting. You're about a few hours away from the Rock of Brawl, but it won't take terribly long to get there. Captain, please don't shoot the messenger, but um, some of the crew are kind of frustrated about the lack of provisions. Um, do you want me to, like, cast a spell to make food for people? Can you do that? Yeah, third level, there's a create food and water spell. Real deception. <laughs> well, it's not really deception. It's, it's like it's, it's, it's an a, actual it's, spell. It's actually a thing. Shut yeah. up! No, it's not. Yeah. It's a character. I don't believe you. I feel like you're trying to see. Wait, what? I 
feel like you're trying to deceive the DM. Yeah. I, I really do. I didn't know. Oh, the I'm spell. sorry. I don't actually have the spell. Oh, well, I didn't. I, I do have the spell. I don't have it on my prepared spell. Liar! Today. Liar! So, I know you yeah. can make food. Yeah, it, it is a third level spell. I think. Okay. Oh. Well, whatever. So with this. 45 pounds of food and 30 count. You were not kidding. <laughs> I just don't have it on my prepared spell list for today, yeah. but I can I can, I can take it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's the first time I've ever even heard of that. Okay, so, which isn't surprising, but anyway. So with that, Parker <laughs> kind of looks at you like, you mean you could have been making food this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but Captain told me to bend the burp. <laughs> so I was bending the burp. So he's just going to kind of turn around, kind of cross his arms and just look out to the sea. And he's just going to say, sure. He has nothing else to say. He has okay. nothing else. Tomorrow I make food for everybody. <laughs> and after all. <laughs> so. Oh my god. So would the food look like actual food or would it be like plasmoid food? It, Wet noodles, so uh, the, the food that I'm going to make smart. is going is going to be just 45 pounds of cheese. <laughs> Because that's that's Reap's favorite food. Uh, for for chat, uh, Brother Blobbert has a pet mouse that his name is Reap, and uh, he he's very handy with the toothpick. We we practice sword skill together. Um, but cheese <laughs> is Reap's favorite food, so Brother Blobbert makes forty five pounds of cheese, thinking everyone would like that. And Did it's, you decide it's, if he was real rat or was he like a plasma? He's, rat? he's like a he, so think so he's like a little mouse that he's like running around inside my body. My body's like a series of like hamster tubes. He's just running around your arms. And you're like, yeah, yeah, like he's just, just kind of just hanging out. Um, that is weird. <laughs> but but yeah, so like I make forty five pounds of cheese for everybody, um, and it's it's extremely bland. Right, like there's there's like no there's like no flavor to the food and water that I can create, but it does give you sustenance for 24 hours. Okay, okay. I mean, it has protein, even if it's very like flavorless protein, right? Oh my god! Sounds like a healthy diet. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I did successfully eat the cheese. <laughs> you successfully ate the cheese. Okay. Did you enjoy it? Was it good? No. Yeah. Chilling, no. You're just chilling on the boat. You, you can describe what you're doing, or you can do I'll try again all. tomorrow. Well, I'm still so like chilling, chilling on the boat. You're still just chilling. I'm still. Are you still, still hiding? Still hiding in the so same spot, just like waiting for his ghost next. Clear it. It's like a cat when they see you start to run the bathwater. <laughs> <laughs> they skitter under the couch and like kind of. I'm kinda just sitting there, and relaxing. You know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that how it be? Okay. Okay. All right. Would anyone like to do anything else special before we continue on here? I'm good. Okay. Okay. Wow, we're finally gonna go to brawl. Okay, it's only been an hour and a half. All right. So, all of a sudden on the horizon, this huge, large, oval-shaped rock appears. Now, the rock it appears to be roughly one mile. Actually, you know what? So this has been several days. You said. A couple hours. Now you were really oh, close hours. to brawl. Yeah. No. yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm, I'm still playing Wonderwall. <laughs> You're still playing Wonderwall. So, I, know. so I, I haven't I haven't yet created food and water for people. I said I could do that tomorrow. Yeah, you said you could do it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Now you know why I'm worried. <laughs> Look how big this map is. Um, I, so, oh my goodness, what a beautiful city! I've never seen a city like that. I've never been outside of the Temple of Salerno. Do you want to turn it back onto that so that they can see how big this map is? Like flip it back on the table. They can see it. It's okay, on the table. Yeah, it's on is it? Oh, I didn't know I did that. Yeah. Oh, it's still there. Okay. Yeah, so this place is huge. Like, gigantic. So, I mean, can I zoom? Uh, uh, yeah, like, it's uh, freaking oh gigantic. Can you okay. enhance? There are enhance. Probably not. Enhance. <laughs> there are over enhance. a thousand houses here. Um. So, anyway, it's about a mile long, about half a mile thick. But what is the weirdest thing at all about this rock? is that there's a city not only on the top of it as you're approaching it, but you look down, and at first you think there's like stalactites, right? Like you see something hanging from this, but it's actually tall government looking buildings, right? So there are buildings on the top and on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you'd heard stories about how the Rock of Brawl has a very strange gravity feel, but it still kind of throws you off because it's just weird to see. Now suddenly, just off from the side, a couple of GIF crewmates, they walk up and they, they try to tap Blobber on the shoulder. It's a okay? GIF? GIF. G-I-F? Yes. Like GIF? Sure. Like 
G I F F. Jif. Jif. They're, they're they're hippo people. This is pronounced Jif. It's actually argument between the, the GIF, so they're kind of split on how to properly pronounce it. There, there are two factions of this race. Yeah, yeah. So those that believe it is GIF and those that believe that it's JIF. Mm-hmm. It's like a really hot topic. Like they won't like kill each other over it, but like they'll get into it. Like verbally. Okay. Headbutts so, usually yeah, yeah. Uh, follow. Yeah. So um walks up the blobber, tries to kind of tap him on the shoulder, but kind of forgets that he's a plasma, right? So his hand just sort of goes into his shoulder and he like pulls it out and he's kinda of like, oh, Oh, hello! Hello there! Hello! Hello! (laughs) So then he kind of turns to the group as a whole, right? Because he's a little grossed out by Blobber now, but he's still going to talk to him. So he listens, and he's like, first time I'm going to Brawl, huh? So let me give you some advice. Don't you go looking for trouble. So many parts of this place are overrun with government underbearing ninnies who only think of themselves. If If they see the likes of us wandering around, they're bound to throw us into jail if we do so much as sneeze on a space swan. So basically what you kind of get from this is this city, it's controlled not only by the government, the entire bottom half of this rock is a prison and a government, okay? But not only that, the lower portions of the city, so the low and the middle, um, it's actually controlled by those Mm underbarons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, they're kind of like unofficial, like under the table kind of people. Like they're a bunch of guilds basically going at each other all the time. All right, so with that, um, you look, you kind of look away from the conversation for a second because the ship, it just lets out this large, creaky groan, and it kind of starts to descend down, right? And then, you're, so what you're doing is you're coming up on this southern portion here at the docks. So it starts to descend there to the docks, and after accidentally slamming into the dock, because, let's be honest, Ogruk, this is the first time he's really gotten to drive the ship in a long time, right? Um, Kalistar was kind of greedy about steering it where he wanted to go. So it kind of bumps into the dock pretty hard. Um, but then it docks there at the southern portion of the city. Mm. Then the gift, he's going to turn back to you again after this kind of little interruption. He's going to tell you, good luck to you lads and lasses. I reckon we ought to be off to find money for the ship repairs. So remember, even though the ship is in dismal shape, there's no money, right? So mm. Kalistar, he was always buying stuff for himself, or he would just, like, use the money or gamble it away. So your ship is in dismal shape. You're running so, low on food. One of the things before I get off the ship I want to do is I want to look around for where he was keeping all of his money and okay. his goods. So where he was keeping it? Okay. Yeah. Um, go ahead and make a... It's an insight check. Probably... It depends on how you want to do it, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? That's really... That's pretty bad. It's a big map. That's pretty good. You got good, no. you got good intelligence, don't you? Not that. No. No. I have a she's really dumb. dumb. No, she's dude. like literally a sorority girl. Uh, 15. Okay. Oh, that you put your nine in intelligence. Nice. Did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did. <laughs> All right. Um, so you're, you're kind of asking this. Sorority sure. girls go to college. They're smart. First hand yeah. date, right? So you kind of ask this. What? Oh, you're looking at me, Rachel. Like, are you just really excited about the rock? Well, he's in it. He's probably off the boat. <laughs> and he looks at you, and he's just like... So, basically, Ogruk, he, he spent all the money on um, alcohol, basically. Okay. So, it's stored down in the hull of the ship, but it's really kind of his own private reserve, and he also had a gambling problem. So, can we sell any of this private reserve? Can you I probably could. Can sell yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, you probably could. For ship could. repairs? Um, so, in the city... Oh, God. So I try to take some, well, I'm pretty strong, so I guess I can probably try well, to take some of his you probably so. Want to, so anyway, the gift, he jumps off the ship, he runs off the, na- the knapsack, and basically everyone's going to look for jobs to try to find money to repair this ship, because it's a hot freaking mess, right? So, so, let me, let me ask, is this... This city has a thousand buildings. Is this all of our first time on this rock? Yes. Um, well, I mean, the, some of the crewmates have been there. So, like, the GIF, you know, he's naturally making his way over to Gift Town um, to kind of talk amongst his people to try to find work. Giftburg. What if I had been here before? Gift Gif Town? Gift Town. Yeah. What if I had been here before? You have not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what if? <laughs> I mean, okay, what if you have been here before? So. And let's say I courted a young lass in the middle class that was in with the government... Hmm, what was this lass's name? Let's see how good you are at DMing. Did, did you sleep with the Dawn's sister? <laughs> Give me the D100 to roll three times. Uh, her name was... Roll it three times. What? Roll the D100 three times and you wake up her did, name. Did you, did you woo the daughter of the Dawn? Yeah. Her name was... The prince? Well, I'll tell you that. Let's see. 49. 49. Okay. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. So, 
51. 51. Okay, this is my favorite thing. Gosh, that girl's forever. 28. 28. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost a perfect sphere. We got a, you got like these like big Her name D100s. Leonia. L O I N E A. So, it's great. Leonia. <laughs> No, I've never been here before, but mm -hmm. on, <laughs> not how you, you met you met her at school. Okay, noted. Daniel doesn't get to do him. <laughs> no, so you, you met but, you met this girl at school, and yes, you know she's from but, this town. But I know of the Rock of uh, Braille from my uh, a girl I the used Rock to of from, Braille. You remember the Rock of Braille? The Rock of Braille. The Rock of Braille. And from I know about the Rock of Braille, the Rock of Braille from this girl I courted. In, in loot school. school. Oh, in loot school. In loot school. Uh, <laughs> and she was a na she was her family was in with the middle class government in the Rock. My job is Rock. hard, isn't it? Yeah. So I <laughs> look back like. So I go and Here, see. Put it on the full camera so they can see you attempting to explain your way out of this. I go and seek her out. Okay, okay. So, what's her name? La Lawanda? Um, <laughs> Leonia. 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 L I N E A. Leonia. Leonia. How do you want to pronounce it? No, it's like we'll pronounce it Lawanda. Her name is now Lawanda. Lion E A. You all should get this generator, though. It's so good. It sounds pretty good. It, what is yeah. it? Actually, it was, um, it's They're typing in the chat the name so you don't forget <laughs> it. Like, like, Lionia. Like, Thanks, chat. Lionia. There's like yeah. a, a first part of the name, a middle, and then the end. Okay, so, so I seek her out in the middle city to learn if she knows anybody who can get us some funds for to repair the ship. Peanut requests the Daniel DMs next year. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, He's got a whole year to prep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a.k.a. the day before he comes up to me. Maybe I don't know where... <laughs> and then I have to pull something off my butt. Okay. So, you want to seek out Leonia. Yeah, I want to seek out Leonia. Okay. I haven't seen her. I've, I've been on a boat in space the with a crew of men. Did little C even get off of the boat? Did little C even get off of the boat? <laughs> yes. What's wrong with that? <laughs> a crew of men in one blob person. I want something different. The I'm blob. I really typed in my notes. This is the, my not <laughs> enough for you. Yes. <laughs> I can only have so much blob. <laughs> so basically these books, they kind of have like Brother Blobber. buildings. They They're they for everybody. Some have like pre-made ideas for That's dimensions. something for everyone. But the rest it's of this, I wrote this. Like the rest of this, yeah. I had to make So I'm looking for Leonia. You're hella sneaky. And you're, you are very like slick with your, your words too. Like you can convince people of things. Mm-hmm. So I can steal stuff. You can steal stuff. Leonia. She's uh, like a yeah. lion in the sack. Still your, your dexterity should be really high. That's like your... um. You're what is it? That's what I'm gonna do. Blobber from Brooklyn. <laughs> what are you gonna steal? <laughs> I'm gonna steal. Hold on, the group food. needs to decide where we're going. I'm okay? stealing food. Well, I. Do you want to seek out Leon? Does the rest of the group want to seek out? I need to bring it no. up. No. Why? I'm no. gonna try to go sell the alcohol that was on board to get but my But I have an in. inn. I have an inn in the middle city that can get us. And maybe you should go do that by yourself. Well, maybe I will. An inn in the middle city. Is there an inn? Yeah, yeah. yeah since you know her so well. Yeah, right? Well, it's better having an inn in the low city. That is kind of how the city's laid out. So the royalty, they're up there at the top. The middle city's the middle class, and the low city. I don't want like all the stunt. money. I just but want the middle, middle city's ruled by the, by the barons that apparently the middle he's wooed the daughter of. Yeah, I've wooed the daughter of the barons. Oh, she's the daughter of the barons? Now that I think about it, Baron, he's Baron still Jaskel. Jaskel. Now he's still their food. Baron Jaskel. Well, Baron Jaskel. Baron Jaskel. Baron Jaskel. How you been getting the food the whole time? You're really sneaky. <laughs> Ben and Jaskel is your father. I'm in the group. Oh, come on, talk amongst each other group. Decide what we're doing. Oh, so, so I'm going to take some of the alcohol, and I'm going to go try to sell it in the middle city. Okay. To a bar. Oh, I'm going to the middle city as tower. well to find Leonia. Yes, you want to help me carry this? Yes, I will. Okay, thank you. Do you have any strength to carry it with? No, you, you guys all rolled out of your mind <laughs> for your character stats. Like, I know. Well, what I do is like the first time someone plays, I let them roll twice and take the top like so. We got numbers. ten. So that's why your stats are kind of good. Normally, you would have like total crap stats and at least one or two things, but you're kind of well rounded. You definitely have bumps in like decks and stuff. I have ten. I have ten strength. Yeah, it's average. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. You're pretty beefy all around, but I didn't want you to, like, totally die because you didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> so, I threw you a So, bone. she gives you 19 pawns, <laughs> so you get an extra yeah. 5 health. Right? Okay, so, <laughs> Rin level. basically wants to pick up this alcohol. Now, there is a ton of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take what I can on this trip. Hold on, hold on, The alcohol is locked behind Kalish Stars. You know, it's in the captain's quarters. It's locked. Are we still up. on the ship? Oh. Yeah. yeah you hey, bro. Right. Right. We're, We're still on the ship. We're still on the ship. I, I summoned the one who doesn't speak. Because you really haven't spoken yet. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. okay. I call him Sid. Sid. Wait, wait, wait. Sid. 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 Oh, no. Sid. You said it's locked away, right? It yeah. is locked away. Kind of like so, a little closet. It's like you a cellar in the ship. You can open it and unlock it for us. <laughs> you think? I don't know if that's... You can. You can. You it's are, like a natural you are so good at lockpicking. Okay. Uh, okay, I was about to say, I didn't know about that. She probably that. gave you a lockpicking kit. Either. You're basically a kit. I did give okay, her a lockpicking kit. <laughs> okay, so you're going to roll a d20, and then you're going to go to skills mm-hmm. on your sheet, and you're going to add... 18. You're going to add something to it so that if it's really you're, locked... You're fine. You're fine. We don't know. It could be really locked. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's not a sleight of hand check. No, that's what I'm looking at because I have a cheat sheet here and I'm like, where's lockpicking? It's not well, strength. Well, a it's lot not... of time, a lot of times it is sleight of hand. It's or, or, just, or just dex check. Yeah, I think it would have to be dex. Plus it's seven. Just general dex yeah, check. Yeah, so you can your dex like... is killer. Yeah, plus seven. It's your best thing. Yeah. So it was a eighteen so... plus seven. Oh god. Okay. Good so, job. Um, Silent but deadly. Right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you are. You're very quiet. You're like a sneaky little cat. That's literally your character. So you kind of slink up and you hear them talking <laughs> you are about this. <laughs> That's how yeah. talking. You hear them talking about this. And you we gotta like, sell that alcohol. While they're arguing here. about whether to fresh out alcohol, alcohol so. or whether to like sell the alcohol, you just kind of like because you're also a small cat. I don't know if you saw that, but you were very tiny, like little black cat. <laughs> so you slink up and you just kind of like put your little claw out. You don't even need a lock picking kit. So you kind of. Oh, I gotta use my claw. Yeah, you, you have your cat. So you kind of feel it around the wall, and all of a sudden you all hear, <laughs> and the door just, and the door just swings open. Cool. <laughs> Everyone grab what you can, and we'll go sell it and make some money. Okay. I grabbed the rum. Quickly Googling. Where is the rum going? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the rum? Okay, okay. So um, underneath there, there are... Um, Multiple bottles of ale. I mean, like a ton, more than you could ever carry. There's also we can make multiple trips. Yeah, yeah. There's also um, about ten bottles of berry wine. Can I assess what the most expensive one is? Oh, because I just want to take the most expensive stuff and sell it. Yeah. Investigation. Roll intelligence. Of course. Why am I the one doing this? (laughs) You're the (laughs) dumb. You're negative one. Yeah. So uh, seven. Oof. So you kind of look at it, and honestly, let's be real, you're playing like a sorority girl, right? Mm-hmm. So you open it, and you're just like, wow, there's like so many good times in here. And you just kind of look around, and you're so in awe at all the different types of alcohol that you just don't even know where to start. I access the... <laughs> oh my god. The most expensive. <laughs> okay, Loki, go ahead, I'll allow it. <laughs> that looks like a one, folks. Nope. Do you want to have any different alcohols that are in d Yes, there's a lot. So, oh, that is a seven. Hey, Blobber, do you this. think you could figure out what the most expensive alcohol is so we can help us get Blobber know what alcohol is? What's alcohol? <laughs> can you just assess these bottles? Is that, is that like the stuff that they, that they do when they like drink during like the ceremonies at the temple? Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. but it's not, not grape juice. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, but I like grape juice. Yep. So this. Well, it means you like alcohol because so if you drink is, at the ceremony, that's really not. This is really expensive grape juice, and if we sell it, then we can repair the ship. I have no idea what the monetary value of this alcohol is, by the way. You're intelligent. <laughs> the quiet one. <laughs> I'm over here researching alcohol in D and D. Okay, okay, okay. I know the best kind. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize I mean, there's like fifty plus kinds of alcohol. There's fifty. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a lot, lot of different alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, like, there, like, like peek over here real quick. So it's been around since the seventies. <laughs> this is all different alcohols. There's so, so there, there was, there one blobber to look at which, which bottle he thinks is the most expensive. Yes. I'm going to roll an intelligence. We're run, check. rolling an intelligence check. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's look at my they, you'll have to report back if they say anything. I'm like. Blobber Tennyson, don't break him. 
He's very innocent. All he does is <laughs> thirsty. <people>. So Blob <laughs> Blobbert rolled a sixteen. Ooh. And uh, he's just looking at like what what he thinks is like the prettiest bottle. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's honestly probably a good way to go about it. So, Blobber, you, you know, you, you walk in, you're glancing around the room. There's not a ton of alcohol in here, but you can definitely tell that this is where most of the money is went on the ship. Hi, right? from France. Hello, France. Hi, France. Um, so, anyway. Might be France. Maybe? Maybe? Probably not. Is that the There's lake? a lot of people in France, Daniel. I know, but, <laughs> but I tried um, to watch it. So, you walk into the store, <laughs> you look not around. Not from And <laughs> <us, laughs> up on a top shelf. You see this, like, ornate gold bottle, and it has these green crystals kind of embedded around the top of it. And um, inscribed on it, you can't quite read it, but from what you can see, it looks to be some type of elven wine. Okay. And it kind of has, like, this mysterious, like, I don't know, like a goldish, like, flex full floating around it. I, I grab this bottle. bottle. <laughs> I, I grab it, and I said, There are this five bottles of it. Okay, so I, I, I grab one bottle, and I... This one looks pretty red. I take the bottle from you. Yeah, I take all five bottles. Mm -hmm. Well, you have one that you gave to him, yeah, so I take the other the four he bottles. He took it from me. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I put mm -hmm. them into my backpack very carefully and neatly, mm -hmm. so that we can transport them to the bar in the middle city to sell them. Nice. So you specifically want to go to the middle city? No, we probably should go to the high city and get a good price. But the middle city, I might know somebody there. <laughs> we can stop in the middle city on the way to the high city, and you can stop and talk to your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So where are we going? <laughs> so uh -huh. the middle city. The We're going to the middle city to see their prices. Why? Ah! Okay. okay. So I want to make my way to the high city to whatever tavern looks to accept. So you don't want high to go price, with me? Tell. No, I'm not going with okay. you. So in the high city, there is Starhaven, which is the castle that Prince Andrew lives in. There is Lake Brawl. There's a festival grounds, a library, a there's, restaurant. I want to try to find a, a royal theater. I don't think there is one. And a temple. That's all that's up there. It's, it's kind of sparse compared to the rest of the middle and most city. So I guess we'll go to the restaurant. So we're going to the restaurant, or I'm going to go to the restaurant in the high school. Fine, I'll go with you why to the she, restaurant. Why she goes to the restaurant, I'm still food. You're still stealing food on the yeah, chef, and then you're going to kind of slink behind him? I'm at the restaurant with, with, uh, what's her name? So do, do we pass Rin. the restaurant Rin. on our way to... No, I just didn't get to the restaurant. Or, 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 do we, do so, we pass, I mean, okay. I mean, do we pass the temple on the way to the restaurant? Well, that's what I'm kind of looking at. This is a huge map. So yeah, it's a big temple, map. the temple, oh no, it's like, hold on, let's look at, this is my digital maps. Are nice. So you're making your way. So that looks to be the castle. That's like brawl. I'm. You know what? My DM version is probably has the labels. Or the man. Y'all go old school. Huh? Y'all go old school. The the man, man. Is that the name of the restaurant? You show us the map. Show us the map. Well, the map is technically here. Hey, Marky. Have you found the trigger? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need to find Leonia like to find the trigger. That's the exact same as one of them. Where, where is the trigger? Let me look at the DM map real quick. I'll have to ask Leonia. <laughs> or, you know what, I can just make it up. So this Excuse me, here, Excuse right me right ma'am. <laughs> where is the trigger? This building right here is going to be the... Um... Leonia said I found it, but she might have just been nice. Okay. Yeah, it's the same map. That was a pretty map, though. Wow. I'm impressed. It's the same map. But it's pretty. It was like. Okay. So, the group. You're going to be. Where are we going? Where are you all going? Starhaven Library, Manor. Yeah, to the restaurant? Yeah, restaurant. Okay, okay, okay. So, you will make your way to the Man of War restaurant, okay. which is right here, okay? So, the Man of War, it is the epitome of fanciness and class. Oh, wow. Okay? So, you all walk up to the door. Destroy that wall. So, you all walk up to the door, all right? And the door there is, um, it has a, what are they called? The, Your mom can't figure out how to open the door. The what is it? What are they, the bar, the, the people. The, the bouncers. bouncers. Bouncers! I was like, yeah, what are they called? The, the baristas? The, 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 <laughs> the baristas. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> there is a um, 
a Thrykeen bouncer standing at the door. So Thrykeen, for those who don't know, they're kind of like little, um, they're quite literally little insect people. Okay, now the weird thing about them is that they don't have mouths, they talk to them. Tele with telepathy, okay? Telepathy, through their yeah. minds. So they kind of, and they can talk to you in your head, okay? Mm -hmm. So you walk up to this. Now here's the important thing to remember. I'm not sure if you remember what the gift or Jeff told you, but this city is not only run by the underbarons, but also run by the royalty, okay? So you walk up to the, what's it called? The man of war, okay? And this Thrykeen kind of looks at you and he starts to kind of clack his little handles. So who's leading the group? Rin. <laughs> <laughs> She's the lowest intelligence star. I've got the highest charisma. Let's go. You, you Actually, that's probably Loki. I probably do. I'm shy. Actually, you might have a higher charisma than him. I don't know, because you, you rolled, like, really high. On your 17 charisma, so I'm pretty high. I'm also you're, 17 you're charisma. Equivalent. I'm plus three. What are you? Plus three is oh. this. <laughs> so who's leading the group here? I don't care. Okay. Rin, let's go. Okay. Hello! <laughs> are you Not here? Glover! Are you, are you, are you like here, too? You're like... Is Glover here, too? Yeah, yeah, everyone's here. With everyone's here, okay. okay. Yeah, I just want to show you what Thrykeen looked like, because they're like weird insects. So people. everybody's here, even the, uh, what's his name? Little C. Ungrook is here too? No, Ungrook stayed at the ship to guard it. Oh, screw you, Ungrook. He's the captain. Well, he needs to say. <laughs> okay, so. You all, okay, you all approach the door of the main of war, okay? Now, something important to note is that this establishment, it is in the high city, okay? This is royalty. They have a very strict dress code, <laughs> okay? Now, guess, on top of this, you're not allowed to carry weapons. So you all walk up to this, and the little Thrykeen, he starts to click his mangles. He goes, and he looks directly at you, and he goes, what are you doing in the high district? Oh, we're just trying to sell some really fancy wine that we found on our ship. Mm -hmm. We don't need it. We thought maybe you'd be interested in buying it from us. It seems suspicious. How would I know this is not poisoned? He's just, he's like, they have two sets of arms and hands. Okay, so he's sitting here, he's kind of fiddling like with the sides of what you would assume are weapons. And in the top, he's just kind of sitting here with his arms on the side. Can't Excuse you? me, sir, the bottle is still sealed. <laughs> <laughs> So see, I'm too dumb to notice that. He just kind of, he just kind of looks over at you, and he's just like, "What is he even like?" <laughs> he just looks at you and on. He's just like, "So what kind of preacher are you, sir?" And he's just, and I'm, I'm, he's I am a blubber. He's talking in your head. He's not talking out loud. I'm, I'm blubbered. <laughs> I thought you talked different in your head. But I'm saying it out loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. He, he just talks in your head. He doesn't have a mouth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I don't know how to communicate to him telepathically. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he can hear you? He can hear you. gone! He can hear. Oh, he can hear. He just can't talk. He talks inside your head. Okay. So, anyway, he looks back at Robert, and he's just like, no matter. Um, he changed his voice, apparently. Prince Andrew only drinks the finest of silly wine. This is the prettiest bottle we have. <laughs> These are elven wines. This However, is the finest wine that we have on our ship. This is the finest wine in all of the galaxy. Really? Technically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could roll a deception That's amazing. Check, I don't think that's deceiving. I knew that, but I just didn't decide to tell you on something. I could make you roll persuasion. Go ahead. You know what? Roll for, for charisma. Persuasion. Oh, good. I like that yep, one. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, yeah, Joshua. We're gonna walk it in tattered pirate clothes to the face. Joshua, what? Your watching. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're on a nat one. It's a four. Oh. <laughs> Come so on. Like this, the Thrykeen, he looks at you and he kind of starts to wave his antennas back and forth, almost as like he's shaking them in the motion of hell no, right, buddy? So he kind of says inside your head, like, no, Prince Andrew only drinks a certain kind. He's changed his voice three times now. I'm not a And he just kind of looks at you all and he kind of just shoots you away. Right? Just pick a voice that's easy to replicate. So then I guess what we'll do is. <laughs> 3D. Is it going to be what it's going to be? <laughs> it's going to be whatever comes out of my mouth. <laughs> we'll go to a tavern in the middle city. Okay, okay. So in the middle city. See, as big as this map 
patches and his. This is a small book, but only four pages of the city. So in the middle city, looking for a tavern or bar, correct? We have. There's actually way more in the middle city than there is in the high city, which I guess makes sense. Well, because there's. Yeah. Um, where's my mouse? So we're gonna go to the nicest looking one. See our digital map's nice. DG Hopefully no one gets dizzy watching. So this. in the great city there is a the donjon, which is a That sounds like a perfect for Loki. Mm -hmm. The donjon. No, it's kind of just like a protective area, so they're not really the oh. edge, so there's docks, um mm -hmm. there's a the great temple market, district. but no, that's kinda of like people pickpockets dirt among this area. Oh my god. Um that's you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's amongst his people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's honestly not a Where's a tavern or a restaurant? <laughs> there's not. There's like a big market there. What do you know the about the city? There's way too much to know about the city. There's <laughs> thousands. Of, look how big this map is. Well, there's going to be a four restaurant. I have pages to make up an entire I have map. alcohol to sell. Right, look. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, the, the campaign setting just dropped three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I wrote this before it released. <laughs> Based on stuff that was published 30 years ago. What about the festival grounds? The festival grounds? Okay, so at the festival grounds... That's not even... Wow. What about the mess? I paid $40 for this. It's not even in the room. <laughs> Okay, so the festival grounds, it's kind of like a pop-up. What about like, the market? The mar you can't just keep checking. <laughs> so the market... Can I just tell us about everything? It's the, far the market, it's kind of like a farmer's market, market, right? Like, you sort of have to be in with one of the underbarons that runs that area there. Oh, so I that, might know somebody. <laughs> in order to sell there, you have to be in with the underbaron because she's taking a constant cut, right? Um, so she is actually... Um, that area is run by the juggler. So you have to be with the juggler in order to sell at the market. So let's go to the juggler's folk guild house. There's not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> seems like they need alcohol. <laughs> like, yep, right there. Ooh. All right, so you make your way <laughs> to the juggler's folk guild house. So this guild house here, it's kind of operating behind the facade of a small backstreet playhouse, right? Backstreet. It's street. actually run by a guild of thieves known as the juggler's folk. Ooh. So it doubles kind of as an acting company that puts on a body and crass comedy to maintain their ruse. So like they kind of make you think they're innocent and fun people, but really when it gets down to it, they will screw you over. So the underbaron known as the juggler operates out of the theater, occasionally performing before audiences who are unaware of her identity. So, so can we get into this place? You can, but it takes a ticket. Okay. So can I just so, wait? Uh, so, to, okay, let's say your group walks up to, whoa, 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 back up, you gotta get into the theater, okay? So, your group is, they walks up to the ticket counter, basically, right? So, it turns out that the tickets cost one gold piece each to sit in the front row, it costs five silver to sit in the middle, or Look, I'm five. not trying, I, I, I go up and I'm like, I'm not trying to buy a ticket, all I'm trying to do is oh, he keeps so for the all I keep trying to, all I'm trying to do you is just find really someone sad. to buy our alcohol that we have. We have this really nice elven wine that we would just love to sell someone to people who are going to enjoy it. Don't you wanna wanna wanna? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tech elven midsummer wine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Elven midsummer. So wine. with the percentage, huh? Mm -hmm. A certain percent. It's like the I agree, it's the most expensive We should just drink it ourselves. In the Astral Sea. I because I Googled it. <laughs> um that's why. So anyway, with this, the ticket taker, um, who is a I'm trying to think of like a new I'm just gonna say Hadozi again. It's like think of a new what? No, I don't know where. You can always just do humor. Uh. But I'm trying to use a weird like spell. Okay, we'll stick with that for now. So it's another Hadozi, right? So they kind of look at you, right? And they have their like arms and their flaps are kind of dangling here. And it looks at you like, well, I'm not sure why you've come to the theater to sell something. We are trying to sell something to you. We thought maybe you could sell it and get people to be drunk and come back again and again. Mm -hmm. This is a theater. Do you not serve alcohol at a theater for the patrons? Roll a. Should I roll 
deception or persuasion? Persuasion, probably. Yeah, we're not trying to deceive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roll charisma. Mm -hmm. I need a bigger cheat sheet. <laughs> Roll an eight. <laughs> Wait. Sorry. Add your charisma to it. Sorry. Well, you're doing persuasion, right? Oh. So go to your skills. Um, yeah, you might have like um like a plus nine proficiency or something, or something too. If you check, you're you're bard. Shouldn't you be really good at that? Charisma, persuasion, is persuasion, plus nine. Oh, so he yes. had a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, okay, okay. So um, with that, the Hadozi man kind of looks at you and he's just like. Well, I suppose we do have a couple of alcohol stands here inside the... Thank you! <laughs> what are you done? We're trying to sell... Oh! Fun. If I would have sung that, I would have gotten... Three gold morning. each. You should have. Should have. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know really how it should have <laughs> That is true. None of, us, none of us rolled very well. Okay, okay, I can roll with that. So um, do we know three gold would get a, a, for each right. of these would get us a good chunk of the so, ship fixed, I'm with, assuming. With that, the man, he kind of looks at you and he's just like, wow, so you're, you're selling... Elven Midsummer for three gold each. Yes. And with that in the smooth tongue of <laughs> Loki here, he kind of just, he leans down and he begins to whisper. Right? And he's just like, I suppose I could go talk to the child. Okay. So with Please that, he, do. he scurries behind the, like, the red velvet curtain. Right? Wait, before you go. <laughs> Send Leona, my love. What under Baron was Leona the daughter of? Since you are so familiar with her. Jaskel. You said Jaskel. Jaskel. <laughs> so whoever has the name closest to Jaskel, I guess that's who he's trying to... Or maybe, maybe it's like, it's not like actually... Wait, no, memory. no. It's We're like a with it. It's like a weird drunken memory. You're not exactly sure <laughs> whose daughter she I, is. I don't know what's going on. You're a bard. But Leona, Leona is from the middle class. Middle city. Okay. Um, you're just assuming that she's famous enough to just be known by everyone? Yes. <laughs> Duh. Jazz school juggler, <laughs> close enough. Huh? Yeah, I'm salsa. It's in, I told you that cabinet's right to the next to the fridge there. You want me to get it? What's your, what's your Jazz school yeah, juggler, course. close enough, you know. I mean, it's, 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 it's practically the same name. Leona. <laughs> Leona. Oh I love you. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if your tryst was like with the juggler themselves? Or like, you know, just get us in. Kai, Kai, get down. Leona is actually the juggler. Mm -hmm. You see how the other two are doing that? She don't care. Look at her. Look at her. She'll jump. The gate would probably fall down. She's crazy. Though. Like she can jump that, but it, she cracks us up because it looks like she's leaning on like a bar counter. She's like, mm -hmm. like she's so barkeep. Excuse me. We like to place an order. All right. <sighs> So with that, um, <laughs> the Hadozi man, he um, he kind of slipped back around. With okay, hold on. Did you did you tell him before he slipped away? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so he kind of looks at you and he goes a little bit of this, right? And he just sort of shakes his head and walks behind the curtain. And when he does return, he comes back with an auto gnome. So the auto gnome, it's quite literally a very small gnome shaped. Pretty much a robot, okay? Um, that's what we're rolling with here. So the robot, like, it kind of looks at you, okay? And he's just like, I heard you were selling some wares at mm -hmm. a um, very enticing price for the theater. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That so, means alcohol. I mean, anyone's going to buy Astro Shh. wine. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, why we priced it to move. Yeah, you really did. We, so, <laughs> we need Laura Bailey. <laughs> Just, why? Need, need Laura Bailey badly. <laughs> you have to watch. When this is over, we just need to play critical roles. About, it's so yes, good. Yes, you really do need like, to see Well, it. see, you remember at Con, his favorite thing was like the Twisted Tunes. Where the voice yeah! Actors, it's literally they Twisted Tunes. They are literally D &D. voice actors. Oh, they are voice oh, actors. D &D. But D &D. I know. It is Twisted Tunes, but D&D. How? I watch it. I have watched it every night. I know me. you and Will watch it every night. Will, <laughs> Will watches it with me. I asked him whose character was his favorite, and um, the one that's married to the skinny guy. He pointed Marisha. At, yes, he pointed to her. He watches Coco Melon, and there's a character on there called Cece, and she has dark hair, um, which 
in that. I don't think I don't think Liam's wife is on the show. Liam's Mar- wife is married to Matt. I can yes. show you what they look like. I don't know their names. I've, I've been watching this for a week. The, the, D, the DM is Matt Mercer. Oh, he, I know he, Matt. He and I know Matt. Yeah, but, but but he and Mercer are married. <laughs> we all know Matt. The so redhead is married to Matt Mercer. The dark hair. Not girl. the red. Dark haired girl. Yeah. But he, well, he pointed at her, the dark haired girl, mm-hmm. and he he said, like Cece. Because it looks like mm. Cece on Cocoa Melons. So that's why he likes her, because she has dark hair. Mm. He said it was Cece. He's already finding his, Leona. He did. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just so <laughs> it is That is wrong to, on so many levels. He'll lay there, and he'll point at the torches on the wall, and he'll go, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, so anyway, um, what's the man's name? The Under Baron name, <laughs> the Juggler. He comes out, he is an honor now. He comes out, I hear that you are selling some astral elven or elven midsummer wine for a very unresistible price. Mm-hmm. To us at the theater, we are obviously here to please our patrons. And although this is a bit unusual method to purchase alcohol. Yeah, we stole it from our captain after we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> we stole it from us. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so that the juggler he kind of looks at you like you stole it from whom? Was a dead guy? That guy. Well, stealing is certainly common. We stole it from Callister. 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 We stole from. We stole from Callister. Well, I've never heard of this Callister. Well, he's dead. Well, he's dead. <laughs> I suppose I've missed nothing that he's now well, in the beyond. <laughs> just, just, just decided to throw it out there. Is it what yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, exactly how many bottles of this golden wine are we selling? Five. Five. Five of them. And mm-hmm. for how many gold pieces each? Three each. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you what it's worth if you sell it. Fine. <laughs> So with that, just absolutely no hesitation. Um, so he pulls out. He's he's a I don't know. So he has like this little. It's kind of like a cash register shaped like thing mm-hmm. in his stomach. He pushes what appears to be a bell, but but it's actually a button. And he goes and he pulls out his gold and he hands you fifteen gold. Good. And we now, hand over the wine. Yep. You can divide it how you would nope. like. It goes straight to keeping the ship. Straight to keeping the ship. Okay. Okay, so with that, Ship he, needs repair. he, Sorry, you, he kind of glides down because he's, you know, he's still not around a little bit, so he kind of bends down and like, it's just like, thank you for your patronage, and he wheels back behind the curtain because he's got to get ready for a performance. Oh, sir? Come on, Leona. <laughs> you know, no one else scares about it. <laughs> so he, no, he kind of, well, I'm walking away. His claw hand is sitting there holding Look, the curtain. Look, he takes out a cigar. No, oh, one more thing. <laughs> he's sitting there holding the curtain, and he kind of like rolls back out, right? And just like, about to move. Leona! Can you tell me more about this Leonia? Well, she was a lass. <laughs> I, just, I just want to hear about this. As most she's are. <laughs> she was this is a, not a fleshed out idea. <laughs> she was a lass and I courted. Back in... Oh, courted? Courted. Back in the modern age. During, during our schooling at Loot School. Loot School, you say? Loot school! Which loot school did she attend? The University of Loot, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you. He's just like, only in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so he kind of looks at you and he's just like, So a lower tier school, you say? It sounds like you were looking for someone that resides in the lower city. No, she said middle class. Don't don't play tricks with me, trickster. I am <laughs> that, a noble trickster. And then he bows and he wills and says good day and goes back behind the curtain. <laughs> I'm, I've randomly assigned Leonia to one of these under barons. So, <laughs> if you can manage to find it. How much could we get? Elvin Midsummer wine is worth ten gold pieces each. You could have got wow. fifty gold. You got fifteen. Mm, so did I bargain. That's why I didn't even make you roll for it. I was like, oh god, who wouldn't take that? Yeah. You needed to price it to move. <laughs> you did. Okay. It's a discount. Stuff was hot. <laughs> yeah. In this market? <laughs> okay. So, with that, you... I mean, we did steal it, so... 
<laughs> yeah, we did. Well, like, technically, it was we bought with money that was don't right true, outside Peter, of yours. True. Yeah. Okay, so with that... Um, I'm sure times, she was a lass. <laughs> <laughs> with that, you, you're you still carrying around a few um, containers of Valor Ale, and you also have some mint wine and mead. So where would you like to proceed to next? We would like to move it in the lower city. So you, like you can literally move spend move a whole we campaign like move move <laughs> like farming move potatoes. We like to huh? You can do anything move. that I'll let you do. Like, you could literally spend a whole campaign farming potatoes. What about the lesser market? Would they... I am a farmer. You could do anything. Would the lesser market... Or, sorry. Still potatoes. Are gone? Sorry, would our leader like to go to the lesser market? <laughs> well, she's technically the first mate. <laughs> to sell the rest of this alcohol. We have to go back and get the rest of the alcohol. I thought we had it. You had... You have a pretty... You still have some left, right? Like, that was just some of the wine. Um, I said we go to the lower city. Okay, we go you. to the lower city. Okay, so where specifically? Here we go. See, I would die without this book. Like, what about the lesser market? Okay. Yeah. What, what do we think, group? What do we think, group? Good. Sure. Okay. So the lower city's marketplace, it's much smaller and shabbier than the great market that's located there in the middle city. Oh, right? I locked your mom out. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> mom. <laughs> So most of its structures are rickety stalls where small merchants peddle their wares. It's fine. And though she it draws it its clientele mostly from surrounding neighborhoods, the lesser market also attracts new arrivals fresh from the docks. Like you all. Perfect. Yes. Who are looking for a bargain or perhaps something more sinister. So do we about do we know how much ten gold would get the ship fixed? Is that gonna make a dent in getting the ship a fixed? A spell jammer helm, I actually looked this up. <laughs> a spell jammer ham helm. Spelljammer ham. A spell jammer ham. Not about no spell jammer ham. You you can get that fixed up, you know. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's right. It's right a little cost know. of about twenty five thousand gold. You know? <laughs> no, 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 spell jammer ham. <laughs> he did a spell jam ham. So a spell jamming ham. Ham. I said it. Spell jamming ham. So you have to create and attune them, or you can buy them new. Uh, which none of you are wizards, right? Mm-mm. Okay. So scratch that. So they are very expensive to buy because they're a commodity. They are five thousand gold. I was close. So what if we wanted to repair the one we have? You. We're right? not even close. To so repair the one you'd have. It, Cost, I don't know, probably a little bit less than that. It depends on the damages, but your ship was pretty damaged, so let's say maybe about 3,000 gold. Okay. We don't have that. <laughs> we have 15 of it. <laughs> <laughs> 15 of it. Can we at least put one piece of wood back? <laughs> hey, it'd be nice if I did. Like, he spends all his time repairing that one piece of wood, and it's starting to become less splintered. Yeah, I got, I, got, I got some splinters taken care of. <laughs> it'd be nice if I knew somebody in the, in the government. <laughs> I mean, we could you go even, there. Do you even know the prince's name? Um, the what? Prince's name of the Rock of Brawl. Jackal. <laughs> Jackal. Oh, that was the name wait. of the... Wait a minute. Can you tell us the name when wait. we were at the... I told you, but did was, anyone write it down? Was the, the, was the last... The the was the last a princess? Um, there's the low... You are still on the same rock. What's the name there's of the like prince? The you can... I mean, there's no. all kinds of places here, so you're still trying no, to sell... Did we ever go to another map? Oh, Thank yeah. You. Oh. You gotta, can we just steal from the city? Yeah. Yes, but we don't want to become wanted in this city. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. and what would we steal from the lower city? No, I'm talking about the higher. <laughs> I mean, you pretty much got kicked out of the high city. We just yeah, left the high it. city. <laughs> no, we it's... were definitely not wanted there. We are on the poster. Yeah, the gift told you not to go to the high city. He told you to watch out for the government peeps. <laughs> the book literally said that about the dress code. That wasn't me. That was we are whoever wrote this book. <laughs> we we are wanted in the lo- the higher city just for showing. Peanut up. says steal, steal, steal. So we have to, we have to listen to chat. Yeah, we have to listen to chat. I mean, yeah. well, we're you've got all this alcohol. You, not, I mean, what are you gonna do? You you, we're gonna try to sell it in the lower city. Do, do you want to do like a side quest? Looks like we have the rock well, raft. The I burrows, mean, I know we're gonna be wanted in the city. The Murricane agent. Well, not, no, we can just go to the lesser market. If you don't get caught, sell it. Okay, so we're going to the lesser market. Get caught. Just roll well. Yeah. yeah, you can definitely steal something from the lesser market and get us some gold. Lesser <laughs> market. Yeah. Um. So we're at the lesser market right now. Is yeah, that where yeah, we're at? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you uh, walk into the lesser market, and this is very much. Um, I'm trying to put away. Have you ever traveled like out of the country? 
Okay, Negative. Yeah. Negative. Nope. Did you ever go to like a flea market there where they were like grabbing you on the arms and shoulders? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So flea markets in other countries, especially like poor countries, are very different from the way they are here. So it's not, it's still booths kind of set up, but people are desperate to make a sale. So they'll often, they'll just kind of like grab you on the shoulder and like something might start out costing $20 and then might start to you for two. It's beyond bartering, it's desperation. So these people down here, you can tell they're desperate for gold, desperate for any kind of coin, and they'll just do just about anything to get it. Yeah. So you walk in and, um, <laughs> <should I continue? laughs> it's a brothel. <laughs> no, you, okay, so you walk in and you see all sorts of booths, right? So there are people selling um, potions and little trinkets, and there are people selling what looks to be adventuring bags, you're really not quite sure. Um, there's booths of every kind here. Sounds like a great one. It is a market, not a bar. It's a market, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So is, is there like a, is there like a job board or anything like a... a, a nope, so everyone here, oh, there's, they don't have much to give. Oh, They're trying to get money any way they can. But there's not like a, like a wanted poster or like a, anything. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you're making my life easy. So you look up at the board, right? And, yeah, certainly there are different, like, help-wanted boards, right? But most of these seem like they kind of hail for the high city because, or the middle city, a few of them, but most of the people in the lower, they're desperate for coins. They can't afford it. Um, you see one particular that kind of catches your eye. Um, it's put up on the board with a piece of, like, parchment paper, kind of with a gold-shaped embroidery, and the gold almost seems to kind of glitter. Um, it, it says something like, help-wanted, um, Strong adventurers pay as well. Meet at Happy Beholder. That's all it says. It's very nondescript. Well, then okay. let's go there. Well, let's go to the Happy Beholder. Okay. Do you yeah. share that information with the rest of the group? I'll, I'll take I'll take the poster down off the sign and I'll mm-hmm. I'll show it to like. Do you guys know any strong adventurers? <laughs> 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 but are yes. we not going to sell the? The alcohol we have right now to do. Yeah. I don't know that we'll be able to get rid of it in the lower city. You came there to steal. Yeah, I don't think the lower city is gonna buy anything from us. Okay. The lower city is very poor people. I'll buy something from you. Yeah. <laughs> what are you selling? <laughs> alcohol. How much? <laughs> Lots of alcohol. You're in our group. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna use the gold. Oh my god. Okay. You still want alcohol? Wait, what are we doing here? No, I think we're just going to go to the Happy Beholder oh, okay. and see if we can get that job, and then maybe we'll come back to the Great Market and sell the rest of the alcohol. Are, are there oh, any we... cheese stands? <laughs> I mean, this Lesser Market, um, even though it's called Lesser, it definitely has a stand for everything. And I, I go to a cheese stand and I buy a gold <laughs> worth of cheese. <laughs> you look at but you just wasted a gold. I wonder what cheese is worth in the D&D world. <laughs> Like, how much cheese can you get for a gold? A lot. <laughs> Let me look it up and see. Only the best for reap. <laughs> how much does cheese cost? <laughs> cheese hunk. Oh my god. So a hunk of cheese is one silver piece. Yeah, so I, I buy ten hunks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, you walk up to this. It's like a little grandma, okay? And she's got her grand, grandkids sitting around here. And she kind of looks and she's just like... It's, it's, I'll just call it a wheel. I'll, I'll buy a wheel of cheese. Oh, better. Four hunks of wheel? And she pulls out like this old moldy... <laughs> like you can even you know, skirt the mold off. You can tell like yeah. it's been made with care, but it hasn't been like totally... Better made. cheese than we made. Oh, I'm excited. Like, <laughs> Blobber's super excited. Because yeah. he, he's been doing like the create food and water for Reap for a while. <laughs> this has That's flavor. A That's a whole spell slot. So like, you know... She well, I mean, he's been... Out, yeah. And she just kind of like, thank you, sweetie. And she slides it across the table and you took it. Into your thigh. <laughs> you yeah, it's like it's, it's literally in, it's in my eye. It's literally floating in a it's, it's, It goes into like one of the like the little like <laughs> little tunnels. Just moldy, moldy cheese in my leg. Oh my god. Okay. So. Yeah, they didn't have an official. I had to go off of D&D Beyond That's to fine. get the price of cheese. Okay, so what are we doing? Are we making a the happy beholder? We're the yeah. time. Okay. So your group leaves the lesser market and they make their way to the group. Okay, to the happy beholder. Now something that is pretty unique about this bar is that it is owned by a patron who is quite famous on the Rock of Brawl named Large Luigi. 
No, you're just like, oh, she's so, you look <laughs> away, she's like, she told me about Luigi. And that's literally his name. His name is actually Large Luigi. So, um, Luigi, he is... Is he actually part of the name, or is that... That is his name, no. Large Luigi. That is the Lord <laughs> Large Luigi. Um, so, Luigi, he is a very light patron here on the Rock, rock of Brawl. Although he has a menacing appearance, he's actually pretty much an encyclopedia for knowledge, right? Like, he knows everything about the universe. He's well-traveled. He's very smart. Very light. Although he appears to be kind of scary. Oh. He died. Luigi's dead. Anyway, <laughs> so you, you can move that over there. We win! We win! <laughs> <You> win. <laughs> so, Luigi, he is a beholder. So that's why the bar is named the Happy Beholder. And he's run by a beholder. Um, so you kind of stumble up on this bar, right? And the regulars, they're generally individuals whose ethics don't exactly align with what is proper in the world, right? So they're known to steal, to brawl, to fight. Um, they're, you know, they're definitely not high rock and brawl people. Fights are so common here that they are allowed to continue, but only if you fight outside. So if you fight inside, they're going to kick you out <laughs> in an instant. Um, so as you... Um, I don't know, so what do you do? You get here to the Happy Beholder. It's not guarded, you know, it's just the door's wide open. I ask about Leonia. <laughs> <laughs> who, to who? To Large Luigi. He knows everything. Okay, so you, you enter the, um, the... Good, he knows <laughs> everything. He, he does. can tell you who she's <laughs> with. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> but I feel like you're the only one on this quest to find Leonia. Um, I mean, who else would be looking so after the person that's his former man. lover? I am my former lover. I mean, it's that's a board that's the only really thing I know about this place is that I used to have a former lover from here. Right. So you sort of saunter up to the bar, right? And behind this bar, Luigi, um, you know, he's kind of floating there. And he also has a couple of, um, what are these freaking things called? They look like, hold on. Paid for five hours. <laughs> he also has a couple of intellect, nope. Sorry. Rewind. It was a rewind sound. Gazers. Yeah, that, that's what these are called. They're called gazers. So gazers typically kind of hang out with beholders and spectators, and they're literally floating hands. So he has a couple of these um, floating, whatever, hands, walking around the bar, right, making drinks for everyone. So you saunter up to large Luigi, and he kind of twirls around as he's floating in there, and he goes, well, how can I help you, sir? And he smiles, but, like, he's trying to be friendly, but he's, he's taking, like, daggers. <laughs> oh, no. His, his eyes are bloodshot, his teeth are like daggers, he's just kind of looking at you, right? Lucky is unfazed by his look. Because he's been around the world a time or two. <laughs> he's been around, alright. Yeah. <laughs> and I ask him about where Leonia is. <laughs> oh my god. Roll? I don't think you have to sing everything. You don't have to sing everything. He does, you want to get to the plus yeah, two that she told him? <laughs> Roll wisdom for insight. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, well, we'll go with that. Seven plus one, eight. Uh, how many is insight? Four, so twelve. Okay. That's eleven, right? Because you rolled a seven. So Luigi, he kind of twirls plus around. One. He looks at you. You don't add, the pl you don't you add your. Add yeah, you oh, just add eleven. Your skill. Eleven then. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't, it doesn't work. I literally told you the DC. Um, so he kind of looks at you, and that toothy grin, it kind of like fades away into like a straight line face. And it's just like, Leonia? I haven't heard that name in years. And he just sort of looks down and refuses to say anything else. Because you rolled shit. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. And she's not important, Daniel! <laughs> so she's important to him. I walk up sure. to the beholder and I go, <laughs> You have a nice establishment here, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lash, as he eats a pineapple. We are, we are trying one. to offload some goods in the loads of alcohol, and we're wondering if you could help us by taking some of it off our hands to sell in your your great establishment. Well, Large Luigi might be interested in that. What type of goods do you have to offer? I don't know what goods do we have to offer. Stolen wine! <laughs> <laughs> We sold the stolen wine. The right? thing though, the, like in the oh, lower city, like one, stealing is nothing. We, we, like, sold, we sold the really nice one. We, we, we sold, have, okay. No, we had a whole yeah, we have. Oh, okay. We, we have, have a whole bunch. Of, we only sold the. You five have like mead. You have some ale. Whatever other kinds of specific oh, okay. alcohol. Yeah. It's I don't know. Um, <laughs> so Luigi kind of looks at you, just like. Um, you seem a bit desperate for some coin here. Yes. Very, very much so. We need yeah. to fix our ship. Mm-hmm. Um, so. 
there's a, a fruit picture. Uh, Large Luigi doesn't need any more alcohol. He gets his Jesus. alcohol from special sources. I mean, these people in the lower city, right? Like, they have no money, but they drink to kind of drown out their sorrows, right? So, I mean, Luigi, he is stocked, all right? And he can't afford your fancy astral wines. But, he says, there's a frequenter here at the bar. Um, goes by the name of Silas. Silas. Um, you might, might check around and see if he's come yet. He tends to come in the afternoon hours. He's been looking for work for a couple of weeks now. I guess we, we wait until, until after, after afternoon. <laughs> is, is this his, is this his poster? <laughs> I should I should have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Lars Luigi kind of looks at like this and oh, eyes squint real tiny, right? And he's just like, yes, yeah, so that um that is very similar to Silas. You know Silas, he comes to a lot. He signs the receipts at the bar. That is very similar to his writing, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, and that's really all he has to offer, right? Like Luigi, he kind of he's running the bar. He's got business to do. So, what'd you like to do? Just kind of hang out at the bar? Wait, wait. Yeah. So he said, do you say what time you, th you thought Silas usually came around? He usually Just comes later? around the afternoon. It's currently about like 4 o'clock, you know. So people are starting to get off work, filter in. Um, people who don't really work have been there drinking all day. Um, day you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, what? <laughs> but, um, one question. Yep. The morning poster, how much are they offering for... Um, that's a, well, it's not a wanted one? poster. It's oh, a, sorry. it's like a help wanted poster, but help not like one. a. Oh, it's it was like it was like gold. Plate. It just says meet at the heavy bar. So Luigi knows where to kind of point you to, but he doesn't know. Okay. I mean, he's not running the drop here. Help you one. have okay. to find Silas. So we wait. We wait for Silas. Wait for Silas. Wait. You're waiting. Okay, okay. So you all, you you find an empty high tabletop like, you know, table. Tabletop bar table. table. Tabletop chat. A high, like, round bar table, okay? Oh, kind of out to the corner. You sit around, you order a couple of drinks. Um, back in the corner, you can see a couple of Thrykeen. So they're playing a game, um, some sort of a gambling game. And there's a couple empty seats there at the table. What um, what's what are they anteing, roughly? They, um, they're playing rollies, okay? And they are currently anteing anywhere from, uh, I don't know, one to five gold per round. Um, but they seem to be a little bit disgruntled mm. with each other. As if they've been arguing. But there are a couple of empty seats at the table. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what do y'all want to do? Like, I sit down to play rollies because that looks like fun. Okay, okay. Hello, can I join? I join as well to make sure you don't lose all, our, all of our money. He doesn't have the money. Oh. I join as well. <laughs> the coin's just floating around. I join as well. I, I join as well so he doesn't. All yeah, two gold I have that I have the on my character sheet. Oh, okay, I, I join as well. I don't trust. Them I join as not. well because give it away to a rat. <laughs> yeah. I, I join as well so he doesn't lose his life. He, it's a mouse. He, it's not a rat. He's kind of like Tom Bombadil, right? Like he has no really like, concept of power, but he's super powerful. He just constantly gives us stuff away. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so Blobbert and Loki both sit down too. Yeah, I'm, I'm always up for an adventure. Like, now, since you don't play critical roles, that's why this. That's what they play for. You literally roll a d20, and it gets higher on the lens. Every time I roll this without like a purpose, it hits above 15. It's crazy. So you're sitting down with a couple of Thrykeen, okay? Um, you sit down. They're kind of clacking their mandibles, right? And remember, they don't speak out loud. I'm gonna anti one gold. We don't. So we they're don't. saying something to each other, but you can't quite make out. Do we have gold saying. to get or to bet? I have gold on my character sheet. What so, do you have in your um, inventory? First Thrykeen, he kind of offers. I don't know. We didn't get starting gold. Did we not? That was randomized. You should have yeah. had something. What is? You have something. Inventory. There's, unless you didn't add it. Twenty-five gold. I think it also depends on your background. Um, no, not background. You can pick like. It's like a comfort. I had like. I think I had like. I have hundred fifty. Like, you definitely don't have three grand in gold. Ren is the only responsible one in the party. <laughs> Literally. What's? Well, I mean, that's how it is at home too. So. <laughs> No, I have ten. Yeah, you have ten gold. I, I you have, have fifteen. You have twenty-five. I have twenty-five. So, so we. You have one hundred and fifty-five gold. That's still not enough. But damn, damn. you rich. You must have been stealing crap. He's been picking pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I anti one gold to the so pot. Anti one gold. Um, so the first throw I can, he pushes in two gold. And the second one pushes in four. Okay. I push in so, five. So okay. if I if I can't call. <laughs> give me a give me a d twenty. Give me your d twenty. Give me your cursed one that you don't want to play with. <laughs> 
can't I can't call four gold. I've only got two. Oh, you only got two gold. So so you're betting more than no. So I, I okay. So I, if if they're if they're putting in that four gold, then I'm out. I just can't because I can't answer. Can't. So you just kind of like pull back. You look over at Loki. Loki, what are you wagering? Five gold. You rich? I got twenty-five. Damn. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Did you get higher than a sixteen? Nope. <laughs> okay. So both of the Thrai Keen, um, they actually both rolled sixteens, which is weird. Um, so they kind of look at you. They clap their mandibles and kind of laugh, like, and they take your five gold, and slurp it over to their side of the table. <laughs> now what I will say is kind of while you are playing this game um, it's a medium sized hooded figure okay um, he kind of slips in quietly through the front door wow He's we wearing... really we really passed that time by by playing listen, I don't want to see her make you play a game for two hours <laughs> so he's wearing plain brown, ro- brown robes and at first glance he looks it looks like they're made of burlap but once he gets close enough you can actually make out the look of a noble sigil on the back um, so as the figure slinks toward a table in the back of the bar, you see the edge of a staff kind of peek out from underneath of this robe. Um, when he's addressed by the server, so little floating hand people, um, he kind of points to a cask nearby, and in a crackling voice, he kind of makes out, I'll have some, <clears throat> and he has to clear his throat, okay? So it seems like he's a little, a little bit down or maybe a little under the weather. Um, but once he clears his throat in a decidedly deeper voice, he says, I'll have some of the... Give me your deep voice. I'll have some of that, please. I'll have some of that, please. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And it's really obvious that while this figure is strong, he's really uncomfortable and not used to being in this part of the town. Is that silence? <laughs> what do you want to do? I was going to see if the Thrykeen Keen would want to... Um, Play again. <laughs> um, excuse me, I've only got two gold. Uh, can, can you, like, lower the beds a little bit so I can play? And they kind of clack their wheels and they're like, oh, like, you'll come to say. So they each slide in one gold. One gold! <laughs> I'm in! I'll slide in one gold. Okay. Come in! Come in! She the entire thing. Eleven! Eleven. Seventeen! So Shucks. when the Thrytini kind of looks, you should they stop kinda, Blobbert so that they don't take all of your money. <laughs> you only have one gold left. They kind of giggle to themselves and they slide the three gold. Well, I guess it's two gold. Mm-hmm. Two gold. It's clear that they're in cahoots with each other, okay? Like, they're mm-hmm. kind of like, you they're know. They're cheating. They're talking. Mm-hmm. Remember, they don't talk out loud. They, they oh, can, can we tell if, can I do a perception check to see if they're cheating? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. Why did you do that? <laughs> so you all, you're still standing back at the table, but Rand's just. Well, now they're hurting poor innocent Blobbert. Blobbert <laughs> <laughs> had. Well, I was. So I'm there. I, f- I rolled a fourteen to see if they were cheating. Ooh. So, although you can definitely tell they're like saying something to each other, right? Like, you just can't quite tell what's going on. Like, it seems innocent, but it has like a suspicious vibe. So to I it. lean over to what was your character's name? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I lean over to Little C and I go. You should Sorry guys, the oh. lunch is I have to go home. <laughs> the Thraki look at you and they just go giggle and they're just shoo you away. <laughs> like you with your two I, gold. I, I not worth your time anyway. I, I and then I go and I like I plop down next to the like at the like an empty you said there's like empty tables or empty chairs around. Yeah, like, yeah, there's over. a few like of the you know the stereotypical like brown bar table yeah. I'll, yeah. Just, yeah. I'll just, yeah. just kinda sit down table there table and just like yeah. stealth one of their pockets. And well, I just, you wouldn't want to sit at the I'm table. proud because like I just you saved you from losing behind, all of your right? money. <laughs> What's that? Not really. I'm proud because I just saved you from losing it's all of your money. It's absolutely stupid. So, like, go into stealth. <laughs> I'm doing absolutely stealth, nothing. And then go into stealth mode so that they can't sense you coming up behind them and then do the slide of hand. You're check. a sneaky thief. That yes. is very You need to steal from them from taking from all of your friends. Yeah, so do it. Roll the stealth check. Roll the stealth. Do it. Do you want to try to pick their pockets? Yeah. Do you want to pick the one on the left or the one on the right? Stealth first. Left or right? Uh, you can pick your friends and you can pick your nose. You left. can pick your friends' pockets. But don't pick your friends' nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can pick, roll. Left, Hold on. Left, left. Okay, okay, go for it. Go ahead. Roll four. Do the stealth check. Dexterity. So that's. Um, well, you have a, you'll have bonuses to stealth. You'll have stealth. Big so like, dex. go to. Uh, it's not actions. It's skills. 
So go to skills, go all the way down to the bottom, find your stealth. Plus so you're seven. Gonna, yep, so roll plus seven. <laughs> so oh. 15 plus seven, so Ooh. 20. Shoot. So, okay. 23. You you walk up to Thrykeen number one and all the other insect people. And then you need to do your, your slide of hand check. Well, that's a stealth. Insect people? Yeah, you threw them okay. over here. Oh, okay. Sir so even, even though they're clearly like insects, they're still wearing garb, right? They do have pockets. Sir Robert. So <laughs> you reach in. You can take that punch. Well, that was just a stealth check. Did you want to roll the slide of hand check? Yeah, go ahead and roll. I thought you were rolling that. Mm -mm. It's this, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually that when you're testing. No, no, something. no, no, no. That's it. you need to roll a d20 oh. for the slide. You again. almost always roll a d20, which is also a plus stuff. seven. Yeah. Well, that was a thirteen, but they can't sense him. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you're a rogue. You, you're gonna do it. Yeah. Right? Okay. He can take his time. Yeah, just yeah. Like a cat. And, okay. So you walk up, right, and you're, you you kind of sneak over to the one in the left pocket. So they're sitting there, kind of like looking at the three gold they just got from. Blobber, Loki, and you, you reach into like this little satchel, kind of, it's almost like a fanny pack on the back of the thing, you unzip it just so carefully, you reach in, you pull out um, a half-eaten eaten leaf, okay, six gold that they've been gambling with all day, and a potion of mm. Mm. He's new. You should give some. Well, so. Okay, does this thing. Time out. Sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> So, what do you want to do with that AO? You saw it going on. So, you should give gold back to Blobber. I don't really care what you do to the bottom. It's only six gold. It's not gonna really help us. I don't need the gold. Well, I'll take the gold. You can have the potion of healing, though. That'll be helpful. Yeah, keep the But you'll wanna, you'll wanna put on your thing. Not a half eaten leaf. I don't know. Uh, just. Just <laughs> drop just, it? I mean, just, just drop it. Yeah, just thing. drop it. Maybe they'll think they dropped it out of their pocket. Mm. And distract them more. Yeah, right? So it seems like. Did we pick the left one? Yeah. Seems so you like can do the right, right one, one next. Gold. Yeah, so just do the right one next. Right when one she gets back, you head can head still head. use the same stealth if you haven't moved and done anything. So I'll write down that you got six gold. And then we need to add your potion of healing. Did she say what type of healing? Is it just regular potion? Potion healing. Okay. Did Silas enter the bar? No. Well, yeah, we're going to pick these pockets first because they, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> they were mean to Blobber. They were mean to Blobber. He's been our Blobber, rock. You got your gold back. You don't be mean to our yeah, rock. Yeah, we gave you one of the gold back. Well, once he's done picking the pocket because I don't want him to break stuff. Hey, Daniel, did you share off the donation thing with your Facebook at all today? Yeah. Well. Okay. I'm sure did. Okay. So. I'm going to pick the pocket the right one next. You're going to go to the right one now? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and um, roll for dexterity. Yeah, that's a sleight of hand, so you'll add seven again. You keep rolling that dice. That's a 19 oh, plus moly. seven. Good golly. <laughs> You're, still You're just sitting there rooting forever. Literally. So uh, you go ahead, you reach into bright key number two. Since pocket. I've been training those dice. You pull out. <laughs> That, those dice are you trained. Are those are my trained dice. They're those are professional, professional dice. Those mm -hmm. are really good dice. They're not my dice. The noob dice. That dice is well trained. Keep using that one. The noob that's never that's, played that's is somehow one. DMing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you reach into the right Thrakeen's pocket, okay, and you pull out seven gold. So that's kind of why they're talking. I think they're trying to decide who's going to keep what gold. Pull out seven gold. Um, a random golden key. No clue what this key is to. Hmm. And you also pull out a shot glass. Alright. Shot glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pull out a shot glass. Say we talked to Lark Luigi about that. <clears throat> about what? The key. The key? Okay. So, I don't think, before yeah. we do that, let's make sure we add your potion of healing. Yeah, you have to add it to your inventory. Yeah, add it to your That's inventory. That's really Wait, good. Wait, who's good at persuasion? You. I'm good at, you're, well. You're well, well, you're good at, like, being sneaky, stealing stuff, and you're also very, like, slick with your words. Did you examine the key? That would be an intelligence check. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is definitely not me or you. Arky, arky. <laughs> so we should we should go back and like away from these people. Yeah. And so like I try to get everyone away. To we like we inspect table. the things that we stole from the people's pockets. Yeah, so we, right we go to, to our them. own table. <laughs> oh, look at this. On the other side of the bar. Yeah. Okay. Way away. Way away. I give Blobber one of his gold back and tell him you're not back to in the corner, so you're definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. inconspicuous. Yeah. yeah. So I give Blobber one of his gold back and tell him not <laughs> to gamble again. <laughs> oh, Blobber, gambling is bad. 
So that was, so then we added 12 gold to our tally. Oh. Because I gave one back to the lover. Now remember, there is a strange medium-sized hooded figure sitting in the back. Yes, we'll go talk to we'll them. We'll talk to them later. We want to make sure that yeah. we get the potion of healing. And we want to see what that key does. Yeah. And the shot yeah. Yes. Well, we should, we should ask Silas if he's here all the time. Maybe he knows what know the key Silas? is for. Maybe it's, part, it's and maybe it's a part of what he's We don't know if it's Silas yet. Maybe we haven't talked to him. Maybe, been, right? <laughs> maybe it is what he's looking for. We've been rummaging through fanny packs. The only thing you know is that um, when he walked in, Luigi kind of gave him a wink with his, with his big eyes. So Got I it. Like okay. So that's oh, yeah, Silas. Silas. <laughs> the beholder closes one big eye. Yeah. <laughs> it is supposed to be a beholder. This is technically a spectator. The beholders are like... That's what's on this. Yeah. Uh, they're huge with way more arms, but yeah, yeah. boulders are on the front, the front cover of the D and D handbook. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Hold on, I got anyway, inventory. Close enough. Stuff. Just way bigger than that. I don't adding. want. I don't want you to lose it, so I can go ahead and add it in my inventory. He's gonna be like, "That's all you, you do. You just have... eat inside." <laughs> it actually works for your character, though. You're like a shy, tiny black cat. And you're sneaky. It's all you just eat inside. I hope they didn't give you salsa. It was, it was under, under the, the chips. chips. <laughs> well, makes so sense. So what was the potion of healing that he got? Was it greater, superior, or supreme? Uh, greater. Or was it regular? In the there was no regular. Mm-hmm. There is a regular potion of healing, I thought. It doesn't come up. Probably because I haven't bought that. I'm, so since I literally discovered this like a week ago... <laughs> Not D&D, but like the D&D Beyond. I'm waiting for them to have like a big sale. I bought what we needed to play, mm-hmm. but like the big bundles that normally cost $400, I'm really hoping that for them to discount down to like 150 And then I have everything, you know? Cool. They usually do it around Black Friday. Um, so we got... We we got a sh- what? Every book ever made for 5e. It's pr- that's a, no, that's a good deal. This book and three others cost it's like It's better than what I spent. Yeah, that's not, I was like, listen, you buy skins on games all the time. I'm like, that's nothing. Yeah, it's like it's like one seventy nine to get like the the player's handbook, the bestiary, and the DM guide. I yeah, think. I have. Do I have a DM guide on here? Mm. I'm not sure. I think I did. I know I bought like four books last week, or last. Um, yeah, last week. But, okay. Did you get oh, added? I'm getting there. Okay. We got twelve gold because we had a total of thirteen, and I gave one back to Blobber. I'll just add everything for the party, and then if we want to buy stuff, we can just do it that way. It's easier. Yep. Okay, okay, so now we have a total of 37 gold going <laughs> to the, the ship. So we're <laughs> 3,000. We're getting there. You clearly need to talk to it. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to... Well, do we know that that's obviously the person that we're looking for? I mean, you don't know that, but I mean, you did see Luigi kind of blink with this is big beholder eye when he weird. walked in. Hmm? Huh? What? what Blubber, or you come in and talk to the person? I got it. I can talk yeah. to the person. Yeah, Ren's got it. She's responsible. <laughs> She's the responsible I, first hand. I just want to ask about my uh, old lover. I'm not clearly <laughs> trying. Yeah, I'm the first mate. I'm the uh, responsible I'm, one. <laughs> I'm just trying to get laid. <laughs> oh, literally, you're a bard. <laughs> I'm a bard. Okay. Not <laughs> all bards are womanizers. What do you want to do? I mean, you, you know, you're standing no, there. No, you're generally they're equal opportunity. Yeah, so I go up to Silas. I don't have to be women. And I pull out a piece of paper from Blobbert because I'm assuming I can just kind of reach into him and pull it out. You can. He's literally like. Okay. That's the gold that that you gave me for? No, 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 no. The piece of paper that you were holding. Oh. So I reach into Blobbert and I pull out the piece of paper. (laughs) And I ask, is this yours? To who? Luigi or? No, to Silas. The hooded figure in the back. Jeez. I'm playing a song this whole game and I know it. <laughs> okay. So with that, the hooded figure, he kind of like, he slips the hood off of him and he is a human. Right? Um, his staff is sort of kind of, you know if you're sitting down, your staff would kind of peek out your own. They're big, right? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of peeking out there. And he sort of looks at you and he's just like... I usually try to keep my staff from peeking out of my room. <laughs> do you? <laughs> do you do? Um, so, but he like looks at you and he's just like, where did you find that? Right. In the Lesser Market. Uh, yeah, we were wandering market. around yeah. looking yeah. for cheese mm-hmm. and came across their this poster. You were looking for cheese, you say? Yeah, so are you... Um, 
What is a person called that's like a food kind of like connoisseur? Food there connoisseur. we go, connoisseur. So are you connoisseurs? No, we just travel with a little mouse. Oh. And it needs a lot of cheese. Oh. Cheese has a, or the mouse has a certain aptitude for lactose. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Um, no, he, he, he has toes. <laughs> <laughs> he just, again, he just kind of looks at you like, because you're talking wild. <laughs> like, no one ever expects you to say anything, but they're super confused. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, has, he has like little <laughs> cloth feet. They, they're toes there, though. They're kind of like little, they're like uh, pants. Wait, so, like a, a rat or like a bat? No, it's smaller. It's, it's a mouse. A mouse? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, would you say that you and your mouse friend are um, the adventuring sort? Or? Oh, we are definitely the adventuring sort. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, he rip, he's, he's got his toothpick in his belt. He, he fights with it. Huzzah! <laughs> I read the a toothpick. Toothpick. See, see? Very deadly mouse. Yeah, it's very, it's worked. <laughs> and like, you are, it reminds me of like the tail of Death's Furrow. Like, you yeah, that exactly. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Except it was like so, a so, so Reap, like, yes. Reap like goes on his, on his haunches. Yeah. So Reap, Reap like goes on his haunches and like draws the toothpick with his like mm -hmm. his forepaw. And like he's very dexterous with it. Like yeah. surprisingly so. <laughs> he's up here like like a professional sword fighter. Yeah, almost like Zoro, you know. That's like, normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well that is certainly interesting. If you don't mind me asking, where exactly this mouse, where do his loyalties lie? With us. Oh. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's my first friend. <laughs> first I met him in the basement of the Temple of Saluna. <laughs> oh my god, I'll never get used to the voice. So with that, he kind of looks around at you all, and he's definitely a bit suspicious, right? But he's desperate. You know, he's been searching for a while for a suitable group of adventurers. Um, and as he kind of looks around, he looks at you and he's just like, I've been sent by Prince Andrew. That's the prince's name. <laughs> That's there to yourself. The highest noble in the rock world. To locate a group of individuals for a very important task, we've gotten wind of a very precarious item that is of interest to us. It is also of the utmost importance that we are able to obtain this item before another does that also seeks its power. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Me. Up. Oh. Yep. Okay. We can do it, but we gotta ask our captain first. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes raise. <laughs> You're, where were they before on the floor? <laughs> you gotta pick your eyes up. And they no, my eyes raised. He was he was eyeballing that staff. Did we no. get the location? There's three forty five. No, that that's where it's been. Okay, okay, I haven't looked in like two hours. So. I, I look at Silas. Okay. Prince Andrew, you say? Andrew. Andrew. Andrew, Andrew you say? I can tell you what's from me. Uh, it's it's about where you put the embosses. I know his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Prince so Andrew sorry. only has sons. <laughs> Plot twist. I'm sorry, you're not mistaken. <laughs> Prince Andrew, uh, he only had sons. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> In the book. <laughs> I haven't even read it. <laughs> I, this is the only one I've read. I'll look at just being contrary. Like this sad I look away in shambles because I have been deceived. <laughs> You're never gonna find your one true love. Oh, what if what if she was a man? There's nothing wrong with it. Anyway, um, so so your group they are skilled in mm -hmm. very the adventuring realm. Do tell um. Did you ever hear of the slave uprising and fall of the Mind Flayer Empire? No, tell me. No, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> I thought not. It's not a story you would hear about on a pirate ship. Can I roll a knowledge history for this? <laughs> sure. Just because I'm curious. A two senses. <laughs> Six senses. Two. Okay, okay. He looks at you and he's just like, wait. <laughs> it's long since become a legend among the Astral Sea. 
The Mind Flayers were a species so powerful and so wise, they could use the power of the Elder Brain to take over the universe. They became so powerful, the only thing they were afraid of was losing that power, which eventually, of course, they did. Unfortunately, the very people that they enslaved, the Githyanki, you go on. All right. <laughs> We're watching and waiting for an opportunity to opportunity to strike. The Gith Yankee rebelled and overthrew the Mind Flayers overnight, while many were asleep. Ironic. They could take over empires, but not control the slaves. <laughs> they took <laughs> them over with with Hydro. This brain is the only responsible one in the party. Fact. <laughs> so, um, and you tell Rin normally plays a paladin. <laughs> he kind of he kind of takes a pause. Like Kristen normally plays a palette. Right. <laughs> so he kind of takes a pause and looks around to see if this kind of spooks any of you or like if any of you are kind of interested about this. And about what? What were you spooked about? Yeah, Brother Vlobert's like <laughs> like on the edge of his seat. Like he loves the story. Vlobert's like way into it. So what, 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 what am I spooked by? That was literally the Count Dooku like monologue. From the prequels when he's talking to Anakin. Okay, anyway. Right. <laughs> Except changed words. Okay, so you are just gonna say nothing or. Goose, you're fine, Bubba. Let us let us finish up the tavern, then you can poop, furry one. He's already pooped. Yeah, you know, Goose. Okay, so. The Dole. big problem was that the Mind Flayers, they were lied on the... Because they were stuffing I, I, think, I think they stepped on <laughs> she te- it's like She'll tell them all. She's like, stop. They were lied on the Get the Yankee to create an attached spell jamming helms for them. And when the Great Uprising happened, the Mind Flayers were left with no way to create new spell jamming ships. Um, this proves to be quite an issue. Um, did you, any of you read the lore thing after them? Okay, okay. So the Mind Flayers, they're, huh. um, they're constantly seeking power. Hold they're on. almost like Icarus. Like they flew Did you see Stranger stuff. Things? It looks a bit nothing of like Stranger I used it on purpose because of Stranger Things. But they look Mind nothing. Mind Flayers are the thingy in Stranger Things. But they look nothing no, like But imagine that. Now, I will say, me. I've been reading up on the lore, and what they did with Vecna is impeccable yeah. as far as lore goes. Like, yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. But the mind flare at random word. Mm-hmm. Absolutely no meaning. Um, <laughs> like when he s- looks nothing like. Okay. Anyway, um, so without the ability to transverse space, they will not be able to regain their empire. So, like, they get the Yankee overthrew them, right? They want to retake over their territory. But if they don't know how to make ships, they can't do that. Um, so, kind of look around at you all again, trying to see if I spook you all at all. No, I'm, I, I'm spooked. But I have a stone. I convince him that I am. I am not spooked. I convince him that I'm not. So you're just in the back and you're just going. I use you my, gotta stop mid lit because he's looking at you. I use my charisma to convince him that I am not spooked. Okay. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Blobbert's like on the edge of a scene still. Yeah. Like he's like he's itching like <laughs> this really is the close. Best story like, ever he's, he's like <laughs> almost wanting to be sitting like in Silas's lap. <laughs> Can you imagine just a wall? Like he just sort of melts into the floor. <laughs> so about the post. Prince Andrew has very specific interest in this item. Deep within Spindle Cavern, on the edge of the planet Hekatha, it is rumored that a cubic gate, I forgot to get an item from back there, I'll get it later, um, <laughs> that a cubic gate crafted by none other than Ace Rack himself. You want it, read the lore? We have a key! I put so many Stranger Things references. <laughs> Ace Rack was um, the commander of Vecna's armies. Mm-hmm. Um, he now resides in a, pretty much like a tomb, kind of floating in astral space, and he just likes to draw people and say, like, he hides in it, and he just wants to see you go crazy trying to get to him. Okay! Himself has long been tucked away. This gate allows any user that knows the magical password to teleport to a location keyed on each of his six sides. So I don't know about a password, but we did find this golden key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
One of those sides is connected to the last library of Cormandir. Lost Library of Cormandir. <laughs> Lost Library of Cormandir. Portlandia? Cormandia. Portlandia? Portlandia? <laughs> the Lost Library of Cormandia. Okay. Is it Cormandia or Cormandia? C O. C O R M A N T H Y R. Cormandia. T H. Cormandia. One of those sides is connected to the Lost Library of Cormandia, an ancient library that contains so much knowledge. It was hidden away to protect people from using it for evil, and that's actual lore. Um, it is not technically in the astral realm, but it's on on the material plane. But it is a library that has every bit of knowledge you could ever imagine. Hmm. <clears throat> so he looks around once again. He's trying to see if you all are scared by this because he really wants to make sure you're right for the job. I'm not scared. I'm still stone faced. Longest one. There's long. crisscross applesauce <laughs> on the floor, like. <laughs> Longest one of all. He's the one hands, shot. This hands, is the whole plot. I'm trying to like, like break it up a little bit. <laughs> inside, <laughs> eating popcorn. Eating inside popcorn. I am withered away, but <laughs> on my face, I am just, I am just stone faced. So as I not mentioned at all. before, the great mind flayer Quan Kut. Quan Kut has been sent from his hive because mind flayers they actually it's like the hive brain. That's the only thing they got right in Stranger Things. Um. Typically, you won't find them alone, but he has been sent specifically to find this item. Has been sent from his hive to obtain this item. With the ability to transport to the lost library of Clement. Here. <laughs> We're going to have to take a break after the tavern for the dogs. <laughs> the dogs are getting restless. They are uh, attacking each other. Will, they'll, oh, they're playing. Hey, they're real. We'll be able to gain knowledge to once again create spell jamming ships, allowing them to slowly regain their lost empire. This is obviously not. <laughs> Kyrie! <laughs> this is obviously not only a risk to the Prince of the Rock of Brawl, but also to the entire Astral Sea. Just are growling in the background. That's that's behind a locked door behind the bar. We're not sure that's, if that's the, key... the That's the Thrykeen are getting, getting into a fight over. They think one of them stole that's six gold from the other. The Thrykeen the thri- think that someone, someone stole that's their what stuff. They sound like they're blaming each other. The keys going. Yeah, right? <laughs> Been in correspondence with Large Luigi because the holders actually came from the planet of Hikata. Um, about the terrain and lay- layout of Hikata, in an attempt to find secret passage into this cavern where the cubic gate is hidden, um, he notified me that bands of pirates and individuals with the tools to acquire things often pass through. Prince Andrew is willing to offer. I know his daughter. <laughs> no, you don't. No, no. Two thousand gold up front Ooh. to pay a party willing to attempt this task. Will that give a ship? No. Three thousand gold repairs at five thousand is new. Oh. Upon returning the cube to Castle Starhaven, he will provide another three thousand gold. That will get our ship. Yeah, that will get our ship. This is more than enough money to purchase a home for Spell Jamming. <laughs> um, a royal ship has already been parked on the far edge of the docks for this drop. Hey! <laughs> With a single word, I can remove the magical spell that binds it to the land and allow your party to make way to the casa. What do you say? Yes. What a- <laughs> That was the longest we'll do it. That was like a two-page monologue I wrote for this Silas dude. I was like, damn, Mandy. Okay. Our answer is just. Our yes. answer is. Yeah. You don't care as long as you get money for your ship. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. So it has a magic spell that he's going to. The ship so that no one can, can we steal just, it. Oh. Could, could we just make yeah. the ship in the. No, it is pound, bound by a powerful magic that a yeah. wizard of the shit. highest level could cast. Um, so well, shit. Oh, so this is a dangerous task? Yes, which is why it pays so well. We might die? Sure. Maybe before you have. Sounds awesome! <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, Bubbert. I will I sing the song eye. of our dance. <laughs> God, it's splashed in my eye. <laughs> that literally splashed. It is that. really on your face. This is so cool. Can I, we should totally do this. Eyes. We should totally we do it. We are going to do this. We're, We're going, going to do it. It's, it's okay. Fine. We are yes. going to go do it. Yes. What dock number is the ship docked at? <clears throat> so with that silence... Um, we didn't write down the dock number, did you? I wrote down everything. I like I like BS the beginning, the middle, I wrote way too much. 
So Silas, with that, he kind of looks around at the party, right? And after a quick nod, he instructs you all to follow him. So after wow. slipping in and out of the booths there at the Happy Beholder, you arrive at the dry docks to see a ship. This is why I need this oriented. Can you imagine me moving this if it wasn't oriented to me? It would be a hot mess express. That's it. Okay. So after slipping in and out of the booths, <laughs> you arrive at the arrive at the dry docks to see a ship bearing the royal symbol, which is a majestic glittering sun on the mast of the ship. Um, the ship is parked on the furthest edge near the dry dock, and it has a very clear, kind of like, I don't know, like a glow to it. Like, you know how, like, glow in the dark stuff, like you turn on? It's yeah, it's like the that, one that's glowing. Yeah. But it's, yeah, 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 sort of like shiny. The symbol on the mast. Um, so Silas, with that, he looks at everyone, he says, everyone stand back for a moment. Um, he whispers, and he raises his right hand from underneath his cloak, and he mutters in celestial, Quihuo. Which means? Which means? Does you? anyone speak celestial? I actually do. Does anyone speak celestial? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm an angel. Does anyone so. speak elf? <laughs> um, no. So not an elf. Good. And he's 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 he says the magic words now in Elvish because the entire party knows celestial. I didn't know. That is actually a celestial word. So in celestial. I mean, I, I, I speak celestial. We you all do? speak celestial. It's the word for celestial. So the ship kind of, like, the glimmer, it, like, slowly starts to disappear Simmer from the <laughs> Simmer down. How many people here speak Celestial? I'm checking, but I'm pretty sure I took Celestial. Everyone here speaks, do you speak Celestial? I speak Celestial, no, Common bad. Giant. Thank God this isn't <laughs> Common and Giant. Okay. Oh, yeah, I definitely speak Celestial in Common. I Beautiful. Well, wow. That's what, that's what I'm glad I use more than one language. <laughs> Really good to do, I so. broke the whole thing. Um, so um, you watch as the purple shimmer around the ship. It slowly fades away and it begins so. to... Oh, the mask kind of begins to rustle, right? <laughs> I don't know Jimmy. what's funnier. As soon as we get on the ship, we're taking a break for the dogs. Huh? You are about... Depending on what you do on this ship, you're about two-thirds of the way through the campaign. Holy okay. cow. I aim for two to four hours. We're doing so, good. Depending on, if you, if you roleplay on the ship for two hours, though, that's on you all. I'm doing a great job. This right now is pacing about how I thought it would. Um, um, so the ship should be ready for your adventure now, says Silas. Now for a Do you have enough food on board? We do have a, a person who likes yes. to the feed royal, themselves and wait. The royal, who is that? You just, <laughs> he's so confused. This has become your character's fork now. He's, go, he's quiet, he just eats everything. But right? it works, because you're sneaky to your But you're tiny, And that's how too. cats are, like, they want to eat hey, everything. You like, bought that cheese, plastic, didn't you? You name it. did buy the cheese. You steal the cheese from me? It really <laughs> does <laughs> work for the tobacco. Oh, God. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. And you know all my secrets. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Party foul. Party foul. Dungeon Master Fire. If only the the wording inside this were <laughs> correct, it wouldn't have fallen. Okay, so now for yeah, a yeah. few last important, get your pencils out, things. He says that. <laughs> this ship has a tracker implanted into it, so don't get any wise ideas about stealing it. I don't, I, I never would Does think Does it fly that. itself? Yes, so the way spell jamming helms work is somebody actually has to roll and attune themselves to the helm. And it's going to be really important here in just a second. Um, and basically, while they're attuned to the helm, if they remove themselves, the, sh the ship stops flying. Okay. While they are in that position, if they actually fail to make a, um, I think it's a wisdom throw. I'll have to look. A wisdom saving throw. They actually become, like, possessed by the helm. And the helm controls them. And they just kind of sit there like they're in this weird <laughs> trance and they're happy, but really they're starving to death because they can't move. So... Whoever has the highest wisdom probably wants to Yeah, who that. has the highest wisdom? Do you have <laughs> I'm pretty, I want to look it up. I'm pretty sure it's wisdom. I am the captain now. Like, yeah, I'll have to look. It's in this book. I am 12 I'm wisdom. The captain now. So, the ship has wisdom. a tracker implanted. The Cuban gate you seek is guarded by a powerful magic. In order to remove it from its pedestal, you will need to mutter a code. Was it in celestial? It is. <laughs> <laughs> the magic celestial phrases. Do you want me to spell this? Yes. Okay. Hool. H W O O L. Space. Ithop. E T H O P. Space. 
Ooh, two O's. So, who eat the pool? Who eat the pool? I <laughs> who eat the pool? Who eat the pool? Who? And that means um, for we are un <laughs> Open sesame. Open sesame. Okay. It's a show. Since you all literally <laughs> what are the chances everyone picks celestial? Um. Okay. In um, our defense, I am <laughs> celestial. True. Well, I figured you would have it, and I gave it to you on purpose because I didn't know if like I don't know. I gave it to you because I knew I needed it. I learned it from my. I own. didn't know you two would have it. <laughs> I, I figured it made sense for a cleric. Probably. That's just funny. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're in you're in space, right? Like celestial, like powerful beings. So astral plane. Yeah. One of the cool things about like this spelljammer, area, there's literally all these crazy. Celestial's like, celestial is practically common in, in the it astral It really plane. is. Like there's dead gods floating around, and like some species build like towns on top of them. Like it's yeah. the weirdest place. Um. We are uncertain if the mind players know this code, but be sure to keep it secret and keep it safe. Do the mind players speak celestial? They, they can. Do. They can. They can flow your mind. Yeah, they, they don't need to speak your language. Uh, yeah. They so they have to. like. They basically live in a hive, and they have an elder brand. It's like shared knowledge among them. Yeah. yeah. So they can pretty much speak any language. <laughs> hey guys, we are literally about to take a potty break. Please stop. <laughs> Look at her, please. Okay. <laughs> And go. last but not least, after obtaining the gate, simply picture Castle Stormhaven in your mind's eye, and the ship will direct you to the royal dock where our guards will eagerly await your arrival. Do you have a picture of what it looks like? To no, so the way spell damage ships work is you actually don't steer them. So you actually just literally picture in your head where you want to go, and the ship takes you there. She, okay, okay, okay. Um, any other questions before I see you off? We need a break. <laughs> no. Okay. With that, I bid you farewell. All right, we're gonna take a break because I have three dogs. And they have me. And we're back. Hello. We swapped. Whoa! There we go. Hello. Those are not accurate. I just love the digital maps. Like, what's not accurate? Because this is seriously a ten dollar piece of plexiglass for the one. Where people are. That's it. Killed. Oh right. yeah, we had to change seats because I needed to charge my phone. Oh, sorry, we messed it up. Just kidding. Now I am Ren. Now you get to be Blobber. Let's hear your Blobber voice. I need your Blobber voice, Kristen. <laughs> That's a choke on juice. Are we on the same <coughs> ship? Hi, my name's Blobber. Oh gosh. This ship looks suspiciously the same. <laughs> the same as the one we were just on. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, so this is actually called a hammerhead ship. It's um, one of the most common types of ships that you see in the astral sea. Hence the name hammerhead. There's a big bow. Yeah. There's a big bow, and it looks like a hammerhead. Shocker, right? Okay. Okay, so, who is, let me look this up real quick, so I'm pretty sure it's Winston, but don't quote me on it. Who is going to attempt to captain this ship? I think Blobbert, right? Blobbert! First man I think Blobbert has the best chance mm -hmm. of succeeding. There's so many kinds of ships, this is nuts. The ships, the ships, we're so down the ships. We're gonna get like, what is it, DC error? Can you see something? Uh, because I'm afraid if we make Little C in charge of the ship, then he'll just go catatonic. <laughs> catatonic? <laughs> like, he'll just start... <laughs> I need more than two hands to roll the ship. How does he know Because I'm just going to play right? with my loot all day. <laughs> you should have your own rations on your sheet, too. You should have rations on your sheet. Rations on your sheet. I have rations on my sheet. I don't think I put those on the Oh. I figured it was a soldier, I'd be prepared. Are we doing rations? Inventory? Mm hmm. If you bought an adventurer's pack, it has rations in it. I don't have that. We just. Whoa, okay, I was gonna percent. say, we just lost stream and it came back. And we're back. Hello. And we're back. Hello, all four viewers. <laughs> we're back. 
playing D&D as four nerdy people just trying mm-hmm. to play mm-hmm. D&D. Mm-hmm. You are two-thirds of the way through unless you, like, role play for ten years on this show. Which, let's be two honest, might happen. <laughs> okay, um... Can I get a what-what in the chat? <laughs> Are there any brewers in the chat? Any brewers in the chat? And make some mead? <laughs> I think you still have it in your bag. Technically, you never sold it. No, we did not. Mm, okay, so I can't find what it was. Damn. So I'm just going to roll with that it's wisdom because it probably is. Your brother brew? The huh? ship? Yeah. Didn't you say it was intelligence before? I got no, some, uh, intelligence, sorry, yeah. I got some... Uh, that's history investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might brew beer in the, in the closet. Oh, it's like very hit or miss, though. Because he had to add the... um, What is it? The fu- the fizzy. Carbonation. Yes. Carbonation. Some of them have way too much. Some of them have none. So I don't know if he didn't mix it right, but it's very hit or miss. How long does it last? Beer? Yeah. About a year. Been, I mean, okay, okay, we're good. Okay. You, can say, you can try it if you want. It's, so how, it's how an option. So who was to try to captain the ship? I think Blobber is going to. Why would that once you start being the captain of the ship, the ship will not sail um, unless you leave the helm. If you fail, at the helm? yeah, Let's you have helm. to be sitting at the helm no matter what happens. Um, if you fail to take over the helm of the ship, the helm of the ship will take over you. So, you will be rolling Perch. for intelligence. So, are you sure that's how you want to proceed? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Hurrah. On the table. <laughs> On the table, please. What is it called? Cock? Let's, let's, like, actually roll it. Let's, like, actually roll it. Let's actually Sorry. roll it. So, you know, it's like 16. 16. Okay. Okay. Intel. With zero modifier. So, you no. don't have any <laughs> intelligence either? You have no intelligence. <laughs> so, you're literally just a blob. Like, chilling. So, Blubber sits down. I have down average the, intelligence Blubber. for a PC in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> what is your intelligence score? Fifteen. Why didn't we have you roll it? Because he's, because he's quiet. He's quiet. Would you like to describe um, yourself sitting down at the helm of the ship? Um. So. When you don't sit, you, you blend through the chair. <laughs> you just fall. He technically is, can. Is the helm like? Is there a seat at the? Helm? It's literally like a seat. So kind of imagine like Game of Thrones. It's like the Iron Throne, except it's shaped like whatever the helm is made of. And you sit there and you have to like concentrate. And the ship will go wherever your mind directs it to go. Okay, so. Blobbert sits down on the seat and kind of leans forward like this. And goes, Ruth, it's our number one. Who's <laughs> number one? Who's number one? And just imagines the, the ship moving. Okay, okay, okay. So as you sit down, so typically whenever you're the captain of a spelljammer ship, it kind of feels like, you know, when your arms fall asleep, it's like pins or needles, right? Um, so it's sort of like that. Now, something important to know Robert there, does not know how that feels like. True, but the rest <laughs> of them might. So, he does not have nerves. Um, <laughs> True. You officially do not know how to feel. One <laughs> really weird thing about the Astral Sea is that there's actually air in it, okay? So while you're in the Astral Sea, you actually do not age. You do not feel hunger, um, which is... You only feel hunger if you enter a, um, like a planet, right? So you're just eating for gluttony. Time to see. Yeah. Right. But if your ship docks on a planet, like all of a sudden you feel the effects from however long you've been out in the Astral Sea. So typically you still want to eat and consume as normal. You just don't feel the effects until you dock on a material plane planet. Do okay. you need to eat to sustain your life? Probably. I think so. I, I don't think there's something special about that for plasmoids. There's really not. Mm, but but plasmoids don't like don't eat like a a normal like, like a humanoid. Like, they just absorb things. Is they're 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 like an ooze, like yeah, like, like a like a black pudding or something. Mm-hmm. Like just it kind of basically just envelops whatever. Did we it's, buy potions? No, we didn't because they were 50 gold. <laughs> they were 50 gold each. Yeah. According to the player's handbook. They're rough. Well, so They're had, if, if only someone had 150. Goose, <laughs> you were just outside. He wants to go play. Always. Oh, nice. Okay. My white face. So, Blobber, he sits down at the helm. He, um, normally you would get a pins and needles sensation, but really his, his like, blob <laughs> form just kind of. You know how, like, like, if you shake a bowl of water, how it just kind of. That's what he looks like. His skin looks like it's kind of vibrating, 
But he doesn't really feel anything. He feels normal because he's a blob. What's what's the castle? I'm sorry, I, I stepped away from the table and didn't think how the dog was right when you told us the castle. Oh, the Castle Stormhaven is where Stormhaven. Prince Andrew lives, and you're heading to the planet Hakatha. Okay. So you have to imagine the planet Hakatha. Mm-hmm. You have to plan- <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um. Imagine Castle party- Stormhaven. Yeah, well, not yet. No, I'm. I'm you don't have Blobbert's to. imagining Hakatha. Yeah, yeah. Where's Where's the helm? Uh, helm's like up the here. helm is yeah helm's back here. somewhere. We'll say at the front of the ship, right? You got to see where you're going. Mm-hmm. So kind of like maybe like right there, because that's like a build. There you go. That's okay. where the captain was. Yeah, there's not an actual seat. Yeah, roughly there. Okay. So the party, you take off on a royal hammerhead ship that has been provided to you by Silas, and you begin to make the night-long journey to the planet of Hakatha. Now, <laughs> it's literally like a movie, Treasure Planet. It's kind of like the whole vibe. <laughs> so you're, like, you're sitting there, right? You've got like your weird creatures floating around. Just floating there the once was seat. um. From Alistair. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, what is everyone doing aboard the ship? Were you first doing? mate duties. Okay. You were doing first mate duties. Um, so, I'm generally just kind of looking around, making sure everything's organized where it was. You're kind of really trying to see even what's on this ship, right? It was loaned to you. Um, what are you doing? Sleeping. Of course. Like a cat. <laughs> where, where are you sleeping at? Curl up at someone's feet. Probably. How about you, Loki? I am doing the best rendition of uh, of um, Cashmere by Led Zeppelin ever played. All right, let's hear it. Ever played. Let's, on hear, it. let's, let's hear it. Let's hear your let's rendition. Hear it. Plus two for the whole party if you sing at least half the song. Oh, you give us bardic inspiration? Mm-hmm. He doesn't know what that is. He doesn't know he has spells, Greg. I made his character. Bard, he, he made himself a bard. I don't know the bards. Die the ships, drive the ships <laughs> to new land. Anyway, in the, about a quarter of the way, it gets the same. And everyone just sort of looks away because his loot is slightly out of tune, and you're just kind of like, ooh, we should tell him, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's a very good bard. I'm he's not. Out. He's aspiring. Bl- he's is- you out. haven't <laughs> heard this before. You think it. You think this is the best thing you've ever heard? <laughs> okay, so um, no, we definitely know that. See, it's Bye. not very good. So about halfway through your journey, over the horizon, you see. Um, I realize it's an immigrant song there, right? Now. It is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I'm still yeah. checking. Think, oh yeah. Think about it now. I realize it is an immigrant song. <laughs> So, I, I was like, I thought, I was like, wait, said dun, 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 dun. So you begin to make out the appearance, yeah, you'll have to move it. It gets really small. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, I know, I know, this is the smallest map I have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm insecure about my map. <laughs> um, you begin to make out another ship on the horizon. So um, it kind of emerges from an asteroid field located over to your right. Its sleek frame is painted in a very strange shade of pink, and it's designed to really resemble an immense squid. So Starlight, if you all would have read the lore, you'd know that the squid ships were by the Mind Flayers. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I, so Blobber imagines <laughs> steering the ship away from the Mind Flayer ship. Doesn't matter because this ship is so much faster than you. It has all these tentacles. Just Right, it's floating towards you. So starlight reflects off the ship's hull, illuminating two turret-mounted ballistas, which are rotating slowly towards your ship. The re- attacking ship is old; you can tell it's been used a lot before, but it's still reliable. And it's a squid ship crewed by none other than the vampires. So the ludicrous spoon. The vampires. So that means what? we need to take our we need to take our positions for battle, right? I mean, it's up to you. Well, well yeah, we're being attacked yeah, by vampires. Faster than us. Place these on the other ship. Where do you think they would be? <laughs> vampires? No. 
So their ships will be faster than ours, right? It is. Those space pirates look like vampires. But they're coming to they attack us. They must be vampires. Us. So like, do we think they're gonna circle back and just keep attacking oh, us? Oh, they're gonna chase you. Okay. Because they've gotten wind that you might be up for something they're interested in. Or so something. we have to attack them. I mean, unless you just want to get shot down and float it's away into outer space. Good thing we didn't take space. that two thousand gold. <laughs> we did. Oh, Debbie. Yeah. We got 2,000 gold to start. It was exceptionally yeah. took the two. And then you get 3,000 if you return the cubic gate. So that we can fix our ship. So, or, fix or buy a new spell gem account. Mm-hmm. They literally cost 5,000 gold. I know that sounds obnoxious, but that's literally what they cost. <laughs> so. I think we should attack them. Well, yeah, we're well, going to Well, of course we're going to attack them. So we got to man our positions. Now, so bar, man the crossbow. Something we need mm-hmm. to kind of note about the spell jamming encounters is that there are multiple pages describing the ships in this book that I hold. Mm-hmm. There are half a page describing combat. Okay, so what I will say is what it describes is that you have to use ranged attacks only because you're not next to the ship. Shoot. Right? Unless you manage to take the ship down by reducing its HP mm. and you can then kind of overthrow it, so to say. <coughs> hey, Kai Kai! That's probably our <coughs> Come here, my treats. Bro's <laughs> like, I don't want him. Goose is like, I don't want him. I haven't seen anything pop up on the rain yet. It's a regular bark. Sean was still mowing her yard. Oh no. It took it was an hour and a half between like. There's the nobody parks. outside. <laughs> hey, guy guy. They have seen the shadow. Kai. You can't say Kyrie so much. Kai. Kai. And Mur. Kai, Mur, and Goose. He can't say Goose. Anyway, so yeah, so. Anyway, take your positions for what you would like to do. You cannot outrun this ship. It will shoot you down if you do not fight. Shoot! So I'm going to man the... I don't have any ranged attacks. That. You do have ranged attacks. They're in your spell list. He doesn't know what spells are. <laughs> Someone help him. Okay, so look at your spells and see he which one... He doesn't know one... what bardic inspiration is. Okay. That's fine. We'll work on it. So That's look good. for things that look like they do damage. Uh. What's your third level spell? Charm person. That's definitely not what you... Well, you could, because then <laughs> the vampires can attack the other vampires. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you charm a person, you control them. Yep. And we have a charm token. We do. Disguise self. I have disguise self. You don't need to do that. Okay. I, need I have... I have vicious yeah, mockery. So dumb. They, like, outline all these details. Like, there's pages, like... This is one of the biggest complaints about Spelljammer, is there's pages and pages about the different types of ships. Mm-hmm. Almost nothing about combat between ships. So this is what I am making up. So, so you know. Not gonna help. What's the next one? Charm person. Use the third level spell. Cast. Not yeah. right this second, Daniel. Sorry. This ship does have its own stats. <laughs> they, they gave stats for the ship, but that's about it. <laughs> Now, like I said, something important to note, since this is a very unique element, is that you can technically attack the ship and overthrow it. Okay, cool. Worth noting. Or you can use ranged attacks to attack the crewmates and seek the ship. Okay, or so... Let it drift off into space. So, since we're going to have a couple seconds to, like, prepare, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I am wise in the ways of combat, because I'm a previous soldier, <laughs> so I'm going to claim that the little intelligence that I have works for this. The negative one. I yes. saw that yesterday, and I was like, oh. Honey. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to call this more wisdom than intelligence. Because this is like, I've been there before. I know I've seen shit. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go with it. So, I mean, as pirates, you would have seen a lot of ships just at combat. Yeah, right? Yeah, you would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, charm, charm one of them. Do I need, Do we need to run for dexterity? No, um, like this not, I don't even know you what you doing. You mean no, initiative? No, no. Initiative. <laughs> no, not yet. So one more. I'm assuming we can use the weapons on board the ship. You can. There are actually, um, so you are commandeering. Does anyone even want coaching? Commandeering. Whatever. You said commandeering. Well, it's sort of the same, but not really. So you say we got a hammerhead ship. Yeah. Yeah, hammerhead ship. So Maybe here's, yeah. here's the crappy part. Because you you're going to have to stay focused up. on steering the ship. I'll just, like, bookmark both of these. Or you can I look think it up. You have do access to these books. Like it doesn't like it doesn't like do no. anything if I'm not steering it. it doesn't like. If you the leave ball. the ship, it just stops riding. Right, exactly. And if you roll below a ten, it takes over your mind. Right. So you technically take that risk every time you leave and come back. Right. Um. 
Yeah, there are attacks that your ship as a whole can do, but you have to be steering it in order to have that. So here's this, if y'all want to look at so it. So you have to be steering your it. Your hammerhead ship, so you, you need to be doing the hammerhead ship attacks. So now. you can't... This is where I don't think weird. I'm doing the... the You're the one at the helm. But like the people that are... You can leave the helm and just the stop where you are, or you can use... You the can, ballistas would be the one that would do it. Mm-hmm. I, I would be doing like the blunt ram thing, potentially. See, that's where it gets weird. They put so much effort into the different types of ships and the layouts, but, like, the... That's, like, the biggest complaint about... Yeah, hate, even 30 years ago, people hated the... I hate that it's one action to load, one action to yep. aim, and one action to so fire. So it's literally... It's, it's what? three rounds Do you ever play time. Monster Hunter? Like, the arena quest? You know no. how you have to, like, carry the cannonball, and then... Huh, that's a whole action. Like, you have to load your... You can also use spells and bows. So you don't have to use any of this stuff on the ship. I don't have a bow. Doesn't Blubber have a crossbow? He does. He does. But he have to leave the ship home. But someone else Shoot. can drive. And, he can drive again. He gets so, someone, someone else can see that I'm that, that Blubber is wearing it and take it if they want. So. <laughs> I don't have any long range attacks. Yeah, I know. So what we're going to do is the three of us are going to man the ballista. Okay. And that way we, every round we can make an attack. Yep, but you have to spin around with it. Blobbert, yes. Blobbert okay. is going to turn the ship to face it directly so towards the So everyone ship. go ahead and roll initiative, and then I'll consider that when um, your first turn will obviously be, you know, loading whatever you're standing at. So everyone go ahead and stand where they'd like to stand. So we can do one of two things. We can either man the individual weapons and take three rounds each to attack, or we can attack once each round by alternating... Okay, I guess we're just going to split up. That's fine. No, no let's, do, let's do it together. You should always split party, especially on a boat. Weird. <laughs> what? Oh, no, you're fine. This is a me problem. DMD Beyond, like, glitched out. I have to add the vampires back in, but that takes five seconds. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go I'm going to assume they fully stocked the the ship with all the ammo to protect oh, it. Oh, yeah, this is the Royal Guard. They right, have, like, like, we have mm, everything we would need. Freaking everything you could ever want off of those two pages in that book. <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought. I wrote an eight. Oh, all hands, battle stations! <laughs> Prepare for that's, impact! Oh, I know. I couldn't add the vampires until Spelljammer released, so I created the encounter, but never. Anyway, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can run the encounter now. <laughs> okay, so. Reading the Everyone, roll initiative! My right, initiative was a seven. I got an eight. Okay. Mine was a 17. Rin is it? Whoa! So you were an eight, 16. Loki. 16, Brother Blobber. What was. You were 16? 16. Okay, we'll see. 17. 17. Okay, let... I know how it was negative 9. If I click and don't click off and I try to scroll, it scrolls to the number. Mm -hmm. You were what? 17. Okay, so you have to literally type and then click off or else you scroll through numbers. That's how you were negative 9. Peanut donated $10 for the children. Peanut! Oh, oh, oh well, thank you! <laughs> Do you want us to open a card pack before we dive into this battle? Because I'm still setting up initiative. That was yeah. seven minutes ago. For the children. Oh my god. So here's the thing. We can't hear you because we are not tabletop. I stream capture card. This is a weird experience for me. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Um, do you care what pack? We have Pokemon. I'm yelling because the can't. I'm like there. We have Pokemon Go, Shining Fates, Astral Radiance. Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, and Evolving Skies. Your favorite. Pick your favorite. Okay, go. Uh, the one we haven't opened. Your favorite. Which one have we not opened? I don't yet? know. There's like, we haven't hardly My opened. My favorite? Evolving Skies. I'm going to pick Astral because. Go we for. are in the Astral yeah. Plane. Ooh. Well, that's a new yeah. set. We haven't hardly opened. Then let's do it. Because we collect these. We, we collect them. We just don't play them. I can't right. get into a tabletop game that changes its rules every month because then you're constantly just dishing out money to re, you know. I like this because I can buy it, but then I have I'll it forever. Pokemon TCG. Sounds perfect. I make a deck and, it's, you know. Let's do it. Sounds perfect. Yay. Yay. This one's for Penelope. That is the cutest name. Okay. Go, go, go. Wait, is it four for the card trick? Yes. Okay. Ooh, we did it right. Energy. Do we have it on the map? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. There are tricks. Tricking shoes. You're saying. Ursaring. Ursaring. Swind up. Quill fish. 
Petalily. Petalo. Nick it. P E T I L I L. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Switch card and Red Rock. We've kind of like one good pack. Some. We, we haven't. Any packs we have left, we're going to save for November. So it's like. Yeah. Thank you, Peanut. Thank you so much, Peanut. Seriously, I'm sorry it took us so long, but like I said, we are super distracted. Really <laughs> we don't like, have any sound either. No, we don't. Because um, so someone we, didn't bring any speakers. We yeah. have on. We have speakers, but it's hooked up to a huge subwoofer that we did not want to move she to. Told the not, she told me if not. She told me not. If you put those headphones on, they are cranked to the max, but we still can't hear anything really. The only Thank you. I really had is a beat. Oh. <laughs> so now oh. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so I'm seriously so sorry, and I have my phone here. I guess it was when I was out with the dogs, or maybe I was just ignoring it. I can, I get texts when people donate because it's hooked up, but okay. So. We rolled in a ship. Are the did you put the vampires where you think they would be standing? Sure, you're, you're I like think, a yeah. noob, so that's why yeah. I let you pick. Okay, you spaced them out pretty. That was harsh. I mean, he is. He has no clue what's happening. You don't gotta, you don't gotta call him out like Are that. Are you having fun? Or are you just confused? You don't need to noob shit. Both. A little bit of both. Fun. He's I'm like sitting here. Fun. I'm having fun. I'm sitting here having fun. Sitting here having fun. Sitting here having fun. Sitting here having fun. He literally Bring doesn't it. even know what D&D is. Like, this is his... We're, like, taking his, like, RPG, like, version of the Like, okay. Yeah, he's played RPGs before. There I mean, go. yeah, in a video game. That's it. It's okay, so... So, do we have the full 400 HP on, on our ship? Is yeah. That, is that what I'm mm-hmm. Cool. Now, you don't have to attack the ship at all. You can attack the vampires, and... Yeah, I think I our best bet is... I am... I am... Pay attention to the encounters I sent you. This was the trivial encounter. It can either be deadly AF or it can be a breeze. So I would be very careful. I I, I wasn't trying to mitigate. I, I mean, I gave you a hint though. It was there for the taking. But I intentionally have not been trying to mitigate. Oh, no, no, you no. could have. Don't <laughs> <laughs> okay. do that. No, you don't need. I mean, you don't need meta pigeons. Here. I gave you, I gave you like a chance. Okay. So, we all good. Is everyone standing? Now, you might have to give me that book back when I look at our yeah. ship. Cause yeah. Because, do you see how much effort they put into the ships? Yeah. And then like, they describe the ship-to-ship combat. I'm not kidding you. If you they just back, did nothing for the ship-to-ship combat. No. So, pretty much, it tells you how to arm the different things. It takes, like, a turn, what it does. And from there, they don't even have the ships in the encounter builder. <laughs> so, I have to actually keep track. I'll just do it on the board. You just, you just build it as, like, a... Yeah, like I mean, I have the stats just, written down, but, like, I have to keep dropping that manually. It's so dumb. But you can HP also just HP kill HP. the vampires and ignore the ship. You don't have to do any of that. If you want to make my life easy, but you won't. <laughs> so, okay, uh, so, we good? We ready? Yeah, okay. I think so. So, first up, we have vampire it. So, I am going to number these, uh, I don't know, A, B, C, D, okay? That's how they're rolling. No, we'll number them A, B, C, D. Sure. Yeah. So, are we, are we like... Are we still like a distance away? Or are we actually like? Oh, how you we are like it has right shelled. Like what you see it is right next to you. And so you might be trying to. Have you left? The are we within sixty no, I'm feet? No, the helm. Okay, so you might be trying to get around it, but your hammerhead ship it is nothing. So this squid ship, um, like do y'all ever see anything from Baldur's Deep, like the movie? So it's literally like the big, like squid ship. Like they are fast, right? Um. It's floating wherever you float. You can't get away. You are this close to the ship. Right. Okay. So, it's your turn. <laughs> yep. So, first up, we have Vampire... I wish I had a way to work. Which one? Is a, B, C, D. Okay. Okay. I know. It gets weird. We okay. got, we got So, you. Vampire at C. Oh. <laughs> well, good. Good thing you switch on. <laughs> it gets so weird. The I just figured it would be back. easier if, if there was every other. Okay. Yeah. So it is, the vampires, um, they are quite literally vampire pirates, okay? <laughs> they have spells that they can use. Um, so Vampire C is going to... Thanks, Peanut. Standing. We got this. We got it. It yeah, is going to this. use its attack called Energy Drain. And it is going to aim that at Blobbert since he is still sitting... Come on, Blobbert! ...the helm. <laughs> These dice. Every time I rolled when it didn't count, it was above 15. I... Three? Three. Three. It's a three, chat. So, the vampire, <laughs> it kind of looks at you, but it just kind of goes, it just kind of bares its teeth. That's all it's really got to it. Your it, blood doesn't it, seem. <laughs> Do you have blood? You have no blood, so it's not you interesting. You have no blood. <laughs> okay, so next up we 
have Vampire D, which is going to be boop, this little guy here standing next to the, um, sorry y'all, I got to flip the squid ship. It's standing next to the, how do you pronounce this, Balliste? Ballista. Ballista? Ballista. Okay, yeah. English is hard. Um, so anyway, it's standing there, and it's going to take its moment to load that Ballista. Stop it. Huh? Assassin's Creed. I played Assassin's Creed 3, which is arguably the worst Assassin's Creed game. Black Flag. Why do you look so sad, Wait, No, it was the it's one with Connor and the Revolutionary War. Black Flag's the best. I typically hate pirate games, which is kind of funny considering I'm playing a space pirate game. <laughs> okay, um, so I will hand this back to you all. So next up we have Lil C. So Lil C, you are oh, standing we'll next have to, to a ballista. We'll just have to figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, yeah, you just you need this because otherwise you will have no clue what these weapons do. That's yeah. why I'm passing it. Okay. Um, so you are up. So you are standing next to a. What do we want to call it? Catapult? Ballista? I don't know. He's probably it kind of. It's a mean, catapult. Is it a catapult? Yeah. It's like a catapult. So what would you call that? It's probably this thing. McGonagall. Mm -hmm. Manganel. McGonagall. I'm thinking Harry Potter. McGonagall. Manganel. So um, it takes two actions to load it. Shoot. So would you like to load that, or would you? Do you have a ranged attack? I don't have a ranged attack, so let's load it. I guess you're loading it. So. Kind of keep in the back of your head. It's going to take two turns for you. I'm assuming it probably does a crap ton of damage once you fire. No, it really does not. Are you oh. kidding me? What? No. So five d ten. Hey, you also have movement. You can move. Well. Is there something on man? Yeah. Can, can, really. can we aim that at one of the vampires or so is it just a ship? Any That's magic users should yeah. probably fire magic. Any non should probably leave the weapons for, you know. Yeah, okay. you should probably f learn your magic there, Daniel. You should probably Sorry. learn your magic, Daniel. Hey. And by that I mean charm the vampires. Yeah, you could like possess it to like do whatever it wants. Yeah, you could possess it and have it start attacking the other vampires. Right, do you need more punch? Do you need more punch? No, yeah, my punch is Ooh. over there. It's do being you need held more hostage. Though? We good? I have some in there. It's just the okay, okay. I'm just making sure before I the bridge. It's not being held hostage. So, the, <laughs> so it's basically useless. What? No! Okay. I mean... No, it's just gonna take a while. Do that it's 5d10. 5d10 is a lot. But what else could I do, when you though? consider that the ship has 400 plus points of damage... Yeah. You don't have to attack the ship. You're right, we can attack the vampires if you can't If you do to a vampire, it would do a lot of damage. Can we see the vampires through the ship? Oh, yeah, you're... Look yeah, you're on the deck. You are. You're yeah. like no, no, no. next to each other in the ocean. So like, I can hit oh. it? I can hit it? The vampire? <laughs> the kind of, well, you can, but you're loading it right now. You have to take two turns to You have to take two it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. okay. So this is the first turn. Mark it down. You're taking you, your first turn. First turn, it's good to note that you you get two attacks per action, but you can also use action surge once per long rest. I know. Short rest? You want your first back? Long rest. I still have it. No, I don't want that thing. Can you keep that thing away from me? This thing's been rolling high ever since I So does that mean I can actually load it and... You could once. Aim it. Yes. And the like same special turn? Yeah, once, once per okay. This one hasn't rolled low yet. Which one? This one. Oh, it's two actions the to load, two That's actions to aim, and one hits. action to fire. They brought yeah. crap that one's dice. trained. Yeah, that, that one's, one's trained. trained very that well. Trained trained well. Yeah, it says it's a crew of five. My dice so are we're supposed to be trained. using it together. Right, we're three of us. That way we can do it every turn. Oh, yeah. However, I mean, so the so the is, is, is three, three. Takes three people. So, so if three of the non, yeah. if the non-casters, there's two non-casters technically. But you're a so I'm gonna have to help Daniel. And you're a spell <laughs> which is fine. I can help. Do you Daniel. know how spells work? No, I don't know how spells well, work. I can help Daniel okay. cast the spells. So the two of us Did need to be at spells? the same weapon. Alternating turns to fire it. So who who needs to be at the same weapon? Me and the rogue. Lucy has technically well, taken his turn. Yeah, yeah, that but we have sands on this one. Yes. Okay. I will allow that. Okay, so we're was... loading the one that only takes three mm -hmm. rounds, which okay. will do three D ten, but we should be able to fire it a lot more often. Because mm -hmm. then it's not five so turns. Like that is like even thirty years ago, this was the biggest complaint about Spelljammer. They spent so much time in lore in the universe. And so little time in ship to ship combat. It is very much up to your discretion. I still like it though. It's very goofy. Wait, like they have so giant how many times space do I have to hold that? So this one we're gonna alternate. Yeah. So what it'll be is on every other turn we'll be able to aim it because like you've loaded it, 
I'm going to aim it, and then the next time you'll just be able to fire it. it. You're going to And so then we'll alternate where I'll load it, you'll aim it, I'll fire it. So we should be able to go back and forth like that, which is why we need to both be on here. It is a 5D10, you said? That one does 3D10. That's... So if we're Bit aiming, advice, that's still pretty good for your situation. Here. Yeah. So if we're aiming it at one of the vampires, that's three d ten to each of one of the vampires. But that way we can at least attack every other turn. Question. Daniel's gonna charm one of them. What vampire is at the helm? There's no vampire at the helm. Um. Mm, oh God, you have to. Okay. Okay. We're gonna be like that. So vampire A is technically situated <laughs> where the helm of the ship would be. Roughly. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so but remember, you can. Daniel leave the is helm. on the other end of the ship. But remember, you can leave the helm that just sits where it is in space. <laughs> Which is fine because if they we leave if we charm him and then I'm we not, go I'm away, charm you could probably get so that's vampire A just for Kay. reference. See, so, I wish you would let me nickname these because it just says vampire A, B, C, D, and it's really confusing during like couch or our group, but it's still better than paper by a long shot. Okay, so, so roll and everything what that. we need to do then is you've already taken your turn, so who's next? It's Bobert. Right. Yes, we are at, um, yeah. Brother Blobber, have you left the helm, or are you still there? Blobber. Negative. Uh, Brother Blobber is still flying the ship. <laughs> okay, then he does not get a turn. Because um, if he leaves that, you can leave the helm and park the ship. But I, when you re-roll, you can technically so, possess So Blobber wants to continue to fly the ship. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he wants to steer the ship in order to try to crash it into the enemy oh, ship. Shit. Read that second, Greg. So there is actually <laughs> one ram. You can literally just. I know so, you, you can crash the ships, but I don't know what damage it does. It does a lot. It's <laughs> yeah. 16 d10. Okay, but what do we have to roll to see if it hits? So it's a melee <laughs> weapon attack. I literally feel like plus, that's a pretty ship. With a plus 8 to hit. So it's I have to be up, like double my movement speed, I'm guessing. Probably. So I, I move 35 feet per round. Mm-hmm. So if I if I do like a, a double move to like ram the ship, see it's very indiscreet, so, isn't it? So no, like I'm, I'm just I, I think I'm pretty sure that's that's what yeah, I. There's think. also like in the front here, like before you get to the ship descriptions, there's also like a whole section on like. Crew, sh- ship to ship combat initiative, moving, steering, boarding, crashing. That's probably what we that's need. What we need. I literally flipped through the section. That's a Ours is a gargantuan <laughs> ship. Mm-hmm. Yours is a hammerhead ship. Um, oh, what, what class size is that, though? It'll tell you. Yeah, I think we're gargantuan. Uh-huh. I mean, gargantuan is a size category. Gar- it's Gargantuan is for, like, You're probably gargantuan. Creatures. Yeah, overall, like, compared to a creature, you probably are. Right. We'll go it's, with that. It's a gargantuan or a mid- immovable creature, but this is also ship to ship. Uh-huh. Um... The, th- the thing that I'm questioning is if, because what I was thinking of would be like a double move, which I guess I guess a ship can't really dash. So not really. But what do you? So want to we'll do? just say we'll just say I move. I try to move it like. Because you technically feet. get a movement and an action. So if you wanted to like move it and take an action. Well, I'm just, well a ship can't really dash. Is not what really. I'm saying. So yeah. like it's gonna move the thirty five feet. Yeah, it'll regardless. Move. So. So it's basically the ship is only going. to to get its action, which is pretty much yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move it in such a way that it's like I'm trying to move it closer to the ship, and then if if we can move it closer to the ship in such a way that it would hit the ship, mm-hmm. then I would make my attack roll. Does that make sense? Okay. Um. So what are we gonna roll? So maybe? like, maybe so like, like, so like this is ten feet yeah. from each other. You're so like, really if I'm close. Just going, yes. I'm just going. You're just gonna steer. Yeah. So side. we'll say. Like I, I can try to like hit this section here, maybe. Yeah, okay. Hit the tail, All tail right. end. All right. I'll, I'll roll an attack roll for that. Yeah, that I would roll an attack roll. Yeah, that's one. That's the problem. That is the biggest thing people hate. Is is like, how do you handle ship ship combat? It's not good enough. So we're gonna roll Seventeen. So that's gonna be eight. a twenty-five. Oh shit! I would say, considering I set the automatic DC at fifteen, I would say yeah, that hits. Okay. <laughs> So it's 16 D10. Mm-hmm. Now the squid ship, um, it does have 300 HP, which normally I wouldn't tell you, but since this is weird, I will tell you that. We also have the book. I could look it up. So that's a... The ship has a lot of HP. Yeah, it you does. can also look it up in the book. So that's 21. Jeez. There are actually, 
they're releasing a um because you've all talked about like virtual campaigns. They're releasing like a new um, twenty five. It's like a dragon Lord campaign in December. I'm really excited to try that because this this one so spell hammer is so different. Eighteen. So that'll be that's at forty six and eighteen. That's fifty four. Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm sorry, we have 364. 64. Yep. 64. Okay, so with that, you steer the ship a very, you know, very, very sharp to the right, and you kind of jut into the, um, the AWS end of the squid ship there, and it definitely takes a hit. You can kind of see all the vampires kind of go, oh, like they're knocked off their balance so a bit. And our ship takes half the damage and stops moving. Yes. Yes. What HP do you have? 400 starting up. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so okay. Yeah, this is this is the only thing. It was just like, oh god. Also, apparently, we can use the mending spell once per hour to deal one d eight of healing. And you do have a cleric, but he's doing the ship. Yeah, I'm aware. So we'll just switch who's doing. <laughs> yeah, who's driving the ship? You can, but you'll have to roll the intelligence ten, and it can. That's fine. Yeah. We'll I'm, I'm going to start the ship so moving again. I, since yeah. there's only about 10 feet away, I'm going to keep it moving. Just yeah. a little okay. Bit. And we so, can keep it to where the, the well, the, the weapons swivel, so we should be okay to keep using the weapons mm -hmm. as you steer. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. So next up, though, we have Vampire at B, which is the one standing right here. So he is going to attempt to cast Energy Drain once again at Blobber because he wants your ship to stop moving. Hmm. Not real good. Once. Which is helpful. When, when, you wait, yeah, when yeah. I get to the final Stop. boss, I'm gonna roll a net twenty. Right you watch. I rolled. I'm not even. Another three. Another three. Another three. So he's looking at Blobber, and he's just so amazed at the fact that literally a ooze is commanding <laughs> the ship that he just sort of stands there and all. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have Vampire A, <laughs> who is technically commandeering. Commander, whatever this Commander. ship, this ship of English, it, um, and he is now you know how I, how I read things in my head. Where I read who makes you feel better? The armor class for the squid ship is fifteen. Oh, that's the natural. These yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, he is just really just going to kind of like keep it steady. So he's not going to crash into the ship because he just took a lot of damage from um, you know the crash that. Blobbert gave, so he's really just going to kind of keep it steady there. So that's really his whole turn. Next up, we have Loki. So I'm going. Someone to teach Loki to use spells. Okay, so <laughs> you need to charm your person. Mm -hmm. So you're still. Let, let, let me see. Because sometimes it just tells you what the spell does. It does. So you're going to attempt to charm a humanoid. You can you can see within range. Vampires are humanoids. You may use a Wisdom saving throw. And it does so with advantage. If you or your companions are fighting it, it, if it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by you until the spell ends or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. The charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. When the spell ends, the creature knows it and was charmed by you. So, so at higher levels, when you cast the spell above level two, you can target one additional creature for each you level so above many first. A day. So <laughs> you can target two of them with mm -hmm. one spell slot. The creature must be within Spells 30 aren't feet. replenished until you take a long rest. Which, which we should be able to do before we... Technically, if you remember to do it, <laughs> we'll, yes. we'll be able to remember. Because you are on an overnight journey. Yeah, which is fine. Blobber will be the only one who doesn't get to rest. But again, we can always <laughs> switch off. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting here like, what am I doing? Okay, so no, really, what you need to do is you need to anything. roll. Well, you can. You're going to fire here mm -hmm. in a couple turns. No, so you need to roll a d20, I think. Or are you just going to cast? Is Charm just one that you'd Greg? Is Charm just one you just cast? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it a cantrip? No, it's a, it's a third level is spell. Is it a V? Charm, v, VSM? Is third is level? There's, a term, there's a third level version of it, I think. I think it's a He's yeah. going to cast mm -hmm. the third level so mm -hmm. you can do two of them at once. Okay. okay. Okay, it'll just take it more. Um, so it's a 14 thoughts. save. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're just going to cast Charmed on these two. You want to cast Charmed on those two? Yes. And you don't have to roll anything, I don't think. Mandy rolls. Mandy rolls, not you. Yeah. You just cast so, it. So you said it's a 14 save. save. Mm -hmm. What are you casting on? Vampires, which... A and B. Okay, okay, so I'm rolling for A now. It is a... <laughs> so he's I Charmed. Have... It is a, give me a new d20. <laughs> Already you don't want me to take it. No, we don't want you to take it. <laughs> okay. no. Yeah, take the other I'll purple. keep rolling dino dice. No, this one's been rolling, though. 
I'm not even kidding. It was a four to five. Good. So they're both <laughs> charmed, meaning yes. you can now you have have them attack the other two vampires. So how are they both charmed? How do I know that? Because you cast a spell. Because you just cast because a spell. Because I rolled film. a fifth or a five and a four, which yeah is really bad. And so you need to go back to your spell list and click that you've used it, which so should be up. You have yeah, so many spell, spell slots a day. Yeah. And your spell slots, they're check marks, right? Mm -hmm. I specifically made this an overnight journey, which she caught on to. Um, and so that we can use our spells and we can regenerate for mm -hmm. everyone. You can take a short rest or a long rest. Now, yeah. keep in mind, you couldn't take a long rest if you were in the middle of, like, a goblin lair. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> what? You know, but if you're on a ship and you defeat these people and you're on an overnight journey, sure, you could sleep yeah. while the ship is steered. Because remember, you just have to think where the ship is going and you're good. So you could dream where, where the ship is going. Mm-hmm. They're not poisoned. Oh, the charmed ones are. I'm seeing everyone but charmed. Like I have looked. <laughs> I know what's in there. Kristen put them up there corner now. I did not. Oh, I thought uh, you did. But I kind of knew where yeah, they were. Yeah, just keep them. So, in order to attack them, what will they have to do again? I have no idea. What so uh, that means that they just now so, become so people as long as we fighting don't, us. As long as we don't damage them, mm -hmm. they're they're like friendly to. Us. Oh no! Meaning that we've now turned those vampires against each other. Vampires. What? Nothing. They're, are they immune Continue. to charm? Continue. <laughs> are they immune to charm? They were immune to charm. Okay. Well, oh. Well. <laughs> oh no! Oh well. Okay. Well, no, we no. wouldn't have known that. They're, yeah, we they're wouldn't immune have to that. charm, exhaustion, and poison. Oh. Well, we tried to charm them. <laughs> I guess I'm shooting the get I guess you're coming over here. I'm like and... the innocent being that wants you to do good. So I was like, oh my god. Well, we wouldn't know that. It, like, condition immunity is charmed. Because so you're going to use all of your movement speed to get to the other side of the ship. Mm -hmm. All of your remaining movement and your bonus action. Never mind, I didn't use charm. No, you did you still use it. Oh, you it. did. It just sucked. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Except know. we have red hazel weather. <laughs> Oh, so now it's my turn? Well, yes, my turn. Oh, so I'm going to just take my action to... What, does the catapult do more damage? Aim. Well, it does, but it's going to take longer to it load. It takes more Yeah, but if you use two load. people slowing while I'm on shoot. Then you have to do two more it takes two, to aim it. Two and then it's another action. action. Well, the next action is two actions done. to aim and then one action You to want fall. to help with the catapult. But since three of us are on it now... The next Three one. Three on the cat. No, so we want to. Yeah, so what we really want to use is the ballista because we can use it once yeah, every every round. Yeah. The balliste. Balliste. Yeah, balliste. <laughs> whatever it is. It's like a. It's the crossbow. Like move. It's the fancy crossbow. Yeah. So, I'm gonna use my action, to aim it, and then I'm gonna use my once per day bonus action. Ooh, you're not gonna save it for the boss. Shoot it. Why? We're gonna rest. Well, it'll be. True. The after. I'm hoping you don't. So you said it's an overnight journey. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take action surge, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use one extra, and I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. So then I need to what? roll. So I'm gonna shoot the vamp. This vampire. Okay. Do your actions. Gotcha. 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 So go ahead and um, roll. There for the, um, whatever for the, the damage. Yep. Oh, right there. Well, the roll to see if you exceed so, the AC. So, you can use a bonus. So, it's, like, it's like a short bonus. Growthy, what? You can do. See, it gets... I got a 19. 19 you so, get it, doesn't yeah. matter. Yep, okay, you get it. So, so, technically for me, that'd be a crit. You can use a bonus action. I don't know how that works. Do you get a plus one for... I no, I, I wouldn't even need a plus because I got a 19. So, for me, if I'm doing... Again, that's the question. If I'm doing it, does it go based off of... My crit. Yeah, because you're doing it. You're so action. I'm doing it, so it's my action, so yes. then that's a crit. Yes. So it'll double the damage. It will. So I need to know how much damage, and then I have to double it. <laughs> the ballista? This is why yeah. I have physical and digital books. I look at you as I spend way too much money on you. The ballista does 3d10. <laughs> it's 3d10? Wow. I mean, four bucks each. I had to buy digital It's a plus physical. six to hit. But ballista. without physical, you wouldn't have had your I don't your need the plus stats. six. I crit. Okay, well. So, so close. Because Mandy's <laughs> making the determination that I. I am. So it was her attack, so yes, it would crit. Yeah. And honestly, I'm just yeah, having a really nice to you. <laughs> well, like, I think at this I point, want you to do these good. rules are silly, so we're going to have to do something. The ship rules, I'm telling you all, like, if you look at the forums on Beyond, the biggest complaint is that they I can still get did not fix I got, the I got, ship. Come. I, I hear FedEx. Yeah, I hear you. 
It's probably yeah, ours. How many do I need for the ballista? We're gonna scoot it. This is six. Okay. Was it really six? I thought it was five. It's it's three d ten for the ballista. Oh, then I only need three d ten. We're only doing we're only doing the. But you crit, so I give you six. Oh, okay. Unless you want to roll it once and then double it. Yeah. So we got. That's a ten. That's a ten. So we did twenty. Time out. I'm closing the front door. That is DM's action. Because they're going to bark like crazy. We're about to get barked. 10, 10. Okay. 6 and a 7. Yeah. That's 13. That's a 6. Was there FedEx out there? 7. I didn't so even look at it. Damage. Shut the door. So I did 30 damage to that no. vampire. Oh, no, sorry. 40. Or no, 40 damage 20. to that vampire. 40? To which one? D? To D. Okay. 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 2013. D? Okay, so with that, the vampire animal scene is like very stereotypical. And he falls down. Good. Okay, so this one is dead. Yeah, blah. 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 <laughs> You're not supposed to see, you cheater. <laughs> and then you don't know what's happening. I rolled above a 10. Play, praise the sun. Um, but was it high enough? It's still not good enough. Water is <laughs> AC is an AC. It's a 12, but it's. You didn't drain that dice good enough. I'm not kidding you. The first time I rolled above a 10 on this du- new dice set. Okay, hold on. I'm out. We're not dead yet. <laughs> so, so the vampire cat looks at you once again. He's just so amazed. At your gelatinous form. Gelatinous form. That he just kind of sits down. Man, I'm amazed at your gelatinous form. What number did they have to do? I've always been amazed at your gelatinous form. So for Greg, it would have been an 18. Oh. They're doing a. They're doing a. Oh, yours is 16, isn't it? They don't. Mine's a 16. Unless. Yeah, yours is like a. Yours is a 14. Did I show you these? They have like fall leaves. Like, look at them actually. They're so pretty. I know these are really pretty. You got these pretty dice. I do. That's gonna be pretty hard for the vampire to hit that. You know, it's not fall yet. These are still gonna roll like. I shit. am burning pumpkin spice if you cannot smell it. <laughs> okay, she's hoping. She's wishing. September 1, it's pumpkin in here, okay? I'm just a little excited. Unfortunately, all I hear is coffee, and that's pumpkin. I got one from Walmart the other day, like one of those pre made, like, um, latte pumpkin things from Starbucks. Mm-hmm. First pumpkin spice I've had this year. Good job. I was guys. trying to get started with trying to yeah. but the line Okay, was next like up so we have bad. Vampire D, which is not charmed. Did we not charm? They weren't charmed. No, they, were they charmed. can't They're be charmed. charmed. Okay. Vampire D's dead. Vampire yes. D is yeah. gone. <laughs> Zero. Okay. So next up we have little C. You all might have to help. So you're going to load. I'm going to load. You're going to load. Yeah. You're going to load. Then it's your turn. And I'll fire. Brother Blobbert. A Blobbert gets to go. He is still steering the ship as of now. I'm going to get you again. Yay! Go for it. Imagine He imagines ramming the ship once again. All right. Well, that misses. For an 11. (laughs) Nope. So you kind of, you try to steer the ship, but the ship... You're still picturing Hakoth in your mind, and it just kind of like it jets a little bit, but then it still steers in a certain direction. All right. Is it Loki? No, it is technically Vampire B. This is so much better than the physical keeping up. Like you mm-hmm. have no idea. <laughs> okay, so. So for all this, y'all had to write it down on paper. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And keep in like math, the HP and everything. And draw the maps by hand. Oh Say thank gosh. you. Draw thank it you, Mandy, for spending $150 on the D&D Beyond Materials Wait, that you, you bought. Would draw the maps? Yeah, people would hand draw all um, the maps. So what I do is, for anyone also watching, I, um, I go on Reddit, and people on Reddit are even bigger nerds than me. And they actually make these maps, and I steal them. I mean, I don't steal them, they're free. So shout out to the people on Reddit. Shout out to the people on Reddit. Leverage, you leverage. People on Reddit. I mean, they are good. Yeah. Like, these are, you know, like, it's nice. So, it was spell time until, you know, the spells apparently don't work because they're vampires. And for free. Yeah. I mean, you can also buy the official maps. The person that makes them actually sells them. Um, And when I... I plan to run a Strahd campaign after we finish our Fandover, like, intro thing, because Halloween's coming up, and pumpkins, um, vampires. 
and yeah. Um, you can buy like all the maps. That that campaign is huge. It has castles. You can buy the official map for like thirty bucks. So Critical Role, the yeah. the show we all keep talking Sandra, about, it has its own realm. He has or, his own world. Yes, that I'll he has created. Mm -hmm. They're on the Christmas list. Yeah. So Matt Mercer has created his entire Barbie. world that is now D and D officially sponsored. So everyone look that at it's Daniel. Like blessed off as lore. Everyone to look at Daniel and say he never knows what to buy me for Christmas. So look at him and say Mandy wants the two Alexandria books. Okay. Mandy wants the two Alexandria books. Did you hear Write that? it down. Is, is that Matthew Mercer? Is that his? Yes. yes. There is. Um, there's two books. So there's one about it's the his lore world. and the setting, and then there's mm. one about like the monsters and all that crap. There's yeah. two of them. I can. There's you a bestiary. You can get the minis too. I mean, yeah, they even have all the minis too mm -hmm. that are pre-painted mm -hmm. and stuff. Because I actually um, I paint minis. I do. I even shade them. Did y'all see that? Yeah, they look really great. Mm -hmm. I went to a Warhammer store a month ago, um, which we are also. We've ordered a set, and it's not here yet, but we're going to learn to play Warhammer. And the Dude, that's a commitment. That's like a 15-hour game. Depending on the point army you have, yes. Yeah. yeah. Hour I, we're going to play 2K points. So okay. it'll be like 2-4. to four. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can do like 10K yeah. point army. So a lot of people play Warhammer at game stores because they'll have a lot of... The, like, Warhammer is like you have to build the set, mm -hmm. and then you so guys play Warhammer. So each type of warrior is worth a certain amount of points. And you can, like, let's say the set limit is 2,000 points. So you will build your army and literally have terrain Wait, set up. Huh? These people stay up 15 hours to play this game. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the world of that's, nerds. That's Welcome nothing. to the world. He is very, like, he wa you watch anime, but he's never played, like, any tabletop. Like, well, I've never like, done actual board. Like, Watching anime yeah, doesn't make you a nerd. It just makes you a weeb. Do, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He is very much a weeb. It's okay, and, we're gonna make you into But a he nerd. is very new to any tabletop anything. We're, we're like, we're equal opportunity. Him today. We're, we're in all kinds of nerdy content. Yeah, we really are. Greg and I are nerds all over the place. Okay, so. Where were we? That's mine. That job. was Vampire. <laughs> vampire C. Vampire A. Is that who's next? Yes. A. <laughs> so, um. Where are So he's going to pull out his crossbow. I'm tired of aiming at Robert. So we're gonna aim at. Does anything happen like as far as your loading goes? If I hit one of you all, is that I don't think so. I think it's just the right. Probably not, because it takes so long. It'd be brutal. So I'm gonna aim at Loki, because I'm tired of singing. So um, and I'm married to him. So oh, we're going to roll. Oh, oh, we roll a fourteen. What's your AC? Thirteen. Oh, it hits oh. you. <laughs> It does two D eights. Help me, nerds. This one's the D eight. Okay, I literally have to count the size. I've been into this for a month. So it does two D eights of damage. Um, so we have five. So you got eight. into this since Comic Con. Yep. Plus, literally a month and a half. You all let the baby DM. What are you doing? <laughs> It's okay. Okay, you 10 damage. Yeah. You take 10 damage. Thank you. I've never even played a game. Thank you, man. I have Only another. You guys can visit us. You should type that in the chat. 10 damage. Take, Thank you, man. I have another. Huh? Never mind. Is it what? Never mind. I, he doesn't need it right now. <laughs> okay, so next up we have Loki. <laughs> yeah, so what are you going to do? You're going to aim it. I'm going to. No, we've already aimed. No, we loaded. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so you need to aim. <laughs> the, the aim. Ship I'm gonna aim. You're gonna aim it at which one? That's you don't roll the aim. aim. You just do it. <laughs> just roll to aim. Pre prepare to aim. I guess I probably I'm do have preparing. the best option just to go. shoot because when I'm, I crit, I'm I have aiming. A range for crit. Uh, I'm aiming at vampire C. We should aim at vampire A, maybe. I'm aiming at vampire A. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Did, what would you? Did you roll a d20? Or we don't have to roll for that. Oh, I'm aiming. Are you firing now? No, we're just aiming. Okay. So, sure. like, he loads it, doesn't do anything, it doesn't take an action, I don't, it doesn't say so that it takes load, aim, fire. Yeah, it's load, okay, aim, right. fire. Got you. Let's go. So, so you're next good. Next up we have... Rin. Okay, so I'm going to fire at Vampire A. Okay. Please hit it. it! You missed! Um, <laughs> I missed. Oh! We take so long! Is it a plus six to hit, Greg? Yes. Yeah, that's only a ten. To hit the vampire. So that doesn't work. So, I turns over. 
Next up is Vampire at Sea! Still Vampire at have I haven't loaded any of these because I just don't want to load it. Um, so he's once again going to pull out his crossbow and he is going to fire at. We're going to say Rim because she well, just. We know it's not going well, Peanuts. <laughs> Calm she, down. Yeah, no one's attacking anyone. It's going great. Brother <laughs> Wobbert has so done 60 something damage to their ship. And Rin, your AC is. Oh. It does not hit. 16. No, it does not. Captain so my Bobber, AC is my a 16. Vampire at You're D. Captain Bobber. Once again, we're going to whip out that crossbow. Yeah, my, my AC is a 16, so if it, it meets it, okay. Ooh, a 19 Vampire Ds, who is once again aiming at, we're going to say Ren, because I didn't say before. Okay. So, <laughs> that's definitely me. Yeah, so um, the crossbow, it does um, 2d8 plus um, 2. I just don't like the angelic figures. <laughs> they really don't. The wings throw them off, so... Three, five, eight, so once again, ten damage. You see my, my picture? <laughs> I made your picture. Okay, so. Yes, I've seen it. You're up. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. What's your job? I don't load. Okay. Load! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything No, we can't do anything else. This is all we've got. <laughs> what is I it? mean, I, don't, I got a potion, but I'm not using it unless somebody else Brother, on the you are up next. Captain. So, so, I, I missed on my on my last turn. I was trying to maneuver the ship into it. I, I missed, so I think I, I went kind of, I'm going to say either above it or below it. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to, like, just change the elevation, like, kick. So we'll, we'll say I went above it. Yeah. And I'm going to try to like, kick down and, like, yeah, slam yeah. Okay, down. Okay, go deck. ahead and roll with advantage, then. With advantage? Yeah, for Oh! Great I mean, you get double chance. It does. I should be cheering for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I want you to do. Good. Even the DM is on our side. <laughs> I'm really. I'm like. Twenty four. That's like I literally. Kept, I didn't want you to die. That was me during the Gauntlet campaign. Pandelver. Sixteen d ten. Pandelver is a fun campaign, but it is dangerous. You know they're actually um expanding it to where it's not just they want like a. Set intro thing, but an entire world Ooh, in 2030. Oh, I forgot to ask you that. Uh, you know when you tell that girl that you could 37. You know, like stuff you steal, can you give that to her? You can you give anything to anyone as an action. Well, you can't. No. Oh, mm. I'll call it a bonus action. It's really nice. I'm talking about this up. Oh, you're talking about okay. Game like when you still what? Sell what? Sell it. <laughs> you have to sell it to a thieves guild person in the um. The thieves. Yeah, you, you have to go to a special place. I completely place. lost track of what, okay, that, was what, what number did yeah. I say last? Oh, I was like, this is how it works in D and D. I was shook because we're like, we play ESL like almost every night. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, what? Hey, I finally got, finally got fifty. Always. Oh, wait, oh so you got um, you got champion points. Shit. Okay. I completely lost. Although the somebody I hated me as a tank. I told him. I told him that's too bad. Okay. Do you just need to re-roll it? I would re-roll it. Let's re-roll. We were all old. They were pretty good. You had advantage, too. It was like... It's 16. It was 16? 16 to no, hit. He hit. 16 it was a 24 to hit. I was trying, I was, I'm trying to do, like... I need to look at... For six, I'm just trying passes. to roll, like, four dice four times and just add them up. And I was it's adding weird. them up, and I, I lost I, track when of When I do that, because that's how the um, the go- goblins... Yeah, where I literally what opened it? my calculator, and I added... Look. Like, I literally added, 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 added. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, you forget. I just really think about Tank's so that's another 21. Huh? I think Tank's probably the hardest class. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'd agree. Yeah, because you have to know how to aggro the enemies and pull them into certain like situations. Well, uh, healer, you're kind of just watching. Uh, I play healer. It's like online. You get roasted if you don't know You get a bad healer, you're going to get roasted no matter what. No, I'm talking about like, tank. You're going to get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you got to have buffs. Your dragon and Argonian is the way to go for a tank, dude. I'm telling you. So that's 60, oh my 70... Goodness. You need to. So, uh, that's 77 the damage. Someone, to their ship. To their oh. ship. So we, uh, so we take half that? Yeah. Are we keeping track of how much damage? I, I am. Yes. But I um, don't like math. They're at 141 damage so far. So they're not quite half. Three. Four. Shoot! Are you at? So we're at 71 right now. Yeah. Sorry, I... You're fine. Ship combat is freaking I'm gonna, weird. It's, no, it's, it's just I, I didn't add it well. I, I need Train your dice stuff. more. Train it. Okay, next up we have Vampire Ruby. Mm, I should probably start 
charming stuff. Is he standing there or anything? Yeah. They're sending us the thing. So we're, we're, we're like, rooms. we're like kind of overlapping right now. Like, no, we're not talking about We're like on top of you. Let's fuck your face blood. Um, so they're going to take aim at, you're being way too quiet, so they're going to take aim at the tabaxi. <laughs> um, I guess you're being too quiet. Yeah, okay. you need to talk it's a little bit So they are going to, I can only use like two things, you all. Crossbow again. Um, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought, because I rolled an H. So he looks at you, and he's just like, didn't he have a cat? And he's just like, oh, I want to pet it. And that's the end of the You SC's in the playoffs right now? Yeah. That's crazy. That's they cool. suck so bad. The one season we don't keep up with them, it's like, what? So next up we have Vampire A. He's going to attack Loki. Because I decided, and he rolled five, so he misses. So next up we have Loki. What's your job? I'm going to load. You're going to aim. 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 No. <laughs> Vampire A. We've only done this twice. It's fine. We'll get there. Okay, that's why I only put one. I could have done it at the beginning, but I was like, nope, one's plenty. Ren, you are up. I'm gonna fire at Vampire A. Okay. Vampire A. Put that, put that dice in jail. Reference put Vampire that dice in jail. Why are we doing this? What? <laughs> Vampire A is spell damning the ship, steering it. Okay, so does that mean I get advantage because he's not doing anything? Uh, mm-hmm. Cause he like is Sure. <laughs> he is technically Oh sitting. well that's a sixteen. Oh okay. He is technically sitting there. So that's he's hits, literally right? concentrating on where we're going, yes. Oh uh, it does hit? It does hit. They're AC. So I need the the dice. The four or is it three D ten? You'll get yeah, to work. It's three D ten. Yep. Combat is drink. It's nine. Took nine points of damage. Vampire okay. A? Yeah, to Vampire A. Got it. I don't think there's anything to add to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next up we have Vampire C, who is... I'm just still not... They just want to kill you all, so we're going to use the energy drain or attempt to on... Um, I'm going to attack you. It's been like three turns. I'm going to try to shoot at Blobber. Yeah, leave me alone. And my cursed dice rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> we are going back to the dice block. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Are all my dice bad? Yes. You just. Okay, I'm gonna pull the dice. Out. It's because you didn't buy Chessex dice. Probably. What? Yeah, Chessex dice. Chessex. We have that back there. Chessex. Mm-hmm. Chessex. Okay. Yep. Not sponsored. These are from like, the dice. character. Not sponsored. Really play. They're like purple <laughs> and like hazy and sparkly gold. That I'll yep. never get to play. <laughs> Her dice to, are too pretty to roll well. You're going to have to get the extra life dice. I don't want to cut myself. Okay. Those um, are sharp. Creeps in darkness, aka we'll see. You were up. You're sure. No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Brother Blobbert. So, with with the ship, I'm like, I, I, lay, I dropped it down on, I dropped the hammer on, yeah. the, on the deck. You did? Like, I would like to kind of, You like, can technically transverse it now it. if you wanted to. I will add that. That is, is something you can do. You can transverse to the other ship. Yeah. Yeah, they could. Now that you have made contact in... So, like, I, I'm... Wait, I can get on it. Yeah, you can get on it. use your movement, you yes. So just imagine, because there should be grids. We're, we're basically, not, like... We're there like, is grids. Across we're over it. We're, yeah. like, perpendicular on yeah. top yeah. of Yeah, you were, like... Yeah. On top the front, or I guess so like the you, butt end. Yeah, you guys are like this looking straight. So, down. are we able to shoot? I know where I'm going. Are you going down there next? Okay. Yeah. He's like, mm. <laughs> So, I, I was going to try, like, Blobbert's thinking, like, he wants to, like, scrape the hammer across the deck of the ship to try to, like, hit. We are destroying this ship. We're destroying this. Yeah. This is why you should not let it lose dry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's going he's gonna to try to, like, r- he's going to try to run over the. <laughs> the vampires. With the, I don't know how you want to do it. So, with how the, with I the do random, it? I'm gonna make you want to smash the vampires with the ship. That's exactly how I'm right. going to do it. With, so with the, with they the, are going to make a um, athletic saving throw because they have to jump over the hill on the ship. Okay. Yeah. So I, I can only move it 35 feet per round. So, so where, where do you want to so start? So that means he's actually attacking the vampires and not the ship. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Well... Let's we'll say like you can get to. Yeah, we'll just say you can get to uh, Percy if you wanted to. 
And he has to make an athletic saving throw, so we're going to okay. roll with. Okay. You ready? Not cursed dice. Not cursed dice. <laughs> Rolled a 16. Okay. So, and that was a athletic saving throw. So, yeah, it's still just a... Ooh. So he kind of sees this coming. He jumps over the helm of the ship. So he's, he's jumping on... He's, he he's, he's on our ship now. Sure. Yep. He jumped there you down. go. You don't I even have to go over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't... Get, Space whoa. combat is weird. <laughs> well, you're still on the helm of our ship. Our right, ship but is I, just I'm, just, I'm just showing where like where our ship oh, is. Oh, okay. We're like the helm of our ship. Yeah, he's our ship. Okay, I, got I, it. I, but I that guy is on our ship. Yes, he is yeah, on, our ship. on top of our ship. Because he jumped yeah. onto our ship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. So, next up we have Vampire B. Bear with me, I'm sorry. I'm making things Ship work. combat is <laughs> jank. Like, that's what I'm not even trying Yo, to Yo, they've got a living ship? Yes. They have, so it's basically like an ant ingrained into the, like, ship. With it's, its roots. That's like, uh... Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, what, what was it? I can't think of the name of it now. There's, there's a... It's not Battlestar Galactica. It's... I can't remember. The other nerd thing. Uh. <laughs> so, we are going to... Vampire B is going to take aim at Loki with his crossbow, and he rolls a crap tin, because I am cursed today. Hey! So, next up we have Vampire A, who is, is just astounded that we have missed literally six times in a row. Amen who? And we roll a 19. <laughs> Thank God I finally hit something. Man, you oh, at you, Loki. Oh, with shoot. the crossbow. Farscape. Farscape. That's what so it. we are going to do two. You got a living ship, just like Farscape. Was it, does it take a turn to give somebody a potion? Five. It's usually nine, like 11 damage. Yeah, normally you can what? do this a bonus Let action. Me. Somebody help me. Loki, you are up. Loki. Thirteen. You're up. You can heal yourself. No. But does he know that? Do you no. have any healing spells? Can I? Is that count as an action? Yeah. Yes. Well, shit. We need to you, load the gun. Okay. Well, then load the gun. Okay. Aim. I need to aim the gun. You're right. You're aiming the. Good job. <laughs> you're aiming. <laughs> aim at A. Aim at A. Aim at A. Yeah. We're still trying to hit A. Okay. So. Where you all gonna get Vampire Day? He's steering the ship. He's steering the ship. Which like they can steer the ship. They can steer the ship. My turn. I'm gonna aim and fire. Well, I'm gonna fire because we've already aimed. Unless you say it does. That 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 needs to go to jail. Yeah, you missed. I need new D20s, Greg. You taking green? Yeah, let me down earlier. Nope. Okay. She took green. So we missed. She took green. We missed chat. again. <laughs> See if greens works better. We missed people. again. So I guess we're gonna fight this vampire that's on the ship now. So my turn is over. Okay. Right. Next up we have Vampire C, who pulls out his crossbow oh, and no. aims at Lil C because he has the name C in his name. Because I don't see reason in that. It's like this is rigged. Mm. <laughs> it's like seven turns. Six. I rolled a six. Uh, that is I, can't, I actually can't see those. I know you can't see them, but it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> real. I'm rolling that bad. I've used three different sets of dice. Are you using a tower? It is very rare. Oh, well, that is why you're rolling bad. You think? Oh, absolutely. Really? <coughs> yep. That was a nat 20. Well, then maybe not. Also was a, you also not weren't rolling for anything on that. Yeah. It's like when a rope Maybe is your curse, like, um, Will Wheaton. Maybe? I don't. Vampire. Oh, nope, he's dead. Okay, we'll see. I'm going to attack the. With what? The vampire. With, uh, the. Let's see. Actions. Your actions. Oh, it's an action. I'm going to attack with the short sword. On the vampire, the vampire that's on yeah. our ship. Yeah. Roll, baby. Actually, you just do this like. Oh, wow. Fourteen. What is your what's your plus to hit? It's plus seven. If it's already fourteen, 14. it's gonna 14. hit. Fourteen. Seven, seven plus okay. seven, so it's fourteen. Seven plus seven. Hits. 
So now you're going to roll for whatever attack. It'll tell you what dice to use. What is it? Is it 1d6? Is this one? Yeah, mm-hmm. plus 4. So seven, seven damage. Seven damage. Vampire C. Why does vampires roll for damage? Okay. Let's roll Brother Bobber. Okay, so hearing hearing Loki cry out, I need a hero. <laughs> Loki has a I need a hero wrong. to the end. That's uh, what's been going bro- wrong. You, you have been saying. Brother Robert is going to. I haven't rolled any. Right, that's the problem. <laughs> Brother Robert's gonna run up and say, "I got you, babe. I got you, babe." It's a and, sunny chair. And use a a second level uh, cure wound spell. Two d eight. On what? Uh, Loki. On Loki. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm no longer manning good. the helm. Good, just, good decision. You do. You took the helm from me. No. He been dri- I was on the hill been? the whole time. <laughs> He's been driving this whole time. So it's 2d8 plus... No, that's pretty much right. 2d8 plus 8. No, it is 2d8 plus 8. Ooh, that's good. Uh, 21 healing. 21, yay! Woo-wee! And then as a bonus action, <laughs> I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. At second level. Oh. The DM is gone, chat, so I will be... The DM, we are waiting on the DM. We are pausing shortly. So. <laughs> Withdrawal. Yeah, I agree, Peanut. Yeah, if only we could. Wonderwall. Wonderwall. She, the, the GM told us that we couldn't outrun the ship, though, so withdrawing is Yeah, the DM is making option. us fight them. Yeah. We, we, can't, we can't observe the oldest and noblest of pirate traditions, unfortunately. <laughs> withdrawal. Fight. Well, she did say Wonderwall, not withdrawal. Oh, Wonderwall. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I, I said th- maybe. I, I thought it said withdrawal. I'm gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, I got you, man. you're my wonder wall. Okay, so, so, so why do you heal you first? I, I gave 21 healing to Daniel. Oh, dang! That's good. Seven level cure wounds. Two okay. Eight percent, and I rolled pretty decent on it. So next time we have a vampire thing. And then as a bonus action, I was going to cast a uh, spirit weapon at second level. Okay. And have that. So, we were like right around here because we were attacking right. pirate. Right, right, right. Your helmet. So that's within like sixty on. feet of this pirate. It is definitely. And it's gonna. So I'll, I'm gonna make an attack at, at pirate B with my spirit weapon. Okay. That's an oh. at twenty. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So that is a critical. That's do a, you want to take her that's out? a twenty-seven to hit. But do you want to like? Do you want to figure out if she's in touch line? Is that her water? Yes! Hey guy! Come here! Come here, Kaka! Okay, yes, that was me! I was like, I can do it, but I'll have to like leave the helm of the doodle. Okay, so that is a crit So that's 2d8 plus 4. So that'll be 15 damage. Oh! To Ooh. the ship! To that person. Should be. Uh, be, yeah. Okay. Baby. Oh, baby. Okay. Alright, next up we have Vampire B, who is going to whip out his crossbow again and aim it at the person steering the ship who is brother. No longer steering the ship. You're not? No true. This is true. You just left the helm. Well, anyway, he misses with a miserable four because he's. What is it? Did someone like rig this? Okay. Vampire A, we're gonna try to shoot crossbow at Brother Blobbert again. Isn't Vampire A steering the helm, or are they not? You can, you, steering, steering the helm doesn't you take know? your movement or your action. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, cool. He can leave the helm, and since Blobbert has left the helm, he also will. So kind of. Damn. Tim, literally can't touch this. These vampires are like terrible. They're just like what? Ways that he isn't gonna no hit once. <laughs> they have hit one time. Well, not this time, <laughs> All these vampires have hit. They've hit twice. They hit twice. Like they're, they're, like, they're like shooting arrows and stuff at me, and I'm just like, 
I'm morphing my body around it. It's, it's like, or it's like, it'll like hit me, but it's like, I don't even need to drive I'm this thing anymore. This. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is very random. Like, I swear to God, I have hit. Is that bad? I've used three different sets of dice. That's why he's not driving anymore. They can even hit him stand the seal. <laughs> <laughs> so Loki is up, but he just took the dog to pee, so. Loki casts, I hold my turn. <laughs> he can do that. Just, that's what I would do. So I just hold his turn until whenever he comes back around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna just load the the crossbow. I think we're gonna start attacking. <laughs> Marley. I think a jump on now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Marley. Well, Jealous. I got it. I still. Jealous. Destroy that one. That's all she is. <laughs> 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 Mid fight. Going to stealth move. Poor puppies. Poor puppies. Wait on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir, Loki. It's your turn. I take aim at. <laughs> no, we're not. It's no, not loaded. It's not even loaded. We have decided we're just gonna go kill him. You're literally. Yeah. No, it is. It is loaded. You have a fire Yeah, I fired it. I oh, okay. You can use your movement. So he could load it if he wants to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want to load it. I mean, you could. You could also just walk on the ship and attack them. He's a good girl. 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 She thought that was straight. Oh! She's looking. <laughs> Marlon's super. Oh, that crazy. was caught in the mouth. <laughs> okay, that is. Goose is still standing there, like, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old, just hand it to me. I'm just old. Loki! Man, waiting for my potato chip. What would you like to do, Loki? So, what's going on? So, so we've decided to just start hitting so, the vampires. Yeah, your ship is kind of so we're like. Just kind of jump on. You can walk to the other ship now. We're, we're like. Yeah. We're like. The ship is kind of like there, right? I'm going to attack this vampire. With my additional notes. <laughs> I would hit him with my additional notes. Take this. <laughs> Dagger. He's going to hit the forbidden guard. Guitar notes. Dagger. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Who are you aiming at? My uh, that vampire. Okay. Miles, er, C. Vampire C. C. Got you. That is a uh, 14. 14 hits. Plus 5 is 19. It doesn't matter, it hits. So, so more damage. damage. 96. Okay. Yeah, Ninety-six damage? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Eight damage. Eight damage. Truly, these guys have truly been tough. Vampires are not to be messed with. Okay. She called this a trivial encounter. <laughs> yeah, trivial. Well, it is because it can. If I don't roll like S H I T, it can be very deadly. But I have literally hit twice. So, whose turn is it? Did you, did you get the eight damage? Rin. Yep. So I'm gonna go. Since they're taking care of that one, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna start attacking Vampire B. Mm-hmm. With my blade. Yep. You have advantage? I just get to roll twice. Oh. Goodness. She she can so fighters um, at level five they get a second attack mm. action. So if they make if they make an action to swing for an attack, they can do it twice okay. on that turn. I love the pencil being it's like this. Sh- <laughs> yeah. Works. So that's going to be a 19. Ooh, and the hits. other one is a 17. Both hit. So we get to roll 4d6. These two get to be re rolled. So that's. And then plus 6. Plus 6 is 23. So 23 damage to Vampire B. Point through things, Vampire B. So with that, Vampire B kind of looks at you and once again just goes, 
I think we're alone. Being now. close? Yes, because they only have ranged attacks. Oh, so I guess they're uh, they're rolling disadvantage. Rolling disadvantage now. Yes. So that's right. in our favor. So more. since it is right there next to we'll see, now. it's going to aim energy drain at him. Mm -hmm. Hit it once. So we have a four. This is already starting off great. And a ten. So it's a four, and it misses miserably. Because why wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. Next up, we have Lucy. Attacking the one on the ship. Uh, short sword. Okay, okay, okay. So go ahead and roll your d20. 20. Oh. Plus, 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 seven. plus seven. Plus seven. Okay, 19. that hits. So go ahead. Roll your d6. Oh, 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 good. That's probably four. good for the plus final counter. Four. It'll hit a nat 20. <laughs> so it's eight, eight. 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 Eight, two. Okay. So you take out your little, da is it a da your dagger? Or? Yeah, dagger. Okay. Short sword. Well, it's a short sword. But. Okay. And you kind of go... Boop, and you stab Vampire at C. And he's kind of like, oh, but he's still standing pretty good. They beefy. Um, unless you drive a ship and tame them. <laughs> okay. Brother Blobber, you are up next. I was trying to. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Um, Brother. So, Ren is taking a little bit of damage, so he's going to say, Wait, Ren, let me heal you. And touch her. I've only taken 10 points of damage. With a cure But he's wins. very concerned. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like what Cure wounds. It's a D8. Yes, because I am the cleric. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the cleric. That is also steering the ship, or was. That's 16 healings for you. Oh, thanks. I'm full. I'm back to full. Hey. Wow. That is my last level one spell for the day. Good thing this is an overnight journey. <laughs> Exactly. Vampire A is up, and um, Vampire A is, it's going to kind of, For my know, bonus action, I was going to see if I could move my go for it. spirit weapon. You, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I can do that, though. Because okay. it, it stays around for ten minutes, or for a minute, I mean, ten rounds. Yeah. On your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack really rounds. within five feet of it. Yeah, so. Especially on the ship. I don't know, this dude, like... One, two, three, four. Should've made it like two so I, I can't, I can't quite get it to that pirate, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the spirit weapon towards the pirate. Okay, so you're gonna ready it. It's, yeah, I mean, it's... It's, it's I, can only, I can only move aimed. it 20 feet. Yeah, it's per round. Okay, okay. So. Okay. So, Vampire A um, is going to kind of... Because I have that movie. Ooh, yeah, week 30. Okay. So, um, we're gonna kind of turn to Ren, like... And blob it like, what are you doing on my ship, right? So it has left the helm, and both ships are now kind of parked in astral space. <laughs> so Vampire A is going to take aim. The God, they're literally like all their attacks were ranged. That's why I picked. So them. he moved closer. Yeah. So he's at disadvantage. <laughs> I mean, he, he would. But to be fair, he, he wouldn't have gone melee range there, right? Like, oh no, he would have. Because I did. <laughs> Do. She's the damn. I don't know what to do. I'll just try to help you out. Um, so we're going to try to do energy drain at a distance 6. 11. So, yeah. Well, I'm a shocker. Six. Is anyone surprised? Okay, Loki. I'm going to attack. So, so what, what, what spells do you have? Let's teach you how to cast spells. What is these spells? So that you can do the things you're supposed what to be doing spell? as a bard. He's doing great things as a bard. Yeah, I'm attacking. You he's he's just a battle bard. <laughs> you bard against I'm a Goliath bard. To where they can yeah, add battle that bard. extra. <laughs> That's a thing. Battle bard is a thing. Yeah. I don't like casting spells. Then why are you a bard? <laughs> oh, you should you should cast you vicious see mockery. Google told him Loki would be a bard. Vicious mockery is a Loki. Great spell. By the way, would not be a bard. Whoever said that on Google is incorrect. Tell Google that. I still like your dice. Magic. Yeah, he's, he, he's also he's, he's very charismatic. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean Loki's a frost giant. So mm -hmm. why don't you cast vicious vicious star, mockery? Right, frost, frost giant. Vicious mockery. Yes. 
vicious mockery. So in, insult the vampire. Yeah, you can just insult the vampire. <laughs> you insult the vampire and you, and you get to roll 2d4 of damage if it doesn't make its saving throw. The what? What? It's Proceed. a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. So, so I get to roll what? So you you are you are casting vicious mockery. Casting and vicious then you mockery. Read it. Straight zero. She, she, for she was recommending you cast vicious mockery. Okay. I, I think that's straight a, that's a zero spell. for wisdom. Just so you know, rolled a fifteen. So this is your list. It's of a fourteen DC. Yeah, you so get four, it it. four level okay. one spells. So it resisted. Three level two spells. Barely so I don't resistant. know. Hold on. So go back to that one I had up. And two level three spells. The vicious mockery. So does that say that it saves for half or it saves for all of it? Usually it's saved for half. I think if it's a level one. If it's a cantrip, it's it's a save for no damage. Saving throw. Uh, it doesn't say. Doesn't say. So if it, really it doesn't, doesn't say, say, then it's usually saved for no. damage. Okay, well then, he, they saved, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, barely. I mean, But you barely cast died. it once, so I guess that's a cantrip. It's a cantrip, so, so you get it. Cantrip. So you can just use that as many easily. times as you want. Yep. Fine. Cantrip is like instant, okay? Okay. Not a slot. Okay. So next up we have... That way you have some variety. Ren! Yep, so I'm gonna... Why don't you cast a spell? Because I don't have spells. <laughs> yeah, cast a spell, fighter. I don't She's have gonna spells. cast the damage spell. I, I have the heal spell. She does hella damage again. So I'm going to yeah, fighter, smack fighter, that. Fighter, fighters get the second wind. And this That's is true. the second one. Oh, I, I crit on the second one. So the first one is a 14. 14 hit, hits. Hits. Okay, so that means we're rolling six of these. Let's have your sound. There you go. There it is. ASMR dice. Oh. And I get to re-roll any ones and twos. Because great weapon master. Mm-hmm. So we've got ten. And uh, another ten. Twenty-five plus six. Oh, so Vampire C looks at you and... This is Vampire A. Vampire oh, A. Vampire A. This way. Doesn't matter. So he kind of looks at you, and he's just sort of like, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> they all say bleh. And he is <clears throat> One vampire left. Finish him. <laughs> Finish him, Vampire C is up next. <laughs> he is really confused by the fact that there's a cat, so he's going to aim his crossbow at it. Um... Six. So it misses. No, because damage is a thing. So it misses, and next up we have Lucy. Lucy. Short sword. Well, actually, cat. No. These vampires are shit. I'll never yeah, use this thing again. Short sword. Short sword. If they hit though, it hurts. But like, I don't know. Go ahead. Mark the dice. Just cursed. Short sword. You're gonna attack me. Okay, so go ahead and roll your d20. To test against C. Oh, I think you're gonna miss. No, yeah, missed. that missed. What'd you get? Four. Oh, you did. No, you don't <laughs> hit. Um, okay, yeah, that misses. So you pull out your short sword and you're just like, Meow, and you stand there. <laughs> um, brother. Captain Bobbert. Captain, okay. It's Captain Bobbert to you. Did you just shove that whole thing in your mouth? It's <laughs> impressive. Uh-huh. There are tacos over there. We just are very bad at attacking. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a taco break to like get there's the tacos. tacos over there. Hell yeah, there's tacos. I gotta start the rice though. So, you taking damage, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna cast a cantrip called Toll the Dead. Mm-hmm. Look, you know, they actually read their spells before they played the game. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> So, they get a wisdom save. Yep. So it's a DC 15. Fails. Because of course it does. So they say 1d12. Actually, sorry. On fifth level, so it's 2d12 damage. Goose! You are fine! It takes 6 damage. Wow. That's a little underwhelming. <laughs> Okay, so six damage to the vampire. It's a cantrip, so. Yeah, true. So it looks at you and it's like, 
it like kind of rears its hands up, right? But it's confused about what to do because it only has distance spells and it needs to move away next time, which we're gonna do. So, um, yeah, and it takes six damage, and it's um, it's still standing pretty good, but it's it definitely bloody. Action. I'm gonna move my spiritual weapon. Twenty feet. Definitely bloody. That's all I need in here. Back door. Oh, I'm finished my. It's like they're beefy, but they can't do anything. <laughs> like they're so bad. Okay. Um. Next up, we have my waters from the stool. So I'm like perched. Um, Loki. Loki is going to cast a spell. Mm -hmm. What spell? <laughs> uh. The physics, vicious, physics, vicious damage. Vicious mockery. Vicious mockery. Wait, wait, what was it? Vicious, vicious mockery. Yeah. Yep. Wisdom was 14. So wisdom saves 14. These vampires suck. Four. Yeah. So they don't make it, meaning you get to roll 2d4. 2d4. Their wisdom is zero. So this is your d4. Oh, 2d4, give me another d4. Thank you. You're insulting them. What, how wait, do you wait, insult wait. them? Just looking, holding up a six. mirror. <laughs> six. So six, damage. six damage. Okay. So he takes six damage and he kind of stumbles back a little bit and then he just stands back up like he's ready to attack. But you can tell he's a little slower than usual. Ren. So I'm going to, I'm assuming I can move back to being over here. You have As my move action. You have 30. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know how, like, yeah. close This is where are. the ship was. Yeah. So we'll say that you get to, I don't know, about the steps. Is that fair? Here? Yeah, roughly there. Okay. Okay, okay. Do you have any ranged? Probably not. No, I nope. do not. I was going to take a crossbow, and then I just forgot to add it to my Rip. character sheet. Okay. So I'm going to take my second my second action as a move action, so I can okay. double move there and go. get up here just in case they need me. Probably don't need you, but thanks for being there for us. You're welcome. <laughs> you don't know that. You can't see. Okay. Uh, well, with how Mandy's action. rolling, you probably don't need me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Shit, this whole game. But. Okay, so next up is Vampire at Sea. He is aiming a crossbow at Loki. I get to hit! Oh my god! <laughs> is that crazy? <laughs> what? His AC is a 13. Oh wait, no, it's disadvantage because I didn't move. Okay. 14. Does that hit? 14 would hit because you've got a 14. And then I get to attack. Okay. So, um, the crossbow is 2d8. I did give you 21 healing. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna be, yeah. So, so he's, he's gonna live through this Seven, one. so 13, um, 15 So can you take a long rest while we're, while you're still steering the ship? Uh, he can, can he can. As long as he's picturing, okay. the ship will technically steer itself unless he thinks and commands it to. Okay. Yeah. Alright, next up is Lucy. We're standing right next to the vampire. Nope. Uh, short sword. Yep. Short sword! So this is so cool. 14. I have a 14. 14 hits. So that's 2d6, I, I think, for you, right? Because you got. There should be 3d6. There should be 3 d 6 for sneak attack, right? 3, 7. 7. You get 7. 7 damage. 7 damage? So you should have sneak attack, right? Because there's other people next to him. <laughs> Yes, he Loki should have like sneak attack. Because the enemy has been engaged with someone else because he keeps True, shooting he at, Loki. at Loki. So, so you get sneak attack, yeah, which means Lo you get Loki an extra is in, is in melee range. You're next yes. Roll another d6. Definitely. So you get Wait, another d6? Yep. So you get seven. Four. four. So plus four more. This is sneak attack damage. It should be 2d6, right? Because he's level well, four. Well, he's rolled one... So he gets, hold on, so that'd be 3d6? So, so if a short sword is 1d6 and a sneak attack damage is 2d6, it should be 3 So you need to roll another d6. Yep. So roll the d6 roll one more time. So he was at what before that one? Uh, it's a 5. So 17? So now 17. you're doing 17 damage. 17. Sorry, we haven't been doing sneak attack, which right. we should have been doing the entire time. Yeah, you, know. you just now kind of guess where you could move across. I think this is the first time it's really applied. Mm -hmm. ah, go lay down. Don't blink at me. Go lay down, blah, blah. Okay, so you do your sneak attack on the vampire. It, it looks at you and it just kind of fades away to ash. Good job! And you are done! Whoa. We killed the vampires! So now we need to figure out how to repair the ship. We need to figure out what's on their ship. Yeah, right? Let's loot their ship. Yeah, let's loot their ship! <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, I gotta write this down since I'm the scribe. You do. 
<laughs> so the ship, um, it has 20 tons of Twenty tons of cargo. What? Which you're not gonna take all of it, though. No, okay. I'm gonna take the stuff we want. I mean, there's a free so, ship right here. <laughs> Who it's wants like, the man? It's pretty ship. banged up. But. Oh yeah, yeah, not banged up. I mean, yours is banged up, but theirs is worse, for sure. Um, <laughs> We've had worse. We're still the ship. So I'm expecting our cat friend to go and find all of the food that they have on board. What are you gonna do, Tabaxi? You're gonna go find all the food. You're gonna go find yeah. all the food. Alright, right. so the tabaxi, it kind of just like paddles its way across the little beam that has fallen across the ship, makes its way down into the um, the hole, and down in the hole, you are going to see just a ton of like alchemy ingredients. So these were vampires, right? So you're gonna see a lot of um, reagents such as like thistle and. Um, Thistle and I'm trying to think of the healing herb in the ESO. <laughs> um, we did it. Chad. Yeah, you did it. You we did it. The... But down there, you also find their small stash of gold, which is actually pretty good. Okay, how much gold? Anyway, yep. So you find um, 100 gold. Cheap ass pirates. Yeah. <laughs> it's like whatever alchemy regions are. Did they have any expensive <laughs> alcohol? Yeah. No, they're they're they only drink blood. So okay. Four. Okay. Any healing? Nope. Those are expensive, dude. They're, they're, you should have been excited when you got that. All right. So what? Good. I'm assuming the crew is now going to. Are you going to take a long rest? You're going to take a long rest. Well, I mean, we're going to resume the helm, do what we need to do to keep going on our okay. journey. Brother Blobbert, can you go ahead and roll an intelligence check? Absolutely. It's an 11. You at uh, still succeeds. So, Wasn't barely, you kind of start to hear the whispers of the hammerhead ship kind of speaking to your mind, but then you block them out because you're Blob, and you don't care what people say about you. So you once again command the helm, and I'm assuming you make your way towards the coffin. Um. So how how long have we been? How long have we been sailing? You've currently been sailing for about two hours, I'd say. A little under, maybe two hours. Yeah, roughly. Is, was there like a, a was it like pressing? Oh yeah, it's pressing. Or, or like you got to get there before um, Quancoop does. So it's definitely a pressing matter. Okay. So we, we've looted their ship. There's yeah, nothing we're... we can get from their ship. We, we took the 100 gold. Just a bunch of alchemy crap and some gold. I'm going to use a third level spell yeah. called Sending. Okay. Someone's going to have to count the words for me. Okay. Um. And I'm going to send a message to yeah, 25 words or less. It's quite a bit, though. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send a message to Ungroot mm -hmm. and say, Captain, we have a vessel. Captain, we have a vessel. Captain, Captain, we have we a have vessel. Do you have 20 words left? Part two hours toward where we're going. Hakatha! That's 10 words. That's 10 words? Yep. Like 20, it's quite a bit. You can get quite a bit in there. Come take Remaining cargo. So, fourteen. Have a great day. <laughs> Nineteen <laughs> words. Over. <laughs> over. Over. Twenty words. So with this auger, he's kind of sitting there, just like, what? Because he, I mean, he knows who you are, right? Mm -hmm. But he's also just kind of like, why are they? Why do they have a ship? They were supposed to go look for work. And he's really just kind of confused about what to do. Because, you know, like, he's not expecting a blob to, like, intrude his mind and just start speaking to him. <laughs> okay. Like I 
this is the time of day when we see each other. <laughs> Alright, so with that, are you going to make your way to a Casa? Yeah, we're going to do a long rest and make our way to a Casa. Beautiful. So everyone long rest, you, do you know how to do that in your app? You just click the long rest button. No, I'm not going to do that. Long rest! Okay, do we, does anyone need a break? Because you are now coming up on the, technically the end of the campaign. Yeah, we should so, take a break. So, Er, Ungroot is allowed to respond to me in kind if he wants. He can? Yeah, okay, up okay. to 25 words. Up <laughs> to 25 words? Okay, okay. Time so, is this Blob Man? He, Why? You recognize me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why okay. drive Can't ship? Fire? Um, well, ship is damaged. Not or sure or if calm. Yeah. So, that's mm, 14 words. Pick Man, a pick my wrist. Well, you tried. I'm confused. <laughs> you tried, Blobbert. You tried, Blobbert. But the ship is super ratty, though. Like, if it showed up, like, literally, it's like two rams away from dying. Like, it's real crap. Okay. It's got 300 health. It's, it's like not even a third of the way on. Mm-hmm. Not your ship, the um, Millennium Paired one. Yeah, they even It's rough. Paired. But but we have a whole other ship, is what I'm telling you. Yeah, you, know, you got the ship you're driving, but he's still have to come to you. Well, like this ship. Alright, so do we want to take a break before we do the um, yeah. final scene? Yeah, yeah we okay. do. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay. Take a break. Take a break. Oh my god, my butt. Hello, I'm your cookie. We are cooking rice. If you hear fire alarms, it means I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the cavern, I guess, uh, uh, apparently. Wait. So, um, everyone took a long rest, correct? Did we record yep. that in D&D Beyond? Uh-huh. Take yes. a long rest. So, after a So, night, your, your spells will reset. Yeah, your spells will reset and you are moving. And everyone really should be full good. health again. So, the trek to Hakatha, it takes really the rest of the night, so dawn is breaking across the Astral Sea, and whenever you finally arrive to the planet Hakatha, what you've heard about it really doesn't do it justice. So, it's kind of like a watery disk, so it's really wide, and in the middle there's this huge rock spindle, okay? Um, and it's literally called the spindle, that's the center of the planet. So, you maneuver, um, Blobber, you maneuver the ship so that it hovers a few feet above the surface of the water, right at the spindle's edge. Um, now, land ho! Land ho! So as you kind of make, I guess, land, kind of on the inner portions here, you're on the land portion, you're not out on the, you know, water just. So you, you make land and you're kind of glancing up at um, the spindle. It's literally the only defining feature on this planet. Um, okay, party, what, what, what do you make of this? What would you like to do? Anyone? So it's um, just a big tower, kind of like the Grinch. You know, the Grinch, he's got that big, that's it's literally big what this tower. looks like. Yes, huge, it's like a rock jut, basically. It's later one to do. Yeah, well, I mean, do you want to talk to the captain, or do you want to talk to first mate? Well, obviously not the captain. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> not the, obviously not the captain. So you're going to say something to... First Grinch? mate, what do you want to do, first mate? Whatever we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, holy shit, man. Okay, so, um, investigate. What? Yeah, let's investigate. <laughs> Sorry, thank Who's you. I needed, that? I needed a, we need sustenance. I needed a brain spark. You're good. Sorry, I, I was, I was, was making sure that, like, was I was trying to make sure that my thing reset, um, because I remember when I was rolling, using Tiberius, it didn't. Yeah, the short Tiberio. rest doesn't. Yeah, Tiberio. Yeah, so that's intelligence check. Okay. Which, oh yeah, that I don't Tiberio. have. Nat twenty. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna mix. What? what? Good, job, <laughs> Good job, Green. Good job, Green. Green. Okay. So you begin to look around. I mean, this isn't a huge planet. Like most of it is just a watery. Your hair is a I know. I needed what? it up. I needed it out of my off of my neck. <laughs> it's like you have a horn. I know. <laughs> So yeah, you yeah, kind of yeah, show, show chat your Cindy Lou Who hair, hair <laughs> You really do. I said the Grinch once, and now we're like in the mode. Um, so most of it's kind of like watery outer <laughs> desk. You're here in the center. But you begin to look around, and um, you kind of see a, a set of tracks. Okay. Leading. Oh, in I a actually direction. am trained in survival. Are you? I am. Not that it matters. <laughs> not that it matters. Oh, no, I'm not. I thought I had trained myself. Right, well, you, still, you still hit the. DC. I hit an at twenty, so it's fine. <laughs> so, um, 
you, you look at this and you realize through your past encounters as a mm -hmm. fighter that oh, these, yeah. these belong to um, some type of large giant, possibly an mm. ogre, and they're leading in a direction towards the spindle. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we go in the direction towards the spindle. We're gonna we're gonna fight this thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone go. So that we can get the Everyone thing we're supposed it's to like, get. Let's go to the boss. Okay. So to the um, spindle. Yeah, yeah. So you make your way towards the um the spindle, and as you walk up on it, you see a very, like, it's kind of almost chiseled out, um, an entrance, and it seems to have a spiral staircase. Oh, we go up the staircase. Well, the staircase is guarded. Okay. By? By a... <coughs> Leona. <laughs> she comes I forgot you never she did existed. find your, your woman, did you? never found your woman. Um, it is guarded by... You know, normally if you build that into your backstory ahead of time, the DM will bake that into the plot. I wanted to see what you'd make up. If it was good, I was going to let it fall. I would. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. You're okay. just upset that so, I had another woman. It is Gord. That's exactly what it is. It was that was a 98. <laughs> Where is my... Did we, does anyone have large Luigi? No. Where did He's he go? Right there. Okay. <laughs> It is guarded by a spectator. It's guarded by large Luigi. Luigi. Uh, I guess I should zoom out. I don't have a map of like Hakata, so we're just gonna pretend you're like chilling at the entrance of this game, okay? Okay. So you're chilling here. You're at the entrance. So it's guarded by a. I'm gonna put us in the squares. Yeah. So like a spectator <laughs> who's apparently looking at a rock and two gazers. Ooh. Now. Worth noting, this is pretty much a direct passage, right? Like, it's chiseled out. There's really not a lot on this planet. It's pretty much just a spindle. But it is guarded by these people. Yo! We would like to pass through. We would like to pass through. We would like to pass through. Let's take the sneaky cat. <laughs> um, okay, so you walk up and you're just going to talk to him? Yeah. Okay, I'm sure that'll go well. Um, <laughs> Trying not to just be murder sure. hobos. Yeah. So you you walk up. Um, you hear you know they hear you talk and they kind of just turn around and stare at you. Like and they are very hostile. Like they're guarding. Oh something. well, then I just draw my sword and okay. just stab. All right, roll for initiative. Roll for initiative. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Wait. Oh, let me get the encounter build up here. This one should be. Oh. You were okay. Well, I'm not last. <laughs> not last. Not last? I got two. Oh, we're, you're not last. Daniel's not last. <laughs> he gets a, a ridiculous bonus to his initiative, though. Right, he gets a plus five. Okay, so what's everyone's initiative? Okay, so I think Greg did the best. Oh, God, they rolled good. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad they go first. Three. So I have, I'm pretty sure, an eight. I have two. So eight for room. Oh, no, wow. I have a seven. Oh, it's still not much better. Okay, and you no. have two? What do you have? Three. No, I you have. have well, which dice did you roll? You, then you add your five. You have a eight, plus five to your initiative, uh, so you have an eight. eight. Oh, sorry, I have five. My bad. She's stirring the rice. Sorry. I'm stirring the rice. We're stirring the rice. DM is stirring rice. DM is stirring the rice that you were supposed to remind St me to stir. Stirring it's rice. Not boiling, so this might take a second. I have Once five. Once it's done, the food is like done. I have five. Sorry. Okay, so five. We'll see what you roll. Oh, eight. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun so with this So who is leading this party here? Rin, Me. once again. Wow, Rin, you should really stop running into battle. You pulled your sword. I so, am the tank. Um, this is what so, I do. So, Gazer right here is going to kind of look at you. It's going to run up to you and attempt to grab your sword out of your hand. <gasps> okay. Oh, no! So, it is going to... It's what is the grapple attack. check? Uh, well, what, like, what is the anti-grapple? Grapple? It's going to use fear ray so that you're afraid to use your sword. It doesn't have a grapple. Um, so that's a, I'm assuming a... You'd probably make a save. Right? Yeah, what save? She'll probably tell you. Oh, oh, no, or right. making an attack roll, and she rolled back. A DC... Oh, no, it's a DC 12 wisdom save, so go ahead. Wisdom? Thank God it's not me wrong, because I can't roll... Oh, <laughs> 16! What? No! All right, so it attempts to like <laughs> grab onto your sword. And I'm like, not this time, asshole. And it just kind of goes, you can kind of go <laughs> and shake it off. It's like, so next up we have the other game. Holding your hand out, just like, <laughs> like not this time, not so, this time. Poke, poking the eye. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I'm coming for you. So this gazer's gonna look at you, just kind of like, wow, 
she's kind of quick though, and it is going to attempt to cast Frost Ray at you. So okay. make a um, DC 12 Dex saving throw. Oh, I got a 17. It's like you all are like blessed and I'm cursed. <laughs> I, I mean, so I am bad. literally it's because blessed. I am the cleric. I have rolled so <laughs> bad. <laughs> so it kind of it starts to like spark up these little snowflakes, kind of like Elsa. I and am just the kinda... cleric. <laughs> and you can't. Next up, we have the spectator because you all rolled bad. Yeah, um, we're aware. Yeah, we so, I assumed everything was going to go before <laughs> us. Yes. Um. So it is going to look at you because you're in the front. Uh, always for some reason, walk up to you. It's gonna because I'm the fire. It's gonna try to bite you. Um, so, ooh, fifteen. Oh, that misses. I'm a sixteen DC. <laughs> of course you are. So it tries to bite you, and like as it goes to bite, it notices it still has a bone stuck in its teeth from like a dinner earlier, and it kind of stops to like get something unstuck. And it doesn't attack. We'll see. You're up next. You're welcome, guys. I'm glad I'm the tank I here. Go, so Lucy. also, when you go to you attack, thirteen. Uh, thirteen initially. So I, I have think five. Wait, I think we'll see. You're gonna no, have. No, it's actually. It's I think Bobert. you're gonna have to move. Wait, time oh. out. Time out. Okay. You have thirteen. It's Captain Bobert. Yeah, I rolled a uh, natural eleven. I thought if you like don't click off and you start to scroll, it yeah. scrolls out. So you're thirteen. You are next. You are after him. Okay, go. So brother Blobbert is going to. Take a step back, yep. which triggers an attack of opportunity, I believe. Uh, yeah, because you're in disengaging. against the, for the spectator, yes. The spectator. Yep. Okay, so, it's going to try to bite you. And it's probably going to miss, because I can't roll. I almost want to make you all roll for me. Would you like to miss? No. It's like I'm making it up, but I swear to God. I can see that, so. It's a, so plus one, it's a nine. Nine I, will not hit. Not of course it doesn't. <laughs> And then I'm going to cast... We're only surviving because the DM yeah. can't roll. I swear. DM roll is horrible. I have rolled so bad. Like It's to our benefit, though. She's oh, yeah. Watch. The I'm, I'm going to boss cast is going to roll like a god. A guiding bolt. Saren Ray, smite them! <laughs> Do it! And I shoot a guiding bolt at the, the stargazer, or whatever this guy is. Okay, okay. So, so I believe that's... Uh, D seven. Or no, sorry, oh, wait, you, it's a plus seven. It's a plus seven. To did hit. you roll for um? So that's okay. sixteen to hit. It hits. It gets the uh, spectator, right? Big yeah. guy. Okay, yes. Big guy. So that's four D six. Ooh. The vampires was like the trivial encounter. If Greg would have actually like looked at what I sent him, because if they would hit, they have screwed y'all. <laughs> So that's a uh, fourteen damage on the spectator. Spectator. Okay. So <laughs> you he looks over and it's almost like he's got dust in his eyes, so he's just blinking really rapidly, like he doesn't know what to do next. All right. Next up, we have we'll see. You have to take your five foot step so, forward to hit, um, but then you should be able but to do it. You've got plenty of, and you get sneak attack this time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with guiding bolt, because it's engaged with me. The next attack roll made against the spectator mm -hmm. is with advantage. So that means you actually get to roll twice to, to hit it. Damn, is making rice. <laughs> okay, what did you roll? So you he hasn't move? gone yet. No, I'm okay. going to move. Gonna go go ahead and take your five foot step yep. into what are gonna, that square. What are you going to go after? The yep, go for it. I'm assuming this, this is actually a rock here. Did I see Serenade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serenade, not Serenade. I know, I know my god's name. <laughs> I promise. So, you should be able to... So you get to roll with advantage, so roll two dice. Two d20s. And take the highest one. And take the 14, so 14, 14 plus whatever your attack is. 18. So 18. Or, yeah, so 18. Oh, and then... Eight, no, should wait, be 18 plus 18. Or should or should be a plus 7. Cat's paws or short short. Short sword is what you're using, right? Yeah, so... So, a lot. <laughs> so he hits. So you should, so get you, hit. you should roll 3d6. Yep. So yeah, you, then you take 3d6, because you're going to get sneak attack, because it's engaged with me. Perfect. And then you get your plus Then you get whatever your four. bonus is for it. Four? Four. Okay. So that's 11 plus four is 15 damage. So okay. 15 damage. All right. You, you haven't been doing enough damage the entire time, because we haven't been including sneak attack. Yep. We apologize. Is it two weapon... Yes. Okay. He is a um, technically a dual wielding tabaxi. Okay. Sword swords. So, 
you can make another attack since you dual wielding short swords. Yes. So this this one doesn't get your plus seven though because you're offhand. Yeah. So just go ahead and roll. So well, hold as on. Like, he gets to roll another as, dice as a bonus to attack action, again. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Roll, roll and you're still gonna use sneak Wait, attack, right? Roll which one? Yep. Yeah, just so roll one. Advantage. One of them again. The DB twenties. Yep, of the D twenties. Both of these? Nope, just, just roll just one of them again. Because you're going to try to hit a second attack because you have two swords. Uh, that did That's not hit. That's not hit. No hit. No nope. Okay. Two. So oh, now no, it's my no, turn. Bad, but not that nine, bad. Nine, nine. So nine. yeah, you swing the other sword, but you're honestly just so overwhelmed that the first hit, you just miss. Rin! Okay, we're going to attack one time. We're going to attack the big dude. Since okay. he's right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a... I really don't like it, big dude. 18? 18 hits. I think so. It's the 13 plus 6. So yeah, that should that should hit. 13 plus 6. Yep. Yeah, it's it a 19. Right. Okay, so then I'm going to roll the 2 plus 6. That is 8 plus 3, so 11 damage. Alright, so And then I get that. to attack again. Okay. That did not hit. That was a 3. Well, okay, so with that, the spectator... He kind of looks at you, and then all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, his eye just falls out of his, like, Oh, cool, socket. I killed him early. You really did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't and need to attack, like, he said. These are glass cannons. <laughs> and they just kind of, and he just kind of falls down to the floor. Perfect. Yep. So next up we have Loki. Okay, I'm going to cast my Vicious Mockery. Mm. Wisdom check 14. This is a great time for you to do this because I don't think there's a place for you to get within range. And so this will for Wisdom yeah. Saving Throws, I get a plus two. Yes. So I got a 13. So you miss. You miss so you get to roll so 2d4s. You roll 2d4. Why do I miss? You they, No, they, they missed. They, they so you get safe. a second oh. d4 mm-hmm. to roll with this one, and then that's the damage they take from your attack. Yeah, you don't have to roll an attack roll with, as a spell cast. Pick it up, if I can pick it up. <laughs> what, what, what are you, how are you mocking them? Yeah, you gotta say something what do you mocking say to them? them. And remember, if you say look, you look at you, you little small <laughs> things that look like hands. You have the smallest hands <laughs> in the world. They really are ridiculous tiny hands. So, five. Uh, five damage. Nice. Two, which one? That one. So, um, no hand, small hands. the hand just kind of like, now just keep that one for now because you're going to keep doing that. <laughs> that way you can stay safe for okay. the next battle. Next up we have, oh, we're back to the gazer that you just attacked. So it's going to, um, it's actually going to make its way over to you because it doesn't like that you just mocked it. Well, okay. I'm, I'm mocking the hell out of it. Yeah, you are mocking the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> call it tiny hands. <laughs> it, it's very it's hard. Tiny hands. Hands. It's going to try to bite you. So it is going to roll a, well, but that an eight. Does that hit? No. I was like, you can't do that. <laughs> no. So it just kind of it tries to bite you, but it really just kind of goes like that. Yeah, because it has small, tiny hands. It doesn't. It does have a mouth, technically. Small, tiny mouth. There's, there's, a, there's like, hands with like a mouth. There in the are mouth. eyes and a mouth on it. Oh well, it's still small it's and tiny. Very it's very tiny. Man. Yes. It's like a Grand Day long leg. Like, it's like it's harmless unless you're really yeah. So next up we have Gazer B. Gazer B is going to float over here. To um, it can't. Team. That's a rock in the way. I think it's, like, it's tiny. It's a little hand. That thing okay. floats. It fits. Okay, so it goes through. If it, it fits, it sits. We'll see. <laughs> um, with bite, these are very limited creatures. <laughs> Ooh, twenty-one. Oh, that's the best that. roll I've had this whole game. That hits, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's two d fours worth of. Uh, Sorry, I know my four. It's not that you're cold, it's just you're. Wait, what? I was trying to give you space. Oh. No, I was trying to touch you. I understand. Bite. Touch, okay. <laughs> touch, 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 touch me. I wanna touch be me. dead. One target. Tell me. Creature of the night. Was that you? We're gonna. Okay. Are you the one who did the, 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 the thing? It bites you for 10 damage. Which one, Kari? Mm-hmm. Correct. What did she do? Oh. She hit the... Did she do the thing? Mm-hmm. I'll, um, I'll take her out real quick. So it does well, 10 now damage. now she's laying down. So she's fine. Right. She's probably fine. All right, next up we have ah. Brother. Yeah, the other two were definitely asleep, um, so it was definitely her. So you just took damage. Mm-hmm. This one's taken damage. Check that rice. I'm checking it. This is so much rice. So Mandy, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out of range of the of the hands of the other hand okay. that, that came up 
Um, so it likely gets an attack of off if it has such a. Is it within um, a block? It, it was. Okay, then yeah, it's going to probably. It's probably going to bite because that's the only range, not range attack it has. So, um. Oh, did I say what my rolls for the end? Uh, so plus five, that's 24. Love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finally get to eat you all. Up uh, 10 damage again. Alright, now continue, Ooh. sir. Bring that hit. That hit. That did hit. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna I cast. I'm so bad in the vampire. I'm, I'm gonna so cast attack. Toll the Dead and go. Ooh. On this guy. Ooh. Okay. On who? Uh, the one that's taking damage. <laughs> What's the one that's damage? taking damage? The one that has taken because yeah, Daniel, yeah, yeah. Daniel He's been hit. Just this vicious mockery. He's been hit. The, the the tiny hands. So it's, the one uh, you're like, it's, it's a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, for wisdom. Ooh. Okay, plus two for wisdom. Oh, Eighteen plus two is a twenty. All right, so it saves. It takes zero damage. It's the one plus it has no saving throw. Just FYR. <laughs> it's wisdom. It, it switches. Yeah, right. that's the only perk. Um, it, it, like they have very few perks. That's one. Of them. No, I'm saying you're, you're rolling pretty good. I right? know I'm rolling good now. It's like I saved it. That might be bad for you all. Um, I'm so bad in the vampires. I cannot. This I barely get to hit. It's gonna be my turn for now. Alright, uh, we'll see. Do the thing, have, dude. Do the should, thing. You should attack it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> attack. Do yourself the every. Still. Which one? Which one would it be? Yeah, sneak attack. He still gets sneak attack. But isn't that one uh, to his? It, oh, if there's yeah. someone that's within five feet of it, I think is how the rule actually reads. Right? For sneak yes. attack now. Yes. So like because I am literally five feet from it, you can attack with sneak attack. Sneak attack. So you have advantage, so you roll two d twenties. No, not advantage. You just roll the one d twenty. Oh. Oh wow. And then add your seven. Seven, yeah. Do your seven. Seven plus five, seven. Oh wow, math. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> it's math. Okay, um, so what is it? Eleven? Twelve? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve misses. Yeah. Sorry, we'll see. Do you want to move or anything? Or did you already move? No. Okay. We're in! Okay, attack once. Uh, that's a... Eleven. So, no. Second attack uh, was an at one, so I hit neither of them. <laughs> oh you try to pull your sword out and you accidentally cut a feather off your wing. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, um, Loki. Okay, you want to do vicious mockery? Fourteen wisdom check. <laughs> Small hands. That's the only. Small... <laughs> now you can call him Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> Ooh, ten. All right. Well, I... you do damage then. You do damage. Yes. I'm assuming you're doing this to the one next to you, correct? Yes. Yeah. So four. Five, six, six. Six damage? Mm-hmm. Man, you're okay. chipping away at it. So, little hands. You're not just chipping away at him, you're chipping away at his, like, confidence. Mm-hmm. So, he kind of looks at you. Esteem. And at once it was like an evil hand kind of grasped up, and now it's just kind of hands. You know, yeah, it's a limp, limp hand. It's limp, it's a little droopy. It looks like it could fall at any second. So, so it's like one next <laughs> 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 well, uh, next up, that's actually the oh one attacking next. So it is, it's still pretty mad at you because you keep mocking it. So we're going to attack Loki <laughs> again with Bite because he's a simple <laughs> Oh my god. 21. Oh my god. I'm rolling Jesus here now. <laughs> oh no. I know, this is bad for you all. <laughs> 21. Is that it? I'm assuming, yeah. Yes! Okay. Um, 11 damage. So you take 11 body damage. Shit, these are the easiest enemies you fought. Alright, next up we have the other gazer here. Hey man, sometimes you just crush the door so and sometimes you face the door. It's the name of the game, right? Ooh, so okay. So this it's gazer here, it's gonna kind of like notice yeah, that you all are a little powerful. It's gonna back up a bit and then it is gonna cast, um, it's going to cast... I raise. I raise. I raise. I raise. At red, because she's in the front. Uh oh. So I raise is a. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna roll here. Shit. Okay. So seven. Seven damage? No, it's a seven to hit. Oh, it does it not hit. hit. Okay. So it kind of like looks at you, but its eyes are so tiny it loses focus. 
Alright, next up we have Brother. Brother Blobbert. Captain Blobbert. Captain Blobbert. Um, Blobbert is once again going to, whoops, sorry, toll the dead on this one that's next to the Bard Loki. Okay. So that's a wisdom save. Is it? Not safe. Weird, Just looking yeah. for a 15 on that one. So it's 2d12. See what I mean by cocked now? Like sometimes the dice lands really weird. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it was mostly on 14, but it was slightly not. Yeah. Mostly on 14. Just so 12 damages. Ooh. Okay, okay. Two. That was that one? He's mm-hmm. dead. He's gotta be dead. <laughs> yeah, so um, you attack him and he is hella dead. Um, he falls down, and yeah, you're just kind of staring at this random hand guarding this cavern at this point. Lil C, you are up next, my friend. Yeah, you probably see yeah. right? You'd have to, I don't think so anymore, because you you'd have to down. dash to get to it. Mm-hmm. He could hold his turn until after my turn. You're good. You shouldn't have to dash. Six squares. Well, he you're could move and move do it, feet. but then he's not going to get sneak attack, because no one's engaged with it. But you can go for it. Do it. You want to run at it and try to stab it? I guess. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna run it, try to stab it. Um, so you were going to attack with what your short sword, I'm guessing. So yeah. you have to. Okay, go ahead and roll. That's a 17. 24 to hit. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, for sure hits. So this is this is only one. Double this time. It's your, only one. Okay. What's yeah. your uh, dice? It's a D6. <laughs> Wait, how oh, you want to see the attack? Yeah, so, D6 plus four. Yep. This is so cool. They like, literally start to go That's five damage. Five damage. You get to make a second attack. And then you can do a second attack. Yep, with the other sword. Right. So this doesn't get your plus seven. Wait. So I can roll this again? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, it does five. hit. You missed. You missed? So you did what, seven? Yep. All right. So you swing one sword at it, and you cut off a pinky, but it still has four fingers. And it's just still kind of floating there. So, Ren, you are up next. Okay, so I'm also Shoot going five, to... Yeah. Man, go up <laughs> and attack it. <laughs> uh, that was an 18 plus Ten. 6. You're lucky you checked on that um, spectator screen. You did. That was the real here. That's attack number 1. You did what? 6? Uh, well, hold on. So that's 11 damage. All right, and right. then that doesn't include my plus, plus the 4. Doesn't matter. Three. So you look over there at that and you take your great sword out and you're like, how oh, four fingers, huh? You slice them all off and it is dead. So at that point, you are now standing at the entrance to the um, the cavern here in the spindle. Hold on. Digital maps are cool until you have to control them. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and move like back. Yeah, move back there. All right. So so as you pee. So since since some people have taken damage, I'm gonna say everyone gather around. Yeah, you're still staying. Gather you haven't done anything yet. I'm gonna yeah. say a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> the guiding light of Salerni, give us lots of health and good fortune moving forward. You just said I'm gonna channel all divinity. Okay. Um, Who are you healing specifically? Everyone? Or? Uh, anyone that's taken damage. So um, not taking will, damage. How many stuck in the most? Little C. It doesn't matter because it's an area of effect. Did right? you not put it your damage down? Uh, no, oh, yeah. this is. I can only do so much health. Ren is full, so you're gonna be healing Little C and. So I, I've taken some. I've taken ten damage. I love that I can see your all HP. That's like. Um. I've taken eleven. Test twenty-one. Dan's taking ten. To thirty-one. You better hope I don't roll good here in a second. Yeah. So channel divinity preserve life as an action. I can restore twenty-five health. Choose any creatures within thirty feet of you and divide this at points among them. You want your bad each one. No mm-hmm. more than half of its hit point max. Wait, is he took damage? Well, no, two no more than... I, huh? so I, I lied, I'm sorry. I don't do that because I can't. Because oh, sweet. I can okay. only do that to bring people really don't worry about the stories. That's back to above health. That's okay. Hold on. I've got a healing spell. Um, so I'm going to do a different healing spell. I'm going to do mass healing work. I also have that healing potion you can take. Well, that's what I was about to so say. So do you want the potion? Take the potion. You have potion. Uh, yeah, you have the potion. potion. So you gain forty-four plus four. Let, let me let me just let me just cast my spells for this right now. If we need potions later, let's potions later. like right now, I'm just do spells. Okay. 
It was I didn't know how better. much the potion actually like healed you. Forty-four plus four. Oh well. Yeah. I, I've, I've got pretty much your entire heart. HP. That's why you should have been like, holy oh, healing potion. You were like, what? Okay, so everyone <laughs> takes twelve points of healing. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty convenient. Nice. So I'm back to I'm back to full. How's you everyone see. else doing? Um, they were the only two like I'm full. damage. They probably I'm should be both be full. Yeah. I'm full. Okay. That's that's a level three spell. Did I only bring? So that way, like, our, our potions are pretty valuable, mm-hmm. and those and those are nice because if I'm if I drop for some reason, then you guys can still use potions. Yes. Oh, so they're very, I don't know how to heal but they're really expensive to buy, so you can't just go buy Sorry. a bunch of poke, like, no, it's you're, not you're, like Pokemon. No, if he drops, you still have your potions. So he. <laughs> So. I love how everyone's like, mm-hmm. okay. So, so I, I still say the prayer that I said. Only this, I was saying it as a spell. That's a very moving prayer, by the way. I don't need a prayer. Yeah. It's not real good. The <laughs> this is like one of the oh, worst enemies. Uh, I don't want. Okay. So as you make your way up the last few steps, you peek into a dimly lit room. So in the center, a cubic take. Shimmery oh, item. It's the cube that is of very place. Poorly painted, sits on a pedestal, and a sliver of light is just streaming down from a hole in the cavern ceiling to give it a golden sheen. Hovering near the cubic gate are two goose. Two you goose. Lay down. It's a goose. There are two geese. Um, <laughs> no. Um, so hovering near the cubic gate are two identical creatures. Each one a musty green color with two beady eyes and a large set of fangs. Well, you can just hold that. You don't actually have to put it on the table. Okay. Um, so, get, um, no, I'll read that. Upon closer inspection, you make out um, that these figures appear to be ogres. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, you look mm-hmm. around the room and sitting up on. Does this map? It doesn't. So, imagine there's a bookshelf in the room. There's a, a mind flare kind of sitting on top of a bookshelf. He's reading through a book. Um, and he's sitting next to his pet here, which is a, um, an intellect devourer. And he seems really frustrated. Like, he's right, he's like, we're fucked. If he hits good, you're all fucked. Glass cannon, I wasn't kidding. Um, so he's flipping through and he's really ticked off about something, okay? So I will let you on set what to do. There's only one, though. If I were really um, mean, I'd put him in hive. <laughs> well... I Goose, say we Stop. go for it. If you say you go for it, what y'all want to do? We need to get the cube. You do need to get the cube, and you know the password to the pedestal, right? So the, these yeah, guys are trying thing. to get into the pedestal. But clearly, he doesn't know the password. So he's sitting there. He's flipping. Okay, his so ball. I want a surprise round because I don't think they've seen us yet, right? They have not. You're still hidden back in that. Cavern. Okay, so I want a surprise round where I want to just, I can make it to them. I'm assuming because it's. To who? The ogres? The first one. Yes. I just want to hit the first one I can get to as fast as possible. <laughs> you do know how bad that uh, is, Uh, that right? is an eight, yeah, 18 right. plus six. Okay, so everyone roll, um, well, you go ahead, okay, so 18 plus six. Yup, and then, oh, hold on, let me, um, this gets re-rolled. That's <laughs> 11 plus, I was like, if I can take one of them out before we even start, let's go. What are you doing? Oh, you wake on it. Wait, mm-hmm. ogre? Mm-hmm. You yep. might be able to. Mm, ogre? Debatable. So that's going to be a 11 plus 3, so 14 on the first swing. Mm-hmm. And the second swing is a 18. That hits. Even so plus 14, 18 is. Yeah. No, no, no. So it was an 18 to hit. So I've got 14 yeah, damage. Oh, so 18 far. hits. Yeah. 14 okay, so then I got to roll two more damage. I'm about to say, Jesus Christ. Uh, and that's 9 plus 3, so 12, so a total of 26 damage. 26 shit. On okay. the first roll, yeah. And then we roll for initiative. Yeah. Yes. So, um, Which, if I'm going to roll shit, I'd rather roll shit on initiative. I'm going to, like, type that, because I can't actually subtract until I'll start the encounter, which is stupid. That's fine, sorry. That was fine. Um, so, everyone roll. Yeah, 18. 15. Eight. Oh, dang! 17! What'd you get? Initiative. 15. Is everyone gonna roll good now? I got an eight. Did you add Seventeen. Your Seventeen. So did you add oh, uh, I got yeah. twenty. Then no, you got a twenty. I got twenty. Shit. Okay. Look at you. Okay. So, um, let me go ahead and take that off of Ogre B. So you rush in right with your great sword. You attack him for twenty six damage, and he is super surprised. Um, this ogre, he takes so much damage. 
that he really just doesn't even know what to do next. Good. Okay. Um, but he is still standing. Now, with oh, that, that's fine. I did we'll see you are the best. What would you like to do? Now, t keep in mind you are technically pretty far away here. So each grid is... Um, I guess I could have flown. You could have. So I just flew. We're just going to say I flew. Yeah, you Because I got flew. wings, and we'll it was a large you distance. Time. You definitely could have threw him. Right? But no. it's okay. I'm just going to have to go 30 feet, I guess. Yep. Um, you can also feet. move twice if you don't take an attack action. It's right there, very close to me, though. You can go diagonal, right? So Can you? Yeah. It's, it's five, five so feet. So you can go like that? Yeah. You have to go around the rock, there. Yeah. Um, Unless you make, like... Mm, do you want to go over the rock? Yeah, you want to do a flip over the rock? Do you want to go? Do you want to roll for strength, <laughs> athletics? You want, to roll, you, want you want to flip over a rock? You can flip over if you roll good. I'll let you. If you don't, you're, you're is, stuck. Is that athletics or is that acrobatics? That's athletics. Acro mm -hmm. It's acrobatics. If you're doing oh. a flip, athletics is like a real thing, I think. Oh. You know what? Whatever. He's athletics. probably going to kill you. Roll for dex. <laughs> roll yeah. for dex. Because. I do strength, athletics. Do it. Literally, right. you're lucky Which one am I rolling for that? that he rolled mm -hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roll for a string. And then add your, um, and your ten. skills. Ten. So, ten damage? Or? No, ten, ten to do the flip. Ten to do the flip? <laughs> no. So, oh, you kind of, you kind of jump up, and, like, when you do, you accidentally step on your tail, and you go, Row! and then you land back where you are. <laughs> so, that's pretty much your turn, because you're really far away from everybody. <laughs> Next up, we have Loki. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm freaking far away. <laughs> yeah, you probably should have all snuck in. Rin's just over there by herself. So. The, th the thing is, you got daggers, right? So mm -hmm. you you can you can throw daggers if you want to. Mm -hmm. you, have a range. Yeah, you don't have to. It's not a very long. But you will range, have to probably. retreve said dagger if you. Throw that, that is true. But, he, he's but you have swords too. Swords. So like, if you wanted to pull out a dagger and throw it, like whenever you have swords. You have to look at what the range is on. So I want to use a uh, vicious mockery and some six. So you look at actions. Hey, your turn, Brett. It is my turn. Is it? No, yeah, he's just said it was Loki. Because <laughs> he tried to jump so, and didn't under, make at the, get it. The well, this is mock. Okay, everyone, go ahead. I yes. want to mock how stupid that orc is. What's the really be focusing on the mind flare, but I want 60 feet. I don't know. We already looked it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, 60 feet. Oh, you just don't have them equipped. Sorry. Okay, so now it's I'm too far from the mind flare. You are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's so like, he's up there perched for his little pet. He's range. just super ticked. Like, he's flipping his book. Okay. He can't 16. figure out why he's doing it. Wesley's 14. Can, huh? So you can, Wesley's 14. No. If you're, if you're within 14, 20 feet of him, you're passing that on. Which one? This, the, the one that was already got damaged. If you're within 16 feet, you can still throw daggers to disadvantage. Okay. Huh? Anything beyond 20 feet to disadvantage. No, Wisdom's 14. The Wisdom save is 14, so you need to roll a Wisdom save. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm just like, what? Okay. I don't get any. These are gorgeous. No, nope. Except roll your damage. Roll my damage. You're so nice. Six damage. Ooh. Dang, Daniel, that was awesome. So you mock him and it hurts his feelings. And I mean, he's still doing okay. But well, he's, he's still doing okay. I mean, they are gross. All right, so Brother Blobbert. Um, Brother Blobbert is going to cast a level. Two guiding bowl mm. at this guy. Yeah, that's probably smart. Because <laughs> he looks scary. And he's he scary scares AF. Brother Blobbert. <laughs> he looks big and scary, so I, I can't oh, see him where I'm at. I think so. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like walk into the room here. That's how bad the damage was if he hits you all. Y'all D E A D. Is it one of those attacks where you attack? Oh god, like there is no saving throw that hits you. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, You're just dead. My 19 are scary. to hit him? But if you hit him, he's squishy. He's 19. Like 19. 19 to hit him. Greg hit a 19. Does that hit? That does hit. <laughs> Good job. Oh. You hit the mind player. That's gonna be... It's smart. So he's squishy as well. Mm-hmm. Most casters are squishy. 
But so he gets you effed. He just yeah. he looks he looks scary because he's got the tentacles. He is scary. He, look, he looks big and scary. I bought a special shape for his sort of That's how scary he is. Not a great one. Twelve damage. You don't have the thing where you can reroll all your ones and twos. No, I don't. <laughs> Okay, so you cast this bolt at him, and he just kind of looks up from his book. He's, like, annoyed, right? Like, you did damage to him, but he just starts reading again. Well, that's, that's generous of him. And then, as a bonus, <laughs> as a bonus action, I'm going to cast a... Oh, I can't. That's not a bonus action. I guess I will, as a bonus action instead, cast Shield of Faith on uh, Ren, since she's in melee range. She is. She is up in their So that's a plus two business. to your AC. How long does that last? Just it's a concentration up to ten minutes. So what is it? Uh, faith, so it's plus two to your AC. Which is very helpful. Alright, next up we have um, the Pet Intellect Devourer. So after Blobbert cast this spell... He, the brain little dude, he just kind of perks up, right? And what is his? Oh, God, 48. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, yeah. So he's right. just going to make a dash at Ren, because that's really all he can do. Um, so he's going to make a dash at Ren, and he is going to use claws. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have plus two on your AC, though. Mm -hmm. so. It's an 18. Now. God. Um. Seventeen. I just 18. missed it. I just missed it. Had Greg not done that, that two, I would have. Without that two, he would have hit you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I so appreciate it. He, it tries to pick up its claws, but um, it just it steps on a rock, and it's like, ah! So if anyone kind of wants to attack down. him, you'd have advantage until the end of my next turn. Hmm. Fuck. You gotta get there. Yeah, he's really <laughs> far away. He's purposefully in the back. <laughs> um, okay, so the ogre over here in the middle. Um, it is going to the one in the middle. That is not the middle. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, it is going to pull out its battle axe and it is going to swing at Rin. It can't reach me. It can't. Mm mm. If they only have a five foot I mean, radius, it is definitely further than five it, feet for me. I mean, it can move. Well, okay, yeah. Move it up there. Move it up there. It's not gonna matter though because I only I rolled an eleven. It does not hit me. It does not hit you. Mm -hmm. So it swings, but once again she kind of pulls her wing in and it she dodges it. Yeah, what is my fly next? speed? What's my fly speed? That plus two is really. Good. It really is don't. nice. What is my fly speed? <laughs> I don't know. What's your character sheet say? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't say I can even I fly. So maybe you can't. I don't know. I want it'd to be under fly. like. I have it'd wings. be under like traits and features probably. You can. Pay. I can like search on here. Features and traits, yeah, probably. You. I have a search function on mine. It'd be under racial traits, probably. Features and traits. I not see anything. I'm not seeing anything either. Second wind, once per short now. It might not be something that they just inherited. Okay. That doesn't make sense. Right, it though. really doesn't make any sense, because why would you get you wings. same wings? It's fine. Um, I was just dark. hoping it was further than the 30 feet, because I think I'm exactly 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep hitting on the orc. The this one next one. to you? Okay. okay. Yup. One attacks on him, which is a uh, 19. Was the first one? 19 is going to hit. Okay. And then... Oh, well, that's fine. That's the first time that's literally happened. What? Where I've re-rolled the dice <laughs> for a Same one or a two, and oh. it went down instead of up. That's weird. So, like, I get to re-roll all one yeah. twos on damage attacks. The first one hits, though. Well, the f no, 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 no. So that's just the damage I get to re-roll. So oh, anyway, okay. so that's the damage from the first one. The second attack on him is not going to hit. That was, like, a nine. The first? So the first one is a six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10. He gets 10 damage. Alright, so with that, you take your great sword in a big backswing. You have... Uh, you have killed that ogre. I've run out of descriptive words. <laughs> you have killed the ogre! That one is dead! So I will You've gutted the ogre. You've gutted the ogre. ogre. Alright, next up we have... Um, oh man, bless your heart. 
Um, he you better hope his hmm? walking speed is not near you. I should be far enough away. I hope so. I don't want you I to die. Get... I'm the nice to him. Well, uh, if I 30, die, I die, but the party's going to be in a lot of trouble if so. I die. He can he's get my, he can get up to here, get up, to there. Hold on, up so to five, right behind this dude. Ten, but he's six, I'm not within 20, 25, 30. You're right. You're just yep. standing. Because right I behind. counted to get to him and I couldn't get to him. Um, let me see here. What is, does he have ranged? <laughs> he probably has ranged spells. Oh, hell he's a mind he flare. Ranged. Yeah, he does. Still an AC of 18. Oh my god. Please roll less than an 18. Please roll less than an 18. Oh my god. Holy shit! I should not have picked a mind player. No, you should not. <laughs> he's, going, not at level <laughs> he's going to whip his tentacles at you. I don't want him to. Do. You rolled a seventeen. I'm an eighteen. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if that would have hit, it's two d10 yep. plus four. Yep, that would have knocked me out. And that's his least powerful attack. Mm -hmm. Like, if he uses Mind yeah, Blast... Yeah, Mind Flares are like a level 10 thing. If with he a party this size. uses Mind Blast, um, it's pretty much you're just... But he yep. has recharged for five turns, so like... Mm. <laughs> so he still used it, though. Oh, yeah, he used he it. He used it, so now he it's missed. got a charge, but he missed. But without Brother Blobber, he would have wrecked yeah, his know. tentacles. <laughs> Lil C, you're up next! Yeah, Lil C! I am being a good I'm tank. You really are. So you, you can use a bonus <laughs> action to dash... Yeah, you can't. I mean, Meaning so you can gonna, get up there. So is that double? You should dash at the so you, can, you can move double. You can move double. For a single move. You should dash at the mind player. Yeah. Dash. Hmm. I don't know. You can dash at him? I would keep the mind <laughs> player on me as much not as possible. Not that I'm telling you what to do. I would not. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I was just saying, so like if, if, you're, if you're wanting to get into melee range, you can do that. When you get if stealth? You, if you, if can you I sneak behind move. this guy? Without yes, you can. Ab yeah. If you stealth, you can absolutely sneak yeah, behind him. Can, uh, oh, yeah. You can use, yeah. like, your, your and since he's engaged with me, you'd still power. get... Yeah, you could definitely, like, move her. I would roll a stealth check first, though. Who we sneaking on? The mind flare. He wants to sneak behind the mind flare. He wants to, like... Okay, go ahead, go ahead. He, he's gonna like bob well, and weave yeah, behind the. Yeah, for stealth. So that's a That's a D twenty. Dude, I like one. And then yeah. add your so. add your stealth. Your stealth is like a seven, so it's like a fourteen. So fourteen. I think. Go go go. No, go to your skills sure. because so you probably have plus. a bunch of yeah. It may be a plus nine. I don't you're remember. Yes. It's seven. seven, so it's a fourteen. A fourteen. Fourteen fails. Cool. So you're not stealth, so but you would. You. He sees you. So he sees you. <laughs> He's not going to attack you, but he knows you're there. Move him. Wait. Move so him. how are Lexi you you're moving? Yeah. Oh, I can move? Yeah, are, he, are you, you can still move. Are you double your speed or are you moving just... Oh, yeah. You're, you're using your bonus action to stop. <laughs> it's going to happen, though. I'm, just, I'm going... How, how do you want to move? You can move six squares, basically. Whoever he hits first is going to die. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if you want to... You could throw it, your dagger at him. That's probably smart. Yeah, third dagger. Yeah. Or you could move again to get into melee. If you no, I would stay as far away from him as humanly possible. I'm warning all of you. I feel bad. Like, I looked at his attack. I knew when he pulled out a mind flare, I was going to have no hope if I didn't start taking out the little Honestly, no. So, so you have two daggers. The alternate ending of this could be yep. worse, depending on what you do so after you can, this. You, you can throw survive. a dagger. It's You're, you're within the 20-foot range. Of it, so you can, Earlier, we're going to do 20. And it's, and it's an advantage because... Because I can hit him with guiding bolt. That's you also crit. That's awesome. You can crit. just crit. <laughs> you can just crit it, yeah. And do double the damage roll, with your roll, dagger. Roll again to see if you double crit. Right? Do you didn't double. You crit. do not double crit, but well, you crit once. But, but he does it. hit twice. <laughs> you still gonna hit twice. So Do that was double the dagger, crit. I don't right? think is an actual thing. It's, it's just not. it's just fun yeah. to see a double twenty back and back. That twice. is funny. Okay. Um, so, so what was you the damage? Twice. So you roll one d four. One d four. So that's. The triangle one. Mm -hmm. The weird uh, one. And the number sure on top is what you use. Just roll that one. Come before. Everyone's like, like do, it. do it. Do it, Cat. Then you can, you can roll again if you want, or just double that. So you double that. That's so three. At least yeah, I gave you a long rest. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do six. You want to do that, or you want to roll again? You want to do double. Oh, six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you, you did ten damage with this, with this dagger. Okay. Now keep in mind, I did say this is a class cannon. 
So you're still doing pretty good, but he's almost, like, offended that you're attacking him at this point. So, like, his tentacles are kind of, like, waving around, but now they're almost more decisive. About, instead of being random, they're almost, like, poised to attack now. Gotcha. Okay, Loki. Okay, I'm gonna move. He rolled the worst initiative. That was so lucky. You should see if you can charm him. <laughs> well, I'm gonna move first. No, it's valid. I'm just saying That's that may be a really can. good spell to yeah, attempt because mind him, flares um, are genuinely not, generally not immune to charm like vampires. So yeah, you charm the mind like, flare, this battle is over. Let me look. Like, I'm sorry. I'm trying to help him learn how to cast spells. He yeah, like telling him, to, telling him to charm is fine. The mind saying, flare has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Yeah, of course. So he does. Roll, oh yeah, he'll just roll twice, but you can try. Yeah, let's just try to charm it. Alright, what's my saving throw? It's a third level. Use the third four, level one. Fourteen. Third level. Yeah. Yep. Fourteen, and we're rolling for what? Is wisdom? It? Wisdom, yeah. You mm -hmm. get the plus six for wisdom? Oh, yep. shit. But Manny <laughs> rolls, like, bad, so I it may work. Really bad. Um, and I'm getting advantage. So the first one was an eleven, because I roll. And the second one was an eighteen. So she's gonna pass. Yep. Yes, barely. Holy crap. So you don't mind flare him. Or you don't charm him. You don't mind flare him. Flare fish. Flare fish. <laughs> right, lucky. It was worth a shot, though. It was yeah. worth a shot. If I'd have rolled, I do roll bad, clearly. Brother! Blobbert. Not actual brother. Okay. Jeez, yeah, it's plus seven intelligence. Plus six wisdom. Plus six charisma. Yeah, you picked the worst one. No, not quite. I could have been way worse. Could've. It could have been way worse, but this is pretty um, bad. There's only one, though. Usually they are in groups, and that's when you just, you're screwed. So, I'm going to blow my last two second level spells, I think. Okay. To take the rice. It's off. Oh, it's cooked. It's the <laughs> lid is on it. I'm, I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon. As soon as this weapon. is over and we wrap up, then we'll like eat while I wrap up. We cast second level spiritual weapon mm -hmm. on the mind flare <laughs> as a bonus action. Okay. And I'm also going to cast guiding bolt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lead with guiding bolt. So there's a second level guiding bolt. Okay. Yeah. Somebody smite him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a. Uh, 17 to hit? 17 hits. He's not hard to hit. I it's almost know, but if he hits you, you're Yeah. Correct. It's just a good like, thing I'm not like, hard to I hit. almost want you to look at this after it's done. Like, I just... That's 5d6. Ooh. That was much better. Ooh. And you heard that hit the screen. That's it was like, nine oh! Dam that's 19 damage. Oh. And then I have advantage from my... Um, from my... Spiritual weapon attack. Okay. Jesus. Eventually, when you like play a bunch, you kind of learn how to min max characters. So that's a 21 to Right? Hit. And so, like, Greg and I are a little more for overpowered sure. for a level 5 just because so we kind of. If I didn't make you 5, he was going to literally, like, look at you yeah. and melt. <laughs> I wanted to give you a chance. <laughs> I really wanted to be seven because seven's another really big level in five E. Mm -hmm. That like makes a big difference. Four. I didn't want you to be so squished, but I wanted you to be a little squish. Yeah. Put you in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Five through it's like max level. twenty. Oh no, I'm sorry. You, once you hit twenty, you're like a god. Yeah, you're like yeah. a that's, sin to the astral yeah, that's like god okay, here. So that's nine damage. Nine damage after that. Why is the cleric doing all the damage to my player? <laughs> because I haven't hit it yet. <laughs> so with that, um, Quan Coot, because that is the mind player. We're him. getting there, okay? He he looks <laughs> over at Bl Brother Blobbert, and he begins to like kind of telepathically curse at you inside your mind, if you have a mind, I guess. Um, <laughs> he's he's still a little beat up, but he's still ready to beat someone up. All right. So next up, we'll have his pet intellect devourer brain guy. Who is still standing right there next to? Still gonna try Gwen. to hit me. Mm -hmm. We're still a plus two. With its claws. How long does faith last? Ten uh, minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, and we got a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a hot minute. Each round is only six seconds. Oh. It, I, I swear to God, you all. I think so you missed. A four plus a four, an eight. So you missed. You missed. <laughs> Thank goodness. 
<laughs> oh my god. So yeah, he just he doesn't do it. So uh, Ogre A, he is going. He's to... also going to miss. I'm just going to breathe it into existence he's now. Gonna do something <laughs> a little weird though. So he is going to back up a bit. So about to right here. Okay, that's he's, fine. He's a little scared of your wings. They're fluttering. Can I? Weird. And he's going to attempt. But you can't to... fly with your wings. That's that fine. makes <laughs> no sense. That's probably in the 60 thing. You're basically a testing. peacock. Asimir is like a new race. I wonder if they add the wings. They thing. probably do. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, but he is going well, to try to hit you with ha- his javelin. Having having racial ability to fly is kind of really strong. Mm-hmm. Does so, he have it? Well, so they could probably, scale it. They don't. They have the ability to glide. They don't have the ability mm-hmm. to fly. True. So anyway, doesn't take their movements. My question is. Right, but they have to be like falling. No, my question is, is good. why it's, it's good, in the it's, world? It's not a straight yeah. flight. No, no. Do I not have the ability to charge? Is that a feat I have to take in five E? Is it not just an action I can do? Uh, charge isn't a thing in 5 e. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Think it is. That's fine. It's a Pathfinder thing. Yeah. Wait, so the half ogre tries to hit you with a jab word. I would like for you to look at this. Because I swear to God, they're going to think I'm lying. What did I roll? You missed. That's a four. That is a four. <laughs> I told you I spoke it into existence. <laughs> So you don't have to try it. Yeah. you think I'm lying. I so swear to God I'm rolling this fast. I'm going to take the move action and move into that square so I can start banging on the mind flare. Probably a good idea. Oh, fuck. That missed. My second attack. Uh, it definitely hits. That's a 15 plus 6. That definitely hits. Um, 4. Oh, good. Great. Like, eight honestly, you plus like three, damage. so <laughs> thirteen. Eight plus three. Eight plus three is all right. Four. No, it's so, a plus three. Oh, okay. So, so you, it's eleven damage. You take out your your great sword and you swing it at it, and you actually chop off most of the tentacles floating there behind him. Good. He looks super ticked off. He right? should be. He, I'm like, ticked. It's like he just doesn't even know what to think next, and um, he's just having a really hard time at this point. Good. Unfortunately, is Oh, turn. wait, hold on. I'm going <laughs> to take my... Hold on. I'm not done yet. I forgot. I have this thing where I can once per time take a second another action. Mm-hmm. So she gets two more attacks. So I get two more attacks. She that misses. <laughs> two. Uh, 16 plus 6 is going to hit. Oh, my God. I want you to kill it. Kill I also want to kill it. So that's 10 plus oh. another 13. 3. 13. So 13 points of damage. Do I get to do it? Yes. Do I jab it? Really had exactly thirteen. Yes. Oh my god. Sorry guys, it's really satisfying as a fighter when you get the kill. You have no idea. I forgot I could do that. I wanted you to kill it with fire. Like (laughs) after I look, listen, mind blast. So this is how bad it is, okay? So um, each creature in the area must succeed with DC fifteen intelligence. You don't sing that excited. Or take (laughs) twenty-two four D four. Uh, plus fours. Or 4d8 yep. plus four. Oh, we still have to kill the other It would have killed yeah, the still... whole party. We're not done yet. The mind flare is gone. There is still a thing. No, and we really... save. no you, that would have, no, there is no save. That was four. You said, you said it was a wisdom save. 22. No, you if you want to make the save, yes. Mm-hmm. But like. You are dead. Yeah. Oh, Take God. the mind flare. I wanted you to kill the fire after I saw it. Okay, Jesus. so. We now have two other things. Was the pet gone? Was gonna be that, he Hold on, is the pet gone because he's gone? Mm-mm. No. Okay, so, so we still got two things to attack. It is now Lil C's turn, actually. I'm glad I used that on the mind flare. No. Uh, yeah, because it was gonna use its. Gonna it was gonna use its like you big action. You attacked a little. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I was saying it for dear death. Anyway. It was up yeah, next. You were all gonna get dead. If he didn't make that throw. Uh, I guess you probably dagger. Grab him 50 damage oh, you gotta, as a cleric. You gotta I was trying to chunk him down. And honestly, that two oh, he gave spells. you, he said, literally he said, Oh no, it saved him. my life. <laughs> oh, you gotta retrieve life. your dagger if you miss him? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. you have to retrieve your you dagger. Be close enough. You have another dagger. He was standing, standing, dagger. Dagger. He was standing yeah. right here. Honestly, like, you're really close. You could go get the dagger, but you have two slides. You have two daggers also. So if you want to throw another dagger, you can. Well, you can also move in attack, too. You can do it. Yeah, I'm gonna move in attack. Yeah. You've got way more. And if you, if you go up and you attack that one, um, you could potentially, like, you would want to go, like, say, mm-hmm. here. You'd be flanking. Yeah. yeah. Pretty Jeez. much. Yeah, 
seriously. Oh, you definitely pieces. are gonna hit. So you can ro- you can roll twice because you would have advantage for fighting. Twenty-two, forty. So just plus see if you four. can crit. That's how bad. Nope, you definitely take the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen okay. plus what? Fifteen hits on a already oh, plus seven. Matter. So, so then one. So you're with your short sword. One, one d four. You swim with a short sword. You also though, have. Right? Is that. No, you do a short sword? Yeah, short yeah, sword. Okay. So you'll also so get sneak attack. You roll 3d6. Yes, yeah, so, so roll that two, three more times. You can roll two more Twelve. Times. Two more times. Two. Yeah, two more times. Four. Four. Yes. Alright, so that's ten. ten plus plus four. four. That's fourteen plus damage. Four. Yeah. Ooh. And if you want, you can swing with your offhand. So you roll again. You have two weapons. Short again. You have two weapons. So roll, roll the d20 one more. This would still be an advantage. That's a 15 again. So yeah, this, it. yeah, so you're still you're rolling roll the d20 again, so you're still at advantage. Oh. Okay, so there, still that, oh, kind of it's in it's it's one one d6 on this. One. Okay, so one. Dice so dice. he has one more damage. Honestly. So he has one more damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So with the first sword, you like you literally chop off half of its like a huge chunk of the brain. With the second one, you just kind of like. Poke a toe. Like, it's like whatever. But it's still staying there, but it looks really rough and beat up. That toe is bleeding. <laughs> that toe is bleeding, though. <laughs> the toe is bleeding. The toe be bleeding, though. Alright, um, Loki, you are up next. Alright. Smite it. Smite it. You could do, you could, you could make so much fun of it. <laughs> I'm going, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to move up to it. And I'm going to mock it because it's. <laughs> a little That's brain. Really it's a little half brain. You know what? He's doing so great though. It's just mockery's a good spell. It man. is a really it's good spell. spell. So, yep, yeah, that was a that was a really good addition to it's a cantrip to five e. Wisdom checks fourteen. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, what are you casting it on? He's casting I'm it on the little, little bitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna take care of the ogre. I'm gonna let them handle yeah. the, the little Wisdom, guy. He doesn't get any bonuses for that. <laughs> Eleven. Two misses. Yeah. You gotta roll it twice, Daniel. Roll twice. It one more time. You get two D four. Do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Because you're fifth level. So, uh, four, four damage. Four nice, damage, dude. All right, all right. So you. Look the at greatest part is like that damage is the, free. The toe yeah. that was bleeding, it's like you cut it off. And it is like bleeding profusely. Like this little brain is pulsing. He was so in pain. upset by your. <laughs> by I have a brain there, actually. Brother Blobbert. Um, is this guy taking any damage? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe. The intellect of our has the. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna. Blobbert's just gonna toll the dead and go. Bonk! So it's a wisdom save. Okay. On. Intellect of our. The little dude that just made a wisdom save. I know, I gotta click on him, though. Yeah. Hold on, he's like, I gotta click! <laughs> okay, he doesn't get any perk for that. Get eight. Okay, so it, it takes the damage. It does. So that'll be 12 damage. Oh. So not good. only do you take and, like, just knock out this intellect devourer, but, like, its brain just blows into chunks. <laughs> like, it is gone. Good. So next up, we have our half ogre right. friend. Who is standing back? Oh, he's um, not getting away. Oh, he, no, no, oh, he, he's, he's, he's gonna take that javelin again. And he's gonna aim at Loki because he's tired of you taunting everyone. He knows he doesn't have much of a chance, but he doesn't care. So he's gonna throw that javelin at you. Oh my god! I feel like you're watching this happen. <laughs> no, I can't even see it. So what? Tell me what that is. Plus um, five. Nine. Oh, good. Yeah, that nice is actually hard to see. Like, I can't see. It is hard. It rolled the game when I shook it. It was four. Yeah, so mine's, it's mine's nine. Mine's hard to see, too. <laughs> uh, okay, so that definitely it misses. That's why I really, I really like this set. Because it it's, it's the pretty, gold. Yeah, with that's the, why with I the outside, these... with, with the exception of the, the white ones, the white, white, white on, or the gold on white's hard to see a little bit. Ren, you are next. Oh, so we're going to move. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. So we're mm-hmm. still within. We're going to do with two attacks. First one is an 18. That'll hit. Second one is gonna miss. Okay. That was th- I rolled a three, so it okay. definitely misses. Yeah. But he's going to take. Oh man, I love this whole like get to roll, re-roll ones and twos. <laughs> um, it's 11 plus three, so 14 points of damage. Are you done? Okay, let me. Um, so 14 points of damage. 
So this ogre, it's still standing there, but it can't, it honestly, it can't believe you're just chasing it. It's like, it looks Good. desperate, like it just wants to get away. Mm -hmm. um, next up we have, oh god, everyone's We'll see. You're not finished, though. You can move six squares. One, two. You can flank them. Wow. Yeah. So that's not flanking. Flanking Flank is, is like you're Oh, I have to go all the way behind mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so it's five squares that you moved, I think, on here, right? Mm -hmm. So you can move there. So it's five to get there, that's six. So yeah. I don't think that's quite flanking, unless you want that to be flanking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't matter. Um, you still, you still you're get... You're not flanking, but you're going to attack. I'm just you just, you still get sneak attack. If, yeah, you're still going to get all your extra damage. The short sword. So you just swing your d20. Flanking. Oh, you're gonna yeah. take his. That's a 14 a plus 7. So you will roll 3d6. You were like. You're pretty good. Yeah, here, just roll, roll those three of them together. Yep. That's way more satisfying to roll them together. There you go. That's, that's 6 damage plus 4 plus is 10 damage. Perfecto. Exactly 10 damage remaining. Good so job! Nice and kill! Yourself. And you. Wait, how do you want to do this? Let him describe yeah. it. How, how do you want to kill him? How do you want to kill him? Yeah. How do I. I I don't, go, I you're winning the game. Right. You're winning the game. Do it. Daniel, you're not the quite, game. depending on what you do in a second, but we're going to get tacos, so. <laughs> Probably the end. Meta game. Or you'll all die. You've, you've won the game. <laughs> do it. How do you want to do it? I want to do it. Just say it. Just, just say it. Sta stab him. Is that stab where? Stab him in the brain. Love it. You're going to jump and like stab him. <laughs> So you stab him, and he's dead. So at this point, you are now standing... I stab him in the face. <laughs> ...in the middle of a taco break. Because <laughs> we have, like, maybe 15 minutes left if you don't do something crazy. So taco break. Everyone's going to get tacos because we're all starving and dying. Okay. Well, they're not. They ate. What, what if you I... ate, right? Yeah. Oh, you're not starving? Are you starving and dying? No. No, really. he ate, no. right? Oh, okay, sit down, sit down. We'll be fine. 15 minutes. I'll get <laughs> Daniel's like, we're the only ones, Mandy. This is like, I have this. Get okay. your food. No, I'm fine. I don't need it. She needs to finish the campaign. Let's I go. need to finish it. This is going like, I can't like. So the square's back, right? The square's back in play. This, well, kind of. It's, so it's still sitting there on the past. Uh, I'm assuming the square is not the pedestal. big like that. I'm assuming it's much smaller. <laughs> yes, but Walmart the... did not have one that tiny. That was I imagine. <laughs> that was why I was, I moved it off so that yeah. we could. So now you're standing there in this um, cavern and you're just sort of looking at this cubic gate sitting on its pedestal. It appears to have a magical barrier around it. And with that, I will give it to you all. So do we say the magic words now? Do you remember the magic words? I do. It was like Aesop Sables! No. It was. Aesop uh, Aesop 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 We say that in Celestial. Hello, Aesop 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 Aesop. Yes. So, with that, the magical sparkles sure, um, around the cubic gate kind of fade away. So, I walk up and I. Uh, Very specifically, you know who's going to take it. Grab it. <laughs> okay! So, Rin is going to take it. Now, mm -hmm. with that, if you recall, you were told that this cubic gate. So each side of it is keyed to a different location. So if you would like to look at your cubic gate. Run. Mm-hmm. Okay, so each side of your cubic gate is keyed to a different location. Mm -hmm. So there is a symbol of a book that is keyed to the Lost Library of Cormant Theater. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go, right? That is where the mind players wanted to go to learn how to make new spell uh, jamming Well, we shorts. didn't actually, we just needed to take this back to the people mm -hmm. who hired us, right? Mm -hmm. These, there's a skull symbol. So yeah, this is that symbol. We'll transport you to the Tomb of Horrors. Yeah, you're going to hell. Which is the home of Ace Rack. Okay. <laughs> so, um, tower symbol, the ruins of the Rotted Tower, which is actually where before Vecna was defeated, where he took post. Mm -hmm. This was used back in the days of the Great Fight. Um, there's a river symbol, which will take you to the Grey Waste. So, um, the river sticks, literally hell. And oh, that one's hell. Okay. A Celtic Knot, which will take you to Shadowfell. So kind of like the Fey world in the material plane, there's oh. also Shadowfell, which is like evil. 
Oh, yes. this is a bad block. We should it take this to the people. It was made by Vecna's army leader. Yeah, we're going to just take this to the people because this doesn't look good, guys. This is not something we mess with. It will not work unless you know the magic password. Which is fine. We don't need to know the magic password. This is, does nothing but bring bad things. So, what would you like to do? You okay with that? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this only brings bad things. Let's take it back to the people. Let's just it. take it back to the people. We don't want to touch it. You do get a lot of gold if you take it back. Let's nah, take, let's just take it back and get a lot of gold to fix our ship. Take, yeah, right? That was the whole reason why we came to begin with. Right. Who is steering the um, switch? You're going to steal the ship, right? You're going to steer it back. Why not Melbourne? He's... You did great on the way here. I shall steer the ship. Prepare our ship. All right. For so ludicrous speed. With that. <laughs> for ludicrous speed. So your ship, it, this is once again. Don't you have to roll? I'm just a roll for well, intelligence. Yeah, I haven't yet. I'm just so looking for tacos. <laughs> oh, he makes it. It's an eleven, 11. again. Hey, barely though, right? Um, so you make way for an overnight journey back to Castle Stormhaven. Okay. I'm not going to rest because I'm going to stay up all night, worried that this is going to do something bad. It very well could be a password. You could go right? anywhere. This is why I just has a password because if I didn't, you could go anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to rest. <laughs> Your rest? What are you going to do? Short rest. Hmm? Oh, short, well, long, short. long rest. I was oh, like, you got a whole night. I, I was going to say, it was, it was, a, it was a day's oh. journey, at least. A it was long a night's rest. journey, so, yes. Back to the rock wall. Yeah, so I assume we're going to long rest. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, like, while piloting the ship, if, if I'm able to, while piloting the ship, I'll be casting Mending. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as, like, as we yeah, go, yeah. try to heal. So I can do it once per hour, is what the book said. For oh yeah, you'll be fine. And you roll one d eight, so you get what, like eight, eight so rolls. It's eight, eight hours. What are you casting rest mending on the ship? The ship. On the ship, just while 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 I'm steering it. So apparently, mending is how you fix ships. That's for yes. free. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is so, now. <laughs> right. So, yeah, go ahead. So it's, it was d eight plus it's a one d eight. My casting mod. Let me go look. Yeah, it's like. Ripped. Which my casting mod is like. It was at the very beginning. This is what Blobber does. Like he's like a, he's like the maintenance crew for people the ships. Does that? And he fucks up Vegna. No, uh, yeah, and apparently Blobber. he just does you all the damage. Worst. That is the worst enemy to fight. Okay, so you get for repairing the ship. One d eight plus the spell ca- caster spell casting ability modifier. Okay, so d eight plus four. Yep. So how, how many times do I get to do this? You it's, can do it eight times if it's a, a night rest, right? One, once, it is a, a, a full once, rest, Once yeah. per hour while we're, while we're moving, though. I'm not going to do it It's an overnight journey, though. Resting. I mean, overnight. So how many, how many hours are we going to be flying? I mean, overnight, I would consider that, I don't know, at least ten hours. I'd say, well, you okay. fought a little bit into the night, so there's probably ten hours remaining of this, you know, flight back. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll just do two Your hours. Your ship's then. probably going to be it. You're only going to do two hours worth? She said it was a 10 hour flight back. Yeah, yeah. roughly. So we're, we're going to take a long rest while we're, while we're oh. flying. So I'm not going to okay. be casting while I'm taking me up. That's yeah, that's not, true. That's, that's true. That's true. So I'm going to do two mendings. All okay. right. Eight. So that's eight. And that's nine. Okay. Okay. So 17? Math? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So you do 17 healing to your royal ship. Okay. So we're at 54 down. Yeah. So, with that, um, Blobber, you begin to picture in your mind um, Castle Star. Okay, so with that, the ship, remember, it is actually infused with kind of an anti theft thing, so we can track you. Now, the ship also knows where the ports at Castle Star Haven are. So, with that, I guess I should have brought up a map of Star Haven. Anyway, there's docks behind Starhaven like they're on the lower city. Mm-hmm. That's all you need to know. Yeah, we saw those. Yeah, you mm-hmm. saw those. Um, so you sit in the helm and you begin to picture Prince Andrew's castle. And the ship begins to take off to so the pins and needles sensation. You kind of start vibrating all weird again because you're all flubbery, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and the ship, it really just kind of seems to know where to go from there. Now, as you arrive at Castle Starhaven, so you pull up to the docks and there is a guard shack. Okay. This is a guard shack? This is a guard shack. This looks pretty fancy for a guard this shack. This is a tavern. I is a tavern because I did not get a guard shack. It's oh. a guard shack. <laughs> I was like, there is food in this guard shack. It's a guard shack. I mean, the, the guards, guards, guards have to have a place to eat. I did not get a guard shack. So we're using the the guard shack's Because cafeteria. you didn't find the dry cream. So, okay. 
Um, so as you approach this guard shack, you're greeted by two interesting individuals who are surrounded by two um, royal guards, mm -hmm. um, and they are actually reapers. Um, the first of which is Proconsul Gadric Maine, who is Prince Andrew's chief, chief advisor, court wizard. Mm -hmm. And the second is Captain Mahazara Kal, the human captain of the royal guard. Um, so after kind of talking with them for a bit, you know, kind of like jumbling the cubic gate in your hand, you see Silas come out of the guard shack. Yo, yo, Silas, here's your thing. Yo, yo, oh, I don't know if he even, he's a vampire minister. What was, what was the second guy's name? I missed it. Uh, Captain Mahazara, M-A-H-A-Z-A-R-A. -A -A. That is his actual name from that book. Okay, so... We're going to say, the these are the two captains, or pro councils, okay? And we're going to say, because I don't have humans. Please take this thing! This is um, Silas. <laughs> this is the story of like a girl. You cry a river and turn it all the way. And there's a skull. She looks so bad. And there's two guards there standing with them. When she smiles. There's two guards standing, like, kind of behind them. Ah! We already fought these guys. Well, I don't have these minis. Where are they? Well, I don't have these minis. Where are they? So after a brief conversation, Silas, Our he, nice kind of, come back to haunt us. <laughs> he, he kind of comes out of the door, and he's carrying a small chest. The chest, it kind of jingles a bit, so you can tell it's quite cold inside, right? And you can only assume that that is what's in there. So, what you want to do? Silas, we got the thing back. Looks pretty dangerous. We didn't do anything with it. Here you go. You Here. can have it, but we would like our gold to put first. I would like to insight Silas when we present... The like the the option like the when we present the proposition of delivering him this cube like does he? You feel like an inside check for what that specifically? Like this, because to see if he has good evil? intentions. Yeah. Like is he? You never asked that. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can go ahead. You can do an inside for it. Yeah. I don't really care what his intentions are. We're gonna get our ship well, fixed. Yeah. See if he's gonna give, give us the gold. Because like it transports. Oh, he's the not the person. chest of gold. He carried it out. It's just uh, knowledge. <laughs> well, like, is, is he, is he like, seem like he's, like, underhanded and shifty at all, I guess, is what I'm... I'm, I'm it used to be a good. sense motive. He's definitely a shifty dude. I mean, he's slinked into a tavern hood on, but he's also, you know, he's really mysterious. Like, all he's, you know about is he carries a staff. He's so a did Strider, and you know how good a guy he was. He's, he's a royal he's literally representative. literally supposed to be like Strider. He slinks in with a he, hood in the He's corner. a royal representative. He showed up in the, in the lower... District, so it's like that's, that's not yeah. These shit. people kicked us out of their area, and we tried to sell nah, them. I'm, I'm just like I'm trying. I'm trying to see like is, is he playing so, to pay us more than anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So go ahead and uh, roll inside. Let's let's roll it. Wisdom. That's a thirteen. Oofers. Um. So you, you kind of look at him, and he kind of looks at you, and he is still just so confused. He's tough to read. Man. He's very tough to read. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you gonna you give him the give him the cube? Yeah, I'm gonna give him the cube. Yeah. We're gonna take our gold and we're gonna go get our ship fixed. So so I'm gonna say uh, so uh, that cube uh, is kind of scary. Are we figuring out this droid or something? What the Sir Blob Man, that is none of your business. We are only here for a business transaction. He like rattles the chest. Or can I actually kick this? It's got like three grand worth of gold in it, okay? It's what you need to fix your show. We done. Are you gonna say? We give it to him. Like, but like, it's pretty we, powerful. We give it to him and don't ask any more questions. We want to eat hot ghosts. <laughs> Do, are you trying to like, go, are you trying to go to the library? We try to prevent it from getting into the wrong hands. Okay, can I inside check that? <laughs> You really want to know what Prince Andrew is up to? I do. <laughs> that could be a whole other campaign. <laughs> All right, go for it. One more try. Oh, uh, we're we're ready? Ready? twenty! Twenty! <laughs> we get to know exactly what Prince Andrew is up to. So Prince um, Andrew, he is. Not only does he want this cubic gate. But he wants it because he knows the password to activate it. Oh shit, where are you giving it to him? And he fully intends to use it to travel to, um, what's the lair's name? I don't know, hold on, let's get there. 
to the Tomb of Horrors in the attempt to convince Aterak to attempt him to expand the rock wall, which is going to fail miserably because he's an insane bitch. But, you know, he's going to try. Because why not? He's got guards to spare. If he can go anywhere to those six planes with that, with the magic password, I won't give it to him. I'm, I'm going to, like, whisper in Ren's ear. Uh, I don't think we should give this... But then they're going to be after us, so what are we going to do? And our ship is still broken. I would also like to mention that these are two very powerful court wizards. Technically three and two beefy guards. Okay. <laughs> and we just took down a mind flare. True, but he's glad. Okay, so what I do... Oh, because if I don't start... Okay, <laughs> so I whisper back to Blob. So Blob. are we going to fight them? I'm waiting for I think I think we should honor the oldest and noblest of pirate traditions. Which is? We fight <laughs> to run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is technically okay. What does the rest of the group want to do? So I'm actually going to put the blob the block inside of blob, and then I'm going Remember, to. you do not have the password to this. That's block. fine. I don't need the password to this Prince block. Prince Andrew knows the password. I know. But what about our mind? Hold on. Hold on. Here's what I'm gonna. Here is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going, since Blob is next to me, I'm going to put We're the Blob the <laughs> into Blob. Ooh. And then I'm going to take my sword and stab it into this guy here and start initiative. Oh, but I'm going to take my surprise action first because they were not expecting that. They were Wait. not. Okay. And then I'm going to tell everyone else to run away. With the money? So Yeah, to go get the money and run. So you are going to stay and fight. I'm going to stay and fight else? and sacrifice myself. So that everyone else can run away and save the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I realize I'm going to die, but I want to play oh, it out. Oh, you're going to die. <laughs> yes. I'm over here, like, adding it. So after... <laughs> so <laughs> These are almost it, as bad as the Mind Flayer. Except just not quite as powerful. Oh, my God. And Blobbert is upset. Why? <laughs> Blob, we saved the world. She sacrificed. Have we, have we saved the Do world? Do I even need to run the encounter? Are we just gonna assume? No, we're just gonna assume uh, I die. You gotta fight it out. You gotta fight it out. Maybe we win. <laughs> yeah, but maybe we're heroes. No, you guys are gonna leave. You're, you're running wait, away. Wait. You are running. You are gonna to run away, ship. and I am going to make an attack and also try to disengage and run away. But I need you guys to all run. All right, what are y'all gonna do? You gonna run? You gonna run with the the cube, cubic gate, to the ship? I'm. I'm it is parked very close. The ship is. You know, it's right there on the. We're taking the too. Oh, he's got the cube in his stomach. <laughs> you can run up uh, and get the gold. We had the gold in our hands, right? Because we were getting ready to hand over the... Yeah, the gold's sitting right there in the chest. The gold's just sitting in the chest. Right there. You are probably the fastest of all of us. You are. And yeah. you're dexterous. What if they all attack, though? We're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> I don't think you understand wizards. We are going to die. Not only that, there's two... Um, Rigers, which are medium you want celestials. To run. Um, one is a divine or wizard, one is an abjurer wizard, and one is a warrior. Yeah. You want to fight that shit, or you want to run? <laughs> Alright, run. I guess, I guess okay. we'll, we'll see what happens. We need to pick up the chance to run. Say uh, that. Okay, okay, so to pick it up and run. So are you trying to be sneaky about this, or are you just going to... We're going. Jesus. I stabbed the first dude. Couldn't that, like, sneak up and steal the chest? You're, um, you're kind of right probably not. Yeah. It's, it's not really like a blue. It's right there. Yeah. It's you, can't just, you can't just be like, they're, <laughs> they're all distracted by the stab. Yeah, they're all distracted by me stabbing someone. Definitely. Yeah. So okay. I have stabbed them. Okay, I want you to roll for initiative then. That's Everyone fine. else is running away. Oh, I got Ooh, shit, so I'm going to die before I <laughs> even get to roll. <laughs> so I've got a nine. I yeah. got a nine for my initiative. Six. Do we all have to roll for initiative? No, you all are running. Yeah. yeah, everyone else. Now is the running. ship, I will say, it's pretty dang close. Like you can see, like the it's edge weird. of this. Yeah, it's literally off the edge of this map. Like the docks so are running. right next to the guard shack. This is a. Are you running, Bobber? Mm -hmm. Into um, oh my god, I want to roll twenty. <laughs> okay, so Kristen's about to get. Out. Yes, I'm aware. Okay, so um, my party is like you guys are dashing, so you guys should yeah. already basically be at the ship. So. Rigor number one, which is really not going to matter. It's one of those little goblin-looking guys. I guess the one closest to her. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't have my plus two anyway. You don't have anyway. any two health. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm aware. <laughs> it's worse than the mind player. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is going to make a 
multi-attack with its trident. Okay. So if um, I live to disengage, it's an eight, so it actually misses. Oh. It does actually miss. <laughs> um, okay. Is anybody so, still watching online? Uh, this is about to be crazy. There's two. Okay. So, this. I mean, whatever. This we one is like us. seven hours, so you know, I'll take that. Um. So next up, we have the Diviner Wizard, which is the um. We're gonna say it's this one right here. Okay, so he is going to attempt to. I really needed to go first, but you, you know, really sometimes did. the dice just doesn't roll. He's going to use. Um, I'm yeah, going to make a saving throw. You're within five to seventy. Okay, so he's going to use arcane blast on you. Of course he is. Yeah, um, and he is going to have a fifteen. To hit? Yes. Misses. I'm a 16. <laughs> oh. What if she survives, though? She, she's so <laughs> I'm creepy. disengaging she's and I'm so running. <laughs> I'm just running. Yeah, we're all at the ship and then she just shows up. Oh my god. Right? And I <laughs> so, just, I leave. What if they all miss? If they, if they all, all miss, miss, I'll allow you to run. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can so disengage next up leave. we have Silas, who is the warrior. Okay. okay. So he is going to attempt to attack you with psionics. So it's going to cast the spell requiring no components using charisma as the spellcasting ability at will light. Wait. No, I don't want to use that. I lied. We don't need that. We're not like... Okay. We're going to use... We're going to use Trident. Okay, he's going to stab you with the pointy end of his thing. Okay. So we can put 18 plus 7. 18 hits. Okay. So he's going to... If I survive. You're not... You don't know that yet. You could roll all ones. Uh, we roll 76s plus four. Yep. 76s plus four. So four, five, 11, um, 17, 18, last one, uh, 18, five, 23 plus four, 27 damage. I'm still alive. She's still alive. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Oh, well, you are actually up next. Okay, so I'm going to disengage. <laughs> And I am going to sprint my entire action back to the ship. All right, roll for athletics. We're gonna see how fast. Oh, you I'm are actually in. really good at athletics. Are you really? I am. I, I, I specifically game. took athletics <laughs> because when I was playing Greg Spider, the athletics comes in handy. So I specifically that really do. does because these. I have a plus six to athletics. Oh, oh. it's an eleven. It's an eleven. Oh, nope, not quite. So you turn around and you kind of waste a little bit of time fumbling with the doorknob, okay? Um, well, there wasn't a, there, I wasn't inside whatever, the Whatever, you don't do it. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Um, still, even if I disengaged, I still disengaged and double move. Still double move, right? <laughs> yeah. Because, like, that's an action I can take. Yeah, so I disengage yeah, yeah. and I get to double move, which my movement speed 30, so I'm 60 feet. Ooh. So I get to move 60 feet and okay. I'm in the ship and we take off and we go. We survived. We saved the world. <laughs> we saved the world! <laughs> yeah. The ship is really close. 60, we'll get there. Yes! Okay. Yes! Yes! We yes! did it! We did it! <laughs> right. Yeah, well, Literally, I want you to read what I typed here. If the players somehow manage to get away with the cube and not die, <laughs> they will have, because I'm not kidding you all, the, the Ryger guards, 104. And not and die, cube. which we have found the way to get away <laughs> and not die, die, Mandy. So your crew goes back. Um, to the, I uh, put the MP, but technically you never even went back to our group, so he's just gonna rot there forever <laughs> waiting for someone to go back to his ship. Um, you all fly off on the Royal Guard ship with the big blazing I'm, I'm flying to the squid ship because they said this one was tracked. It is tracked. So, so I'm, I'm flying the to the squid ship. Oh, smart. Oh, yes. Oh, smart. Yes. Bottle. That, that, okay. um, <laughs> that one's so, not tracked. That one's not tracked. That one's not tracked. So you uh, are gonna or Orgrook has. Yes. He has commandeered. Or Orgrook didn't necessarily to say he was going to fly back to where it was. Yeah. I don't know where Orgrook is. He's sitting right there. He, okay, it's like I never got him back. So you go back to the MP. Orgrook is standing there. The next he ship? looks at you and he's just standing there waiting. Like he's about half asleep. That's not the same right? type of ship. Okay, he's about half asleep. Um, hardly anyone's returned yet. I guess they've been having trouble finding work or maybe they've just gave up because this ship is. Orgrook's like the squid ship? Oh, he's chilling at his original ship. No, we're going to the squid ship. ship. We're just going to the squid ship. You did send him squid a message. Ship. We sent him a message to come to the squid ship. He doesn't go. Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chaotic. So the MP is the squid ship. Right? Yeah, we leave no, him. No, 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 no. What squid ship are you talking 
talking about the squid ship the we found with the vampires. Encounter. The one with the, the, the power. The one with the power. The one floating helpless. Yes. Yeah, 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 we're going vampire. to that one. That's not an option. Yes, it is. It's absolutely an option. All right, you go to the squid ship. You take your cubic gate. And you ride off into the astral sunset, holding it up. The end. <laughs> By the way, the squid ship controlled my mind. <laughs> Whatever. You ride off. I finally rolled below its head to control the ship, trying to control the squid ship. So we go wherever the squid ship decides. <laughs> the squid ship is probably going to go wherever it wants. Wait, You do win. That's ridiculous. No, like, seriously? Okay. So, um, go, Silas. He was 90, the Abjurer Wizard is 104, the Rygar... Yeah, I wasn't three. gonna fight them, I was, was a distraction! Show. They're worse than the Mind Flayer battle, because there's so many of them. There are things called distractions, we Mandy. We did it, And I am one of them. We did it, Chad! We, we saved the world! We did it all to you! And we didn't, we didn't give the evil cube to the evil prince. Okay. Well, we are now fugitives. So that actually is, it's funny that you said it looked like Elvish, because that actually was the Elvish word for start, which is yesta. So if anyone spoke Elvish, you actually would have been able to read it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but none of you did, because I checked. <laughs> so, is the stream over? Stream is, oh, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thank you all to, to, to four people who are watching all the time. Um, it's been fun, yeah. honestly. Have fun. We're going to eat some tacos, and we look forward to streaming again in November. See ya! Peace out! That might be the end of this video, but don't fret. You can keep on watching some more of my content by clicking the box right here in the center. Or, if you really like my stuff, click that circle subscribe button there on the left. It's free, easy, and really helps me out. Hope to see you again soon.